do, 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 yeah. Yeah, my mom wrote that song. <laughs> Did she? Uh huh. She gave me uh -huh. Hi, everybody. Hello, how are you doing? Can you hear me okay? You know, her Lucy Blake wants his door shut. Do you want your door shut? He doesn't want to listen to us. Yeah. Are you playing Second Life? <laughs> Is he playing Second Life? I don't know. There was Second Life. So there was character build. There was in-depth character building going on um, on the screen. On the screen. You might have me to lit up. Sam says I look like a ghost. The ghost of what? <laughs> Finish that sentence. <laughs> The ghost of what? Oh, he's coming uh, to defend himself. <laughs> I thought I was playing Second Life. Oh, I don't I'm know. I'm playing the same game you walk into me playing on all the time. Valorant. Oh, I was gonna say with yourself. <laughs> uh, the same yeah. game that you walk in and see me playing all the time. All right, fair enough. The name of the game is every single time. Hurry, <laughs> hurry! Blake was not playing Second. Where's the camera? There's like ten of them. Blake was not playing Second Life. Good is Crystal know. darker now to your likings, uh, uh Sam? Was it Sam that said that? Yeah. Sam. <laughs> the ghost of Danish. <laughs> I, I did eat three of them for breakfast this Me morning. Too. <laughs> Me too. It was hard. I like, I'm running out of fat shirts and I couldn't find my fat shirt before we started. Do we need to start making vegetable trays on getting baked with crystal? No, I just look it. I just put the cameras like, I just put the cameras where I can, I don't have to be fat. Perfect. Man. No, the main camera's going to be, the main's going to be this. I was waiting for you to sit down. I'm so I can figure down. out where to put you. That's good. All right. Hello, everybody. Look, we should be more formal than this. This is a formal stream. Is it? I don't know. When are we ever formal? I I don't know. Until a few minutes ago, it said we didn't start till 6 o'clock. <laughs> is that our only technical difficulty for tonight? I don't know. I don't know what was up with that. Uh, you know, probably not. Probably not. So you said it's better. Steve is in hot water. Literally or figuratively? Uh, you tell me. Uh, Miss last night's show, how did they turn out? Tales from the Pack said they turned out really well. Yeah, they're good. Won't be making them again just because it's a lot of work and they weren't that good. Like, they weren't bad. It just wasn't like, oh my god, these are amazing and I need to make these every day. Right. But it's okay, Dan. The dad bod's in. I can't tell if the dad bod thing's a joke or not. Yeah, who keeps telling Dan the dad bod's in? Because right. he keeps asking right. me. And, and I don't yeah. know who's spreading this rumor. Apparently it's Brittany. <laughs> Is it? Apparently so. Oh, people named Brittany. <laughs> I am watching the people coming down to Earth, which they were showing the capsule, and inside the capsule, the guy was straight up watching space balls. Yeah, was he? He was straight up nice. watching space balls, so it felt a little commercially, or like, it felt like, I'm like, could you, could you not watch space balls and just hold on? I'll help you puke. <laughs> They're coming down now into the, the ocean, I guess. They're falling into the ocean. <laughs> it's a millennial thing, LOL. See, I don't, I still don't know. Oh, was Crystal mad about the ginger snap comment? Uh, she came up to me and she's all like, Ugh. and I was like, -ha 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 -ha. I was like, oh. I was trying to think of a good comeback, but uh, I took a nap instead. Are you still waiting? Maybe I'll get back to it. <laughs> it was ginger naps instead. Look, it's not the first time I've been called ginger spice today. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Oh my gosh! All right, mine's all, mine's all here. Yeah, well, good for you. I'm glad somebody traced your stencil for you, Thanks. Dan. Thanks for that, actually. One yeah. of these weeks, I'm going to make you do it your damn self. Yeah, that's fine. One of these weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, before I can paint, uh, Dora says, I need, uh, I need dinner and drinks, so I'm painting just a little behind. That's okay. We started early because, like, it's going to take a while. It's and we sit here in Yap while we paint, so you will surely catch up and probably pass us. It's going to take a while. <laughs> Dan can't always be the butt of the joke. You know, Steve's right. It's fair. It's fair. Steve's right. All right, Dan. Yes. So, this hibiscus flower is pink. Okay. That's I don't fine. like pink. Right. I'm not painting it pink. I, yeah. <laughs> okay. I want to try to paint mine like this. But I don't have any stroke techniques. Like, the, the only brush stroke techniques that I have, I learned from that Bob Ross documentary. Okay, so I probably should have had you look through this tutorial before you started. I really like this. It's stepbystepppainting.net. All one word, no dashes, no underscores, no anything. It's just stepbystepppainting.net. And I actually also followed her on Instagram. Can't remember the name of it, but you can find it on the website. 
she, the chick who runs this, uh, posts pretty regularly, it looks like. She comes up with new designs. She's just uh, an artist in the sense that, like, she's an art teacher and... I don't remember. I read her bio. She teaches art. She paints art. Whatever. Um, mine's upside down. But oh wait, does that mean mine's upside down? No, yours is right side up. Oh, I made sure to those check. Those are the sneezy bits, right? <laughs> yes, those are okay. sneezy bits. So, those are so she did just post something new. Uh, thank you, Brittany, for posting the link in the chat to the website. Um, she just posted something new. I think this week or last week. So she does seem to update it pretty regularly. As does social art working, by the way. I saw I follow them on Instagram as well, and I saw they had some new designs come out for the fall holiday season. So you guys can go on there and go to this is the um, what's it called? Uh, Brittany posted a link. I thanked her for that. It's the tropical hibiscus painting. Easy, simple. It's so easy. They said it twice it's easy and, and easy simple and simple <laughs> easy and simple and she posts dan if you want to take a look over here yeah, yeah, um, yeah let's see let's see what's up step by step and shows you how to do it um actually more steps than the social artworking steps show you so okay there's quite a bit going on here and you can see how she starts out with the lighter pink she goes in with the highlights yeah but the background's already the painted yes do you paint a full background behind it she did over, i'm not going to because the... i always have trouble co covering certain colors with other colors and I don't want to screw it up. Does that make sense? Right. So you're welcome to do that. I'm not going to do an orange background because the edges of my flower are going to be yellow and she goes like orange to yellow with her background. How do you get that blend? I'm doing, I'm doing a blend. Are you, are you going to paint your whole background I'm, like no, this? No, but like I'm going to, we're, I'm, we're, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a blend. Brittany, Brittany sent me these awesome thin canvases. Crystal, can may I, you open that up with your nails, please? Yes. Um, uh, the blend is so not that hard. I'm also on the side of what we're doing. Like I'm going to try to like, I'm going to make some sort You're of You're going to do two paintings? Well, no, I just, we're going to blend some color. Like I'm going to blend. See how like it went from like orange to yellow? But what are you doing on this canvas? Uh, whatever I want. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> like blend, like I'm just gonna blend some colors on there. Okay, it's not that hard. I wish like I that. had. The whole thing will look like that when it's done. Okay. Um, I did a painting that I actually gave Thank away you. to a friend that I did a rainbow blend on. I did like a sunset kind of backgroundy thing with a tree you, over the front of it. How do these feel compared to like, campuses that are like? It feels the same. It's you know it doesn't dip in as much. Yeah. So you did the, you did a blend and then what? Um, painted a tree over it, but I did a whole like rainbow like all the colors. Oh. Are we there? Is it just your monitor? Uh, was it the monitors that popped off or did everything just reboot itself? I don't know. You have to tell me. Uh, hi, are we still? That was weird. Everything went off on our end. Can Ev you guys still see us? Everything just like shut itself off and back on. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think we're... But I it was right back. It didn't like restart the computer. Everything's still there, uh, right? That was we weird because it beeped, it beeped like my computer completely restarted. I'm watching the capsule splashdown, so it has to be good. And it was nice splashdown. Uh, Holly says yes, so I think we're good. And, uh, hi, Mouse Queen. I saw Mouse Queen said hi. Hi, Mouse Queen. Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't know if this shocked, if I went over there and I shocked my stuff. Uh oh. Okay, no work. I think. Speaking of technical difficulties, I think we're. I think we're. I think we're okay. I mean, uh, Uncle says the capsule has landed. I see it yes, floating. I, can see it. I thought your stream switched to like a whale or something. I saw it bobbing there and glanced over and was like, oh look, a whale. All right, I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I think we're good. It's not you, it's us. Okay, so I think it's us. It's this. It was this piece of rubbish. <laughs> I'll go take it away. Okay, so so what is what is your first steps then? Are um, you going for the flower itself in the background last? Uh, you know, that's a good question. I hadn't thought of that. Party? Probably yes. Okay. Yes, I think so. Um. So I have to keep the picture handy so that I can see it. There's a super chat there for Oh, uh, yes, Mouse Queen, the super chat. Dan, meant to tell you, I got the little painting mini canvas in the mail, and I can still see you. Thank you so much for helping me with the technical feedback. Feedback, feedback? <laughs> <laughs> and I was wondering the other day, I literally was laying in bed going like, I wonder if you got that. You had to, you had to have. You had to have. So, yes. Okay, uh, thank you. Hannah's getting pissed, does not have a dark purple trying to make one. It just keeps coming out gray. Boo. Well, what do you have? Because we know purple is uh, blue and red, but it depends on the shades of blue and red that you have, how it's going to turn out. Um, so I don't know why it's coming out gray. Like I said, depends on what you have. Do you have any sort of purple? If you do, you can add maybe more blue to it. Um, I don't know. 
Yeah, Doris with the advice, stay away from using an orange tinted red in your mix. I'm not very good, like, I'm good at matching colors. I'm not very good at advice on telling you how to match a color or make a color that you want. Um, obviously purple and red, but... Or purple's blue and red. Are you going to use that? Yes, Are you going to Bob Ross it tonight? Mask. I am. <laughs> yeah. It's not Are you going to hold I, it the whole time? I don't know how oh. to hold it. Like this. But why is because what's you this want hole? These. That's for paints. But what if I... Well, don't put your thumb in it, Dan. I knew that was coming. Don't put your thumb in no. it. But you... What if... Can I... Can I hold it like this? You can, but then you're probably more likely to push it into your clothing. No? Now it's upside down. Dan. This is not the... This is not... <laughs> This is then not look. Ergo. Okay, stop, stop. Get your fat thumb out of there. Unbend your finger. Jesus, Dan. Hold it like this if you need to then. Then it's easier to pick up and put down. I think I'm going to save this and put some sauces in it. And, and <laughs> that does not so surprise me. And you know what? Maybe I'm going to dip some sauces in this. All right. Hannah figured it out. Just wanted a slight shade darker than what she has. Good deal. All right. Oh, so where are you starting? What are you doing? Are you going to try to blend this background? Uh, I'm kind of going to do what I do every week and wait for you to start doing something so I can kind of be like, oh, okay. And then go what do my own thing. What color are you going to paint your flower? I'm still wanting space, but I'm increasingly getting intimidated by even just mimicking what the instructions are for to do it regularly. So I think I still... Okay, so then... I think I'm thinking over my skill level. Probably. That's kind of what I was thinking with the, the space idea. So you can do basically what the instructions say and just pick a different color instead of doing pink. Unless you want a pink flower. If you want a pink flower, I by all means, know where you're starting. Flower. That lady painted her background and then stenciled over it. She did. That seems like that's the business. Okay, then you can do it that way, but then you're drawing your own stencil. Then you have to wait for your background to dry. Brittany says these sponges that I use for bosoms one day uh, do blending stuff, and she sent me stuff. You can do that. I feel like I'm like, I'm powdering powder. <laughs> You're powdering powder? I'm powdering, yeah, I feel like I'm powdering powder. All right, so what are you doing? Uh, I'm still going to wait for you to do a step <laughs> and then see what's But you're what not going to paint the same way I'm going to paint. I'm not, but I'm going to see, like, what are okay, you doing? Okay, I'm going to paint my flower. I'm going to start yes. from the middle with okay, a dark color uh -huh. and work my way to the outside with a lighter color. So I'm going to go dark purple to light purple. I'm going to get some blue in there, I think, and then maybe just some pinks, maybe orange and yellow. Okay. That's that's big. I like that. Yeah? Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing over there? Mm -hmm, so, are you going to paint yours like mine, or are you going to paint it? No, I'm going to paint mine like mine. <laughs> I meant the color scheme. I don't know what my color scheme is. Well, yet. Dan, now's the time to decide. Can you, can you, can you leave me alone? <laughs> I'm gonna paint. Um, not to paint with the super you're chat. Me Thank all you so like, much. It's paint. Like, look, it's it's painting. You know, I might do if, every okay. line a different color. But if you want me to help you, I need to know what your direction is um, so that I can help. I'm you. a visual person, so I would like to watch to see what you do, and then I'll do what I want to do. <laughs> I know that's really bugging you that you can't control me right now. No, I'm not trying to control you. You can't. You, 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 you can't do anything for me right this second. I need you to paint. Uh, <laughs> mouse with paint. the super chat. Dan, get your fat thumb really? out of there. Ha! Right up there with Dan. Don't touch that. <laughs> yes, pretty much. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way all night will will we'll, we'll be for sure. Okay, so um, the way she does it, because her petals are all one color, she goes and outlines the petal and then fills it in. I'm treating each petal individually and going from the center with the dark purple. Still trying not to cover up those lines? No, I'm covering up the lines. You are? Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not really going to follow those lines for the, the blending and the shading and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't need my help. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna go order pizza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really. So I'm just getting a light amount of paint on here and then making sure I set down right in the middle and then moving out. So you can see it kind of fanning out and getting lighter. And then I'm gonna come in with a lighter purple and, and basically kind of cover up what I did and move out further. But when it's coming out of there, you're following the shape of how... Of each petal individually. And I skipped one just to kind of help me with the shaping. 
purple's a little redder than I wanted, though. It looks like the it looks like grape jelly. It looks like the Smucker's. It looks like the Smucker's grape stuff. You think? Oh, gross. Yeah, I think. Is that am I incorrect with that? <laughs> I don't understand what you that meant. Oh, this purple's almost gone. All right, let's go in with a little darker purple. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this kind of medium reddish purple and then go back into the center with my darker purple. Hey Dan, there's super chat for you. Did you read Britney's by the way? Yes, because we talked about the sponges. Okay. Yes. Uh, Mouse Me the Super Chat says, uh, house, light, house lights go low. It's decision time, Dan. That's your final answer. Well, no, I can phone a friend. Like, shouldn't I have, shouldn't I have, like, uh, lifelines? I was trying to be your lifeline, and you shut me down. I wanted your lifeline just to be the paint so I could watch what you were doing, so I could figure out, like, right. how to do that. Well, looks like I'm finishing first tonight. Man, I just, you just on it. <laughs> we've started, like, we've been on for 15 minutes. Oh, my gosh. So you, you want to, with your brush strokes, you want to... Follow the shape of the petal so that all of your shading and highlighting follows that shape. Wherever the lines go, whatever you go back and correct or any of that, it always follows that shape no matter what. And then I go in just a little darker at the edges of the petals. Is that the lining for you or are you... Or are you Key, like, will you key line it with something? No, or? it's it's like shadows. Okay. It's like the way the light's hitting it. Uh, Caitlin's here. Finally can watch it live. I've been busy with school and homework lately. Awesome. All I'm right. glad you are here. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dan and Crystal. So tonight I'm painting some leaves with with a cool peace sign. Oh, that would be cool. Awesome. Who's what? doing that? I lost your, uh, I lost your camera. Eh, no one wanted to see me anyway. <laughs> Uh, Mouse Queen says, you know, Dan, you could ask the audience. I could. You could. I could. I could phone a friend and ask the audience. Oh, I lost the... I lost the webcam for no reason. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Should I not have said the technical difficulties in the beginning? <laughs> Did I jinx us? No, I think you're good. Hold on, Mouse Queen. I think I used my lifeline to try to fix this thing. <laughs> it's like not happy. OMG. <laughs> you just don't get to see what I'm doing tonight. No, we'll fi I'll fix it. Uh, Charlotte already has her flower painted. Awesome. Flowers are fun because you can play with the colors, especially a hibiscus flower that has so many different variations. I don't know if anybody clicked on that link that I had posted to, to see all the different variations of colors that a hibiscus flower has, but there are quite a bit. Are we back yet? No, it did hmm. not. It is not. It is not cooperating. Uh, Mouse with a super chat goes to grab Gilman by the ear to fix the dang camera. I am the Gilman. <laughs> Should I grab you by the ear? When I'm like when I'm done, but not yet. Okay. I gotta fix this. Ca I gotta fix the camera. So, I don't know how well anybody can see. No, not at all, huh? Um, here I can like. No, it's well. I just turned my brush kind of sideways. It's a a long like wide, thin brush, and I turned it sideways to kind of get some of these lines branching out. Did you try turning it off and back on again? <laughs> hey, 
It wouldn't be an RFS fam stream without some sort of technical difficulties. Uh, Koru is here and says, howdy, y'all. Hello. Hello. We are dealing with uh, camera issues. Bear with us. What you need? Uh, Mouse says, can see your far off camera, but still no POV of the painting. Dag nabbit, Geldan. <laughs> she called you Geldan. I'll get it. I'll get it. It's being, I don't know what it is. It's being funky. I'll, uh, I'll fix this at home. Hang tight. Oh, the wacky cameras. What'd you call it? Wacky, I said wacky, wacky cameras. cameras. Yeah. Ugh. You like the way yours is so far? Yeah, but I kind of want to hold off because I want to be able to show what I'm doing with the blending of the colors. Okay. Although now that I'm doing it, I'm thinking I probably should have started with outside colors and blended, moved inward. From lighter to dark? From light to dark to blend, okay. but eh. We'll see how this goes. I can always go back over the darker colors again if I need to. Well, I want to go from light to dark, so maybe I should start from that outside then. Yes. Probably. Sometimes I wonder if my power supply, like, like if I'm just, I'm just I can tell like, like my, my, uh, my, uh, like the ports and stuff, everybody's like fighting for the, for the power because it you know it takes power to run each one of these USB ports you and got stuff. 15 different things yeah, going on. Yeah, I have a lot of things going on. Every now and then I'll get a right combination of uh, which camera goes to what port to, to do what. Good thing it's a fun hangout stream. <laughs> Good thing it's live. Good Mel says, live. for the record, love you both. I'm just kidding with you. We Thank know you. it, friend. Uh, yeah, no, uh, it's good. This is good. This is she says, I'm just good. glad to have some virtual company tonight. Uh -huh. Us too. Well, I'm trying to get you the camera so you can have the virtual company. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm good. Like, I'm not stressed out or anything. I just... I'm gonna. This has happened too many times to, like... You just roll with it now? To, like, care. Yeah. All right. Settle down, camera. Battery first. Plug it in turn it on otherwise sometimes it'll try to like charge on my computer instead of be a webcam are your fingers crossed no I'm gonna have to go in there and do some I mean we were fine for a little bit and then it, it decided to to uh, do what it wanted to do yeah see it's not it's like not trying to go to webcam mode at all oh fun do we have another camera should I go ask Blake for a camera no no we're good with this I'll get it to work again yeah. Yeah. Ursula is here. She says hi everyone. Hi. Greetings, Dan and Crystal. Happy Hello. Saturday. Thank you for joining us. Sharon says hi everybody. Sorry that I'm late. I'm not painting tonight. How is everyone? We are good. Just good, having good. some uh, camera difficulties. Just with the one cam. It's awkward because I can't really paint because there's no camera on my painting. So just chilling. Uh, Chorus is hanging out with y'all. Is making this five-hour drive so much better. Oh my Ooh, gosh! Where you going? Five-hour drive in the middle of the day. Yeah, where yeah. you off to? Where are you headed to and from? Dawn is still working on her stencil. <laughs> the mouse says, "Too bad YouTube doesn't allow gifts." LOL. I have so many ideas. <laughs> Doris went on a three-hour kayak trip, having a bit of a moment switching gears right now. But got background in. Fair enough. Oh, that's not happy. No. <laughs> it's it'll, it'll come back, but it's like like the GoPro webcam software like crash. 
Fun. Good timing. Uh, Kathy, the Perfecto 39 is here. Hello, Kathy. Thank you for joining Hi. us. Hello. And Nancy likes virtual company, too. Don't have to clean or do dishes. Oh, yeah. Hang out in your messy kitchen or wherever you are. No need to clean your house. We aren't here to judge. This this one's working, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, here. I can stick this up here so you can see uh, what's going on. There was some painting happening for a minute. Now. I don't know. Could you say just like please just talk out loud about paints or anything? I've please? been talking. <laughs> I ran out of words. I don't know. Okay, then. Um, are you going to continue on with other colors on this? I am, and now I'm debating if I want to go start from the edge with the yellow, and then work my way back again. You want to take mine and start over? Because I have to go to dark in there anyway. It's going to probably almost black on that inside area where the purple is. No. No, I'm just, I'm in my head trying to think it'll pro it's always easier to start with the yellow and, or with the light and blend the dark into the light. What about those new paints you got? The ones that were sparkly. Do you, do you plan on like going over any sparkly bits with it? I don't know. And I, I honestly don't think so because I wasn't really pleased with, uh, it's dragonfly glaze color changing top coat. And I played with it a little bit and it didn't really color change. It's basically just a glittery paint, which unfortunately I could tell as soon as I opened it and it's basically just a clear with like pink glitter in it and even when you can see where it dried in the cap a little bit it's just pink glitter there's no color changing i was disappointed in the hype that let me down in the hype yeah they have like stickers on top to show you and i didn't expect it to like change colors but i expected some dimension to it and there really wasn't any it was just pink glitter it was disappointing it was a little bit of a lie. Yeah, and it was not cheap, so that made me even more disappointed. I'll use, I'll use it on something then, because... Yeah. I just don't know that I need glitter on my flower. <sighs> Whoa. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. Koru is traveling to Florida from Georgia with traffic. Oh, yeah. Boo! Gotta love that, gotta love that traffic. Well, I went to LAX the other day. I was like, oh, I remember you, Traffic. Right? It was nice for a while being able to drive down there in, like, actual drive time and not have to factor in any of that traffic. It's just not traffic. <laughs> Mel says, overhype is a mood killer. I'm telling you. When we worked at CubeSmith, we had shade-shifting vinyl, like, vinyl stickers, and it shade-shifted. When you tilted it in the light, depending on how the light hit it, it shifted from, like, green to gold or... I don't remember what the color combinations were, but it shifted. So I kind of had high hopes for this. I wasn't sure how they were going to make it happen with the paint. But yeah, there was a, a big old letdown with that one. So I think I want to go with like a lighter yellow. I think I'm going to add some white to the yellow to lighten it up a little bit. Brittany is finally tracing on the canvas. You're going to catch up to us. And Mel says that uh, driving to Nashville was fun, but the 10-hour drive back was long. Oh, I hate long car rides. Nancy says that Georgia is a long state to drive through. I've never driven through Georgia. I've only driven on this side of the country. In like Arizona, Nevada up to Washington one time. My family took a trip all the way up to Washington. That was a long trip. Mel says, Texas is flipping. Texas is flipping huge. Yeah, it is. Approximately five minutes for the capsule lift, Dan, according to Uncle Yukon, lifting the capsule out of the water and onto the searcher, the recovery ship. Yeah, because we... Uh, is that... That one's... Oh, that one's still working. Coer drove from Maryland to Georgia last night. Jeez. I'm not sure exactly where Maryland is. By Virginia? 
Maryland. You guys know we're not very good with this. The, look, the East Coast is just a jumble. Like, you drop some puzzle pieces, and I kind of know they exist, and I don't know which one's there. Maine's at the top. Right? I think. Yes. <laughs> Maine's the top one, remember? Well, shoot. Did you paint your camera? No. <laughs> it's what? got some green on it. Where? Right here. Oh, yes. That was, <laughs> yes, you that did was, paint your camera. That was from the last uh, one we did. All right. So I'll just get a different camera. Okay. Well, I kicked the camera. You didn't tell me there was going to be a tripod where my foot goes. I'm gonna start blending my yellow to make it a little bit lighter. I'm not sure that I can get another camera to come on though without restarting and I'm not gonna restart. Do I just not get a camera on my painting tonight? No, that's not how that works. I don't know, I'm ready to get new extension cables. Just yeah. throwing these old ones away. I'm just gonna add a little bit of white to my yellow. So I don't wanna lighten it all that much, I just don't want it such a primary yellow. I just want it a little bit softer. Uh, Nathan is here and says, what's up, RFS Dan? Hi, how's it going? The okay. USB device you plugged in is malfunctioned. <laughs> malfunctioned? Oh, jeez. I'm good there. I know you guys can't see it. I will show you once we do get a camera going again. I went for just a softer yellow than a primary yellow just by adding a little bit of white to it. We're almost there. Almost? Can you do anything to help? Uh, no, just keep doing what you're doing. Okay. I just gotta get all my white blended in there. I still have spots. All right. Uh, Mouse is doing a little character design while we're doing the painting Ooh, thing. Yeah. Or trying. Still makes for a fun time. Dan, no pressure. You got this. Yeah. I just don't. Don't know why I waited till now to like. I mean, I mean that's the best time, right? <laughs> of course. I see something. Uh, Koru says, yes, um, Maryland, I think we were talking about, is above Virginia. I see me. Yeah, now I've just broken it more. Aww. Mouse says, kind of nice that we're taking a break from Dantix tonight. She enjoys the chill vibes. Yeah, we've been trying to mix it up. We did a whole year of pretty much every Saturday. I think we took maybe one Saturday to go to Vegas. Other than that, every Saturday was Dantic. So it's been nice for us too, just kind of mixing it up, trying different things that are a little more relaxed. Corey says they started in Florida, drove through Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, and into Maryland, about 970 miles one way. That's a lot of miles. Who's we? Is it like your whole family going or what's going on? Like what, what's the purpose for your trip? What's happening here? Cause I know you're just not driving to put miles on the car. Did you stop in Maryland? Was Maryland the destination? And now you're on your way home? I need more information. I haven't been on a road trip in forever. Since we uh, had my family reunion in Tahoe and me and you and Jason and Sandy drove up there. Yeah. The main line is being dragged out to the capsule for lifting. I can't see it anymore. I 
I'm now wishing I had snacks instead of a nap before the show. The lift mechanism is lowering to the capsule. It's crazy that they just sent regular people up there. I would not want to go to space. That seems okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're lifting it out. Oh, there's a guy climbing on the outside of it. Is, does he, is he the tow truck driver? He has to hop out and go attach the yeah, tow line? Yeah, he's like their mater. Their mater? <laughs> yeah, the idea of being in space is a little terrifying to me. I don't know. That and like out in the middle of the ocean, two places I don't want to go. Uncle Yukon says, I think I'd like to go, but I do have some claustrophobia. I feel like I could deal with the claustrophobia of being in the the spaceship. Um, what freaks me out is I get, like, vertigo from the idea. Like, even when I look at pictures, like, looking back at Earth, I kind of get a little sense of vertigo. Just the, you way far out there and you can't get down. And the, you're just out there. I, I might have a panic attack from that. Uh, Dai is so thankful we started early tonight. Me too. It was nice to be doing this a little earlier in the day. I don't know how long this flower is going to take us. We're kind of on hold right now. If you guys are just joining us, we're having some camera difficulties. The one that shows my stuff went out. So Dan's trying to sort that out and then we will get back to painting. Mouse with the super chat. Thank you so much. Says overexposure for a show is a thing. Absence of the show will definitely make the fans grow fonder. Yes, you cannot miss us if we don't go away. Well, while we're waiting, so next month, we're going to do something a little bit different. We've generally been doing the paint night towards the end of the month. You guys will notice this one's a little bit earlier. What are we on the 18th? And that is because we have some other stuff planned towards the end of the month next month. So our um, October paint night is actually going to be on October 1st. We're going to be painting a Halloween themed painting. We're going to make a post about that tomorrow on the group, letting you guys know what we're painting. But paint night is going to be on October 1st. We're still going to give you, that still gives you like two weeks to get all your supplies ready. Make sure you have the right size canvas. Um, it is going to come from this called again, stepbystepppainting.net. She has a bunch of Halloween and fall themed designs up there. So even if you don't like the one we choose, there's plenty there for you to choose from. You can pick something else that is more your style, more what you want to paint, but we are going to be doing it on Friday, October 1st. Um, and we have some other really fun stuff planned that when we post the calendar on, on October 1st, we'll let you guys know about that other stuff. We just wanted to give you a heads up on the painting since it is on the first of the month. We don't want to make the announcement about the painting the day the calendar goes up and you guys won't have time to get stuff ready. Are we there yet? Yay. Hannah says, mine's done. Not 100% happy with it, but it is what it is. You know, sometimes you just have to do that. Just just call it. It's good enough. And you get better with every painting. Those of you who have been painting along with us for the last, what, three, four weeks we've been doing this, I'm sure you can see every time you paint, it gets a little bit better. You kind of get a better feel for the paint, how to blend the colors, how to move your paintbrush to get the effect that you want. Um, Practice with, with lighting and how to light things, depending on what you're painting. Because some of them, I think like the mushroom we did, I don't even know if those are out here. The mushroom that we do is very two-dimensional. We added a little bit of depth to it, but the flower, you kind of play with the lighting and you pick like one direction to have the, the light come from. So you add your, your highlights and your shadows. You get the depth in the center of the flower with it more dark. And then out towards the edges, it gets a little bit lighter as the petals kind of fold out and absorb some of that light. Uh, Cover says, my father's 50-year high school reunion. Family all went together, and Maryland was the destination. We also stopped off at Arlington National Cemetery to visit my grandparents' grave. Oh, that's awesome. That's a fun family trip. That's a long family trip. We did, like I said, we drove to Washington. I was 14, I think. So that would have made my brother about 10. And we had, my dad had a 72 Chevelle Concours. And if you are not familiar with that, it's a big old long station wagon. And it was mud brown ugly as heck and in order to separate my brother and I fought like cats and dogs so in order to separate us I was in the middle back seat and my brother was in the way back if you ever had a station wagon you know you called that the way back 
And my brother was a terror. I also get car sick. So I was doped up on Dramamine and laid down in the back seat almost the entire car ride. Like we stopped in Yosemite and I barely got out of the car because I was so doped up on Dramamine just so I wouldn't feel nauseated. And we stopped somewhere and my brother got salt or sugar packets or something. He was opening them up and flinging them over from the way back onto me. And I just feel like little pellets hitting me. And I'm yelling at my mom that he's throwing stuff at me. And like, he's like throwing salt at me or something. She's just going, where did he get salt? I don't know where he got it. That's your child. You figure out where he got it from. I don't know. But yeah, that was, that was a pretty torturous drive. So hopefully your family is treating you a little bit better than that trip was. <laughs> Uh, Mouse with the super chat. Thank you, friend. The space travel thing. Oh, I have a slight fear of heights and also the fear that something can go terribly wrong is a thing. Rapid decompression, loss of oxygen, loss of oxygen in the cabin, for example. Yes, absolutely. There's, there's too many things that could go wrong that you have no way to abort the mission. Like you're out there. That's it. Everything you have is right here with you. If you're on a car trip and anything goes wrong, you can find a gas station. You can even pull over on the side of the road and like flag somebody down. If you need to, you can call a tow truck. We have cell phones. You can call AAA or your insurance company to send somebody out or whatever. What do you do up in space? If anything goes wrong, call work from work, <laughs> right? Something. <laughs> yeah. Pray for aliens. I don't know. Like that's, I can't deal with no, no exit route, no escape plan, no way to fix things. Uncle Yukon says, way back seat was the fun seat. Yep, we had station wagons, 57 and 58 Plymouths. Yeah, when you were just driving regular, like, it was fun. Um, ours was flipped backwards as they were back then. I don't know if they, are station wagons still a thing? Do they still have station wagons? Yeah, they, the, uh, the, you know what, the Ford Mustang has a new station wagon. Oh, Jesus. Can we not talk about the new Ford Mustangs? Um, uh, Koru has become a member. Welcome to the RFS family, Koru, and thank you for the support. You can go check out, is there still a, a member's first vlog up there mm -hmm. so there's still a vlog up there that is still only for members first you can go check that out before it becomes public um when we had the station wagon it was the jam to sit in the back we're like two the minutes, way back we're like two minutes from being done here okay and like wait not being done and leaving like <laughs> being set up being again done and set up again. okay um the way back was the way to go and it faced the back so you could like it was weird really weird that to be in a car the name of it we call it the way back like if you had a station wagon you call it the way back and that was the jam. If you were going anywhere, like we fought to sit in the way back. My parents were smart. My brother and I were never allowed to sit next to each other because of the way we fought. So one of us was in the back and one was in the way back. And it was always a big fight to see who got to sit in the way back, who got to sit backwards and just watch everything. Instead of watching everything go by this way, it was like this way. I don't know. You never had a way back seat in the station wagon? Yeah. Well, yeah. We had an Aerostar. So like I got two way back seats and there was but no. But it didn't face backwards. Oh no! no right, our space back. I don't think I've ever been. You one would of those. you would open the door, like like it opened like a door outward. It didn't flop down like a tailgate. It opened outward, and then you'd hop in and sit in the seat and face backwards, which would have been terrifying in an accident if you got rear-ended. Uh, Don says we called it the the backity back, <laughs> the backity back. I like that. <laughs> Right. So I got a camera. Oh, <laughs> way back was the best place until your parents hit a random animal and you got to see what's left. Oh, that never happened. <laughs> Not for us. <laughs> That's awful. Okay, Crystal, you're on the camera right now. Woohoo! You can see me here? Yes. Okay, so let's get back to it. So I went in... Are we good? Are we framed? Okay. You're framed and then I'll fix mine in a second. Okay. I went in here with the purple and just kind of went with my... I'm using this paintbrush. So it's thin and wide. And I went in like this and then turned it the other way and just kind of dragged these lines out. Um, but now in thinking about what I'm doing, I'm going to start at the outside and work my way in. So I'm going light to dark. Mouse with a super chat slings arm over Koru's shoulder. Welcome to the crew. Hi, I love it. <laughs> Jasmine's here and says, hi, hello, Jasmine. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Di had a wagon with a third seat when the kids were little. Kids would try to start fights with the drivers behind us. Luckily, we never got shot. Oh, <laughs> what? yeah, Di, I did that once. How oh are you gosh. so wholesome and your kids were trying to yeah, start fights with people? I crap one time and my parents, oh, yeah. I never did that. Mostly, I just wanted to be left alone, but I had a little brother, so that rarely happened. 
But, you know, we had Walkmans back then. You would just pop your Walkman in and let the world go away. Okay, so now I'm going to start at the outside and just come in with this yellow that I lightened up. It's a primary yellow that I added a little bit of white to just to lighten it up. So once I go in with the next color, I'm going to blend that next color into this outer color. And if you guys are just joining, we are following, uh, we are using a, a template from a website. We are not actually following the tutorial because we don't want to paint a pink flower. If you want to paint this and don't want to paint a pink flower, but want to go with the same kind of um, way that she painted it, you could for sure follow that same tutorial and just use whatever color you want to use. We are just uh, kind of winging it though. We just use the, the stencil from her. Uh, mouse says camera start working again and we're live. Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> you good? Yeah. <laughs> Di says my kids are not wholesome. Aw. Oh, they all seem wholesome to me. <laughs> Foxy Koala has joined us. Hello friend. Thank What's you for joining. Uh, who, okay. who, who became an Artifice fam subscriber? Koru. Oh my gosh, Koru. You'll get like, we have custom emojis right now that will oh, yeah. change after today. Uh, you get your name in green, I love it. And uh, you'll get different colored uh, icons. The, depending the Dan on, Mohawk. Yes, depending on how many months you've been a, a member. Thank you so much. Apparently I hurt Dan's feelings with my reaction to the, the emojis last night, so he's gonna change them. They weren't bad, they just were not what I expected. And and you know, I get the Wendy's and Pippi Longstocking references all the time. You and I choice like if i'm to draw you like that's like did you draw those or did you find those i had so i had those made and then Aww. i well and then i had well look at and then i had like then i had like i put the i put the logos on it like i'm just like i wanted something basic so i got something basic and then like i added the logos to it but like you either look like i mean what else do you want me to do if i draw you like with banes and stuff it's like two peg bundy Looking. That's fine. You'll have to let me see them not tiny on the screen, like three feet away from me. I brought them up big, huge on the screen, and then you shot them down. Pew pew. No, I didn't pew. see them big. Oh, wait, here we go. I pew, never pew. saw them big. Yeah, they were all like on the screen. I, I didn't see them like that. Uh, Foxy Koala is painting along, but doing a hedgehog. Adorable. Miss Christie is painting along with the kids tonight. Awesome. Are you guys painting the flower, or do you have a different design you're yes. painting? Uh, yeah, and then post them in the group when you're done. I'm going to go to this one now. Okay, so Mouse is a Walkman. I actually had the next generation thing, the Discman. You're a little younger than us, so yes, that makes sense. Sony Portable CD Player blasted some awesome tunes on that oh, baby man. for several years. Nope, I had a cassette tape Walkman. Um, cassette I, tape Walkmans? There were so many different options. Yes, I had the most basic one with uh, the headphones that were like, they had the foamy stuff on oh, it. Oh, the bad <laughs> foam. Yeah. I got a pair once for my birthday, and it was a cassette Walkman that went into another outside shelf from Sony what? and it was waterproof and it would change like colors and it would like click in so it was like Fancy. the old GoPro so yeah and it, it was that was the big it was so clunky it was so clunky while I was listening to uh I was listening to MC Hammer. I was down for Hammer. <laughs> Were you really? I uh, never listened I to vanilla, it. I was a pretty big Vanilla Ice fan too. My mom had the Vanilla Ice cassette. I did not. Dang these things these fools made it all the way back to Earth. Well, good are. for them. Good job. Hooray. Jasmine is crocheting tonight. Ooh, yes. Post your crochets. <laughs> Miss Chrissy says, two of us are doing the flower, and one of them is doing the kawaii sweets one. Awesome. I still, I don't, mm. can you em can you see it in the background? Oh, I, I still haven't finished mine. Hi, Doris in Facebook land, and Emily in Facebook land is, I'm painting a happy Halloween sign. Awesome. I'm sorry, I didn't see the chats from the other two sites. I'm sorry, yeah, Chris, we, what else we were did you dealing want dealing with to? other stuff. Um, I have not yet finished my kawaii sweets. Like I said, uh, Wilton in Real Life's was so good that it, like, frustrated me that mine didn't look like that. Uh -uh. Yeah, no joke. Wow. Like, um, it made me rethink my color decisions. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I put too much brown. Like, I'm not happy with the brown popsicle, but what can I do now? Like, I can't really repaint over. I mean, I could, but I'm not gonna. So, I don't know. I just had to, like, regroup and... I had to regroup. Yeah. You Sometimes know, that happens. Sometimes my paintings sit for a while, and then I go back to them. That's what painting is. Like, we don't know how to paint. <laughs> well, you do. I mean, you do, but like... You know, I'm just winging it. 
Oh, we're good. This is good. Uh, okay. Mouse in the Super Chat, proud 90s baby. Dang right. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Crystal is here. Hello, Crystal. Thank you for joining us. For those Hi, of you just joining Hello. us, I did mention just a little bit ago, uh -huh. um, paint night next month is not going to be at the middle or the end of the month as it usually is. Usually we do the end of the month. This one is at the beginning or the middle of the month because we moved it up a little bit because next month in October, paint night is going to be on Friday, October 1st. We're going to get that out of the way right at the beginning of the month. We're going to paint a Halloween themed design so you guys can use it as decoration for the whole month around your house if you paint along with us. And we've got some other stuff. We've got some new stuff planned for next month that we want to do a little bit later in the month. So that's why we're doing October 1st for paint night. I will make a post probably tomorrow because tonight is all about, you know, today's painting. So I will make a post tomorrow letting you guys know what the new design will be, how big we're going to paint it so you can get all your supplies ready. Hey, you need a drink over there? I'm okay. I have some water for right no, now. Yeah, you don't need to like, refill it. Right? No, I'm good. Okay, I think I got the stuff worked out now. I think, I think yeah. I'm good. How are your... How you are got the yours? GoPro working again? Yeah, yeah. Nice. The other camera wouldn't come back to life without a reboot. Once I started eliminating older cables out of the loop, it, it started working fine. So this other Amazon cable that I had, that, that did well for years. Is, um, you know what it is, too? It's... It's like um, we're you we're taxing our equipment more and more. Right. So the shelf life that you think of what lasts in your head, it, it's going by a little bit quicker. You right. know. Because it's not just sitting there. It's right. So working stuff hard. Is actually failing. So well, uh, no, no problem. We'll we'll fix that. Uh, Dora says I won't make next month. We'll be visiting family in Upper Michigan. No worries, friend. Uh, you can watch it along later. Paint along whenever you feel like it. Whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. I don't have a pencil, huh? So you need a pencil. This? Do you have one handy? Like a mechanical pencil? That'll work just fine. I just want to finish out the petals that go over the edges so I can kind of figure out where to do the yellow on these. And my leaves that go over the edges. Are you almost ready to start painting, Dan? I think, you know, I think I am now. I was just trying to make sure everything was good to go. I know we have a long painting night, so I was just taking the time early on to make sure that this is uh, this is good. I know a lot of people will be showing up in about an hour at 6 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it already 5? Uh, it's 4.55. Yeah, I spent that whole time pretty much... Uh, pretty much one to one. Crew member outside the capsule, yeah. Climbing out. I'm so this design, if you print it um, from the link, it prints it about eight by eight, which is the size canvas that we are using. But it doesn't, the design doesn't finish. There's like, it doesn't go all the way to the end. So you could for sure do this on like a 10 by 10, an eight by 10, and just kind of finish it out. If you look at the website where the design comes from, you can see how she adds more leaves and stuff. Are you playing with it? Dan's practice painting. I am. I'm trying to figure out if I like this brush, if I like this brush width. You can go kind of wider um, on the outsides, but you probably want it a little slimmer towards the middle. I think I'm going to bring this yellow down a little bit more. I'm looking at this picture and I think the, the yellow is going to go more towards the edge of the entire petal and not just at the top edge. Hannah says, Friday, that means I can paint along again. No longer working uh, Wednesdays or Saturdays. All right. I awesome. Think... There's Super Chat there for you. Uh, super Chat from Mouse Queen. All right, Dan, you know the rules. You know the lifelines. If you're ready, he, he let's paint. I am. Um, I'm going to start with this cobalt blue. Mine's going to be blue. Your flower's going to be blue? Yeah, it's going to go from blue to black, or blue to darker. Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. Smush. I'm going to put it on my Bob Ross blobber. My... <laughs> Is that what you think that's yeah, called? A blobber? <laughs> it's the blobber. Yes. Got my Bob Ross blobber here. But I also want something else before I go. What's that? A two blues. Oh, 
Two blues. Two blues. Oh my gosh. Is there anything better than one blue? There's two blues. I did just two blue it, by the way. Bam. Oh my gosh. And then I gotta whack my What's thing. your other blue? <laughs> uh, darker than the other blue. Um, so... Did we? Did anybody else watch the Bob Ross documentary about us? And Jess? Oh my gosh, me and Jess were like girls on the phone. Oh my gosh, did you see this? We were yelling and screaming. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Bob Ross. That was fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I don't know it was fun for like the people involved, but like, it was a good documentary. I enjoyed learning more about him. I never knew anything about him. Me neither. Like paint. <laughs> Who looks like all the crew members are coming out the capsule. All right. How many went up? Four. And none of them were professionals? Uh, two were, and I think, or two were, like, I think the civilians, and I think the other two were, like, with their crew chief and something or another. Like, they still, like, did stuff, but, like, yeah, I know for sure two of them but were. But they weren't, like, career astronauts, like... Uh, I know for sure two weren't, but I don't know if the two dudes, the two dudes were or not. Paint has been applied. Hooray! If you're going from the outside, you can always fix it by blending other colors into it. So don't worry about it. You're just kind of throwing on a layer and then you're gonna go back in and blend the other color out into it. Uh, Steve says all four were civilians with six months of training. There you go. Wow. I Dr. Mean, Detroit wants to know what documentary we are talking about. Uh, it was a Bob Ross documentary on Netflix. I think it's on Netflix, yeah. On Netflix. And it was just kind of about like his life and... Injustice. Injustice. <laughs> That is interesting. Definitely worth watching. Hey, Dr. Detroit, uh, did you watch Indy qualifying today? That was fun. <laughs> Steve says even Dan could be an astronaut now. Yeah, Blake's, Would you? Blake's mad about that word being thrown around so loosely. He's, uh, he's not happy with the word uh, astronaut just being thrown around for... I mean, the guy was watching Spaceballs on the way back down. He was literally watching Pullman and, and, and John Candy chew up the scene <laughs> <laughs> with not Jennifer Connelly. I mean, I saw a post. I follow Scott Kelly on Instagram. If you guys don't know who he is, he's the guy that spent an entire year in space. He has a twin brother who is also an astronaut, so they were able to... He was not in space during that time, but once he came back, they were able to uh, do a bunch of tests on them to see what a year in space did to his body that not being in space for a year didn't do to his twin brother's body and make some comparison tests which is kind of interesting and he posted like dude is an actual like he's the most astronauty astronaut that ever astronauted he spent an entire year uninterrupted up in space and he's like dude just astronaut astronaut whatever you want to call him doesn't matter like they went up in space they did something groundbreaking i mean it's right right so but if he's not offended <laughs> I'm offended that there's twin astronauts. That's that's not cool. <laughs> you don't like that? No, the twin things kind of bug me a little bit. Why? It just like I watched hockey and there was these two twins that played on the same team and it wasn't like cheating. It just was weird. I didn't like it. They were all fleshy. And, <laughs> what like, does that mean? Like just I don't know. They look kind of like like dead. You know, like 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 like. Just like pale and like they weren't human and I don't know. What? I just, it wasn't right. Wait, no, I need more information. You did not like these two guys individually. You did not like the fact that they were twins. Aura, you didn't like their, their skin aura tone. They creeped me out that they were like these two twins that were like alien ish. -ish. 
like grayscale, <laughs> like you know what I mean, like 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 alienish. Steve and, says the city. Yes, and then we're like oddly like they played on the same line together, you know. So like you can't have the brain waves, you know. I don't know. I will say they probably definitely had an advantage. It was just weird. It was just weird. I don't know if twin astronauts have an advantage. Di knows who I'm talking about. She says, Scott Kelly is so awesome. Yes, I really like him. You guys should check out a... You know, it's... The gimmick is done and over with, but he's still an awesome dude. Oh, it's so funny. He's all trying to, like... He's all trying to drink water out of the air. <laughs> it's just a little <laughs> bubble of water. He looked like he was having so much fun in space. Yes. Yeah, he definitely made it a lot of fun. He made it a very palatable... To people who are not super into space. You have to. When I was a kid, that's unreachable. That's for, like, the smart people. And now, like, you can watch Spaceballs in space? I'm in. I am in. It is literally like that episode of The Simpsons where Homer went to space. <laughs> Pretty much. Simpsons did it first. Kessler and the Sandine twins were a great line. I know. It was just weird. I just didn't like it. Uh oh, Dan, here comes the heat. Dan wigging out over twins. Jeez, Dano. What, do you have a twin? Do you, is that what's going on here? Is it the double mint twins? Remember the double mint twins? <laughs> double mint. Double I've mint, never personally um, known any twins. Um, what, in high school, there were twins that I went to high school with, but I, I wasn't like friends with them to hang out with them outside of having a class together. I don't know if I've ever seen twins in my life. I had to have. Like, you've never seen any? Yeah. Yeah, well, when was the last time you've seen twins? I mean, I've seen them, but I've never, like, personally known any. It kind of weirds me out to think, like, I can be friends with somebody, and then there's another person that looks just like them who may or may not be my friend. Oh, man, I know, right? How do you date a twin and, like, not be attracted to I their twin? I just don't want to see another me. Like, that's, <laughs> I don't want to see another I'm you for either. Me. I'm for me, and I don't want to see me. Especially if I age worse than my twin. <laughs> well, if you're twin identical. Looks like 10 years earlier me. Oh, it's just an everyday reminder. Like, that would be so harsh. <laughs> Your twin takes better care of their skin. <laughs> just everything. <laughs> uh, Steve says a set of little people twins would be the mortal enemies of Dan and Crystal. <laughs> Probably. Dang, we're just cute. Yeah. Look, I don't hate the twins. I just don't know. I just have... I have just never been around. You twins. said you were weirded out by them. Okay. I'm only... Look, if you... The, the, the record is... I'm only weirded out by the hockey twins because it was just not right. It was just not right. They were... It was just not right. But are you weirded out by Crystal, brothers? What if there's brothers who grew were, up playing hockey they together? They were, like, drafted, and they're on the same team. They retired together. <laughs> well, Crystal, they're the same they, age. They, they were playing the same amount of years. They retired together. I heard they like to stay together in the hotel rooms. It's not right. It's not right. I bet they, like, plug in, like, like umbilical cords at night. What? They have some sort of, like, umbilical cord hookup or something. Dan. I don't even care if it's made out You're of beanie. You're being beanie. unreasonable It could be made out of beanie baby. It's mm -hmm. custom. Or one of those lots of legs. But something touches their umbil umbilical cords. I just, it's just not right. <laughs> Steve, we're Steve. He's Canadian, so he might stick up for them. Uh, Mouse Queen says, I mean, I knew two twins in my elementary school years. Get this, their names? Patrick and Stuart. <laughs> no way. Has me wondering now if their mom, my teacher, was a Trekkie. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I did go to school with a set of female twins who... Years later, I actually found on Awkward Family Photos. I was like, oh my god, I know these people! And it was their prom picture. And I don't know why it was on there, because it wasn't even a family photo, but it was kind of a goofy picture. Still not as good as when my family was on Awkward Family Photos. I never cared about one tw twins or anything until there was an episode of Total Drama Island and the twins were Amy and Sammy. <laughs> and then now I'm like, man, if I had twins girls, they would be definitely Amy and Sammy. Um, also, How sad for Sammy! All that's true. <laughs> She's not even her own person. But but if I have another kid after that, then Sammy's just a middle child and it's okay. <laughs> Is um, it? Do you remember when you... Does everybody in the chat know that you were on Awkward Family Photos? Yeah, is this is this a known thing? Do we know that Crystal? Do we my, know that Crystal? My was on family Apple? photo from when I was about 10 years old is on Awkward Family Photos and reposted all over the internet. You know what? Yeah, if you guys Wait. are hanging out, who can find it? And it is on... Uh, what was the name of the app? You know what? I wonder if Steve knows this. Steve and Brittany, do you two know? Do you two know this? Hey, what's up, Trinity? Second Street Marvel. What's up? Hannah says someone find that photo. <laughs> hey, Trinity, we were just talking about how Crystal's a meme. Uh, what is it? <laughs> could you tell? Could you tell? Oh, us? my family photo from when I was ten years, which is really weird. So I was like ten years old. My mom worked at William Edwards Photography. 
There was no digital photography back then. We had family photos taken, but she never ordered any of them. They were like, uh, Trinity, I hope you're listening. They were setting up lighting or something like that. So they, (laughs) they like, Oh, we'll do some family photos. You guys want to come in and we'll like set up whatever we're doing so we can practice some lighting. We have like proofs of that, but we never ordered them, which means that somebody somewhere working at that photography studio had to have digitized that, like uploaded it to the internet. Cause we certainly did not. So there's an app, um, it's like hole in your face or something like that or something where my brother's picture, his face is taken out and you can insert your photo into my family photo as my brother. And Steve says, do we know what? We're, we're talking about it. <laughs> Mouse said, Dano, hush your mouth before you say something you regret. Um, so yeah, I discovered it. One of my friends sent it to me oh, because her aunt had posted it And her aunt, like, I knew her aunt when I was, like, 16 and on. So her aunt had to have known it was our family photo. She posted it or somebody posted it. Whatever it was, somebody saw it on Facebook and recognized my family because somebody had posted it to say happy birthday to their friend by putting their friend's face into my brother's face in my family photo. And then it came back around to me. You guys, I lost my damn mind. I laughed hysterically. It was not embarrassing to me at all. It was absolutely hysterical without looking at my social media because I did post it on social media. See if you can find my awkward family also, photo. Also, hold on. Also, it's a heavy metal band's cover of their album. Oh, shit, album yes. Yes, there in is... a different country. There is a band who replaced all all of the faces with my mom's face and used my family photo with all my mom's face but our bodies... As their cover for their album. Guys, we gotta find this pre- this band and contact them. They're we like, need to hear what they sound like. They're Steve, foreign. Steve, are you on this? You can hear them. They're on like Spotify or something like that. We found it somewhere and we Steve. listened to it and it was it was awful. Yeah, I forgot. Have you not have we not told the story? No, in a I while? I forget about it and then every once in a while it'll pop up and I'm like, oh yeah, that was pretty hilarious. Yeah, Crystal's a Crystal's a meme. And Steve said, okay, I'll go find it. BRB. Yeah, I lost my mind that day. I sent that to everybody that I knew. Like, oh my god, you guys check this out. Like, I scoured you the live internet on forever. I scoured the internet to find all instances of it that existed. <laughs> it is everywhere. Yes, you it's, live. You will always live on. It is on Pinterest. It's on people's blogs. It's everywhere. Apparently, it was a good one. Um, which, by the way, my dad had a mullet. My mom pretty much had a mullet. I had the top of my hair pulled back and bangs, so it looked like I had a mullet, even though I didn't. And my brother was rocking. This flat top. And wearing your shirt? No, that that wasn't. No, he wore my shirts in in older or like photos when we were older. <laughs> they weren't girly shirts. <laughs> Hannah found it on my Facebook. No, I said without going to my social media, because I don't know where the heck it came from or how it originated. But yes, it does exist out there all over the internet, which cracks me up. How many of you can say that you are on Awkward Family Photos? And by the way, my friend Nanda bought the Awkward Family Photo game recently in the hopes that my family photo would be in it. It was not, in case you were wondering. But I told her I'd just print her out a picture of it and she could insert it into her game. Someone did that already. Uh, Holly printed Holly out a that. picture to um, insert, because she she's the one who sent it to me in the first place, uh, to insert into the What Do You Meme game that we have. <laughs> Trinity is currently scrolling the website. <laughs> I found it years ago. Let's see. Probably three or four years ago. Maybe five even. It was a while ago. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you hungry yet? Eh, ish. You have to make food I'm happen snacky. like an hour from now? Or like, because yeah. I'll place the order. Even if I place the order now, it'll take like 40 minutes for food to get here. Yeah. Yeah, is anybody else out there, do you, are you on Awkward Family Photos, or do you personally know anybody who made it onto Awkward Family Photos? Because I've never met anybody else who's on it. I think that's fantastic. I forgot about that. That should be like, that, that, that should be like... My claim to fame in life. (laughs) What are you up to? Oh, you were... I was looking at Cyber uh, Husky's shirt that the hubby got a few weeks ago. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, I'm showing it. Sorry, Cyber. The, the happy it's little the, tree painting, happy Bob Ross. Trees. I love it. I love it. That's great. That is great. To the Domino's Pizza app. 
Hannah says, this is the first time I'm hearing of the website. Oh, you got to check it out. It's hilarious. When you first discover it, I feel like you just like go deep into it and like are laughing at all the awkward family photos. And like I said, then I found people I went to high school with. I was like, oh my God, I know them. You definitely have to look and see if there's anybody you know on there. Or better yet, yourself. Domino's thinks my face is ugly because it doesn't want to, like, recognize me. Because I got these new glasses. Better to see you with. You have to take them off for your face uh, recognition. Food now or later, an hour or more from now. It's 5.10. Do you want to hear it in an hour or do you want to hear it in th 30 minutes? An hour is probably good. That way we have time to paint a little bit more. So at 6 o'clock today? Today at 6.15... Is that your first earliest yeah. option? Then just do it right now. That means they're like, it's probably going to be six ish by the time it gets here, right? Good call. <laughs> Mouse says Domino's Pizza app is awesome. No more super chats from me while I order some za. Mm -hmm. I'm just really curious, like, of the, the chain of custody in how that family photo ended up on there. Because, like I said, we don't even own copies. We could, right. Like, I do not have a physical copy of it other than the one Holly printed out from the internet. I love it. It's it's like, it's somehow it lived on without you guys doing anything for it. Yes. I will pull it out and, and show you guys because we do have a copy in the game. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so to go in and blend this, what I'm going to do is to make a line of my next color and kind of a little bit thick at the end of the yellow. And I'm not really sure how this is gonna work out. I haven't actually done this technique, but I'm, I'm thinking this is how we wanna do this. And then I'm gonna blend it outward into the yellow. And I feel like every time I paint flowers, each petal looks different as you kind of start to get the hang of how you want the colors to blend in. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter with this blending. <laughs> Mouse looks at self in mirror. Okay, I'll eat salad tomorrow. Hang in there, self. You're good. It's okay. I'm with you, Mouse. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'll eat healthy. Just trying to lighten this up just a little bit. I lightened, uh, I created a pink because I still don't have a pink. So I just created it out of red and white. And I just want to real gently blend this into the yellow. Kind of like dry brushing, but you know, I have a little bit of more paint on here. I did see somebody said that they uh, posted a picture on Facebook. I will get to that in just a moment. Bear with me here. So you just want to kind of soften that line there at the edges. You don't want a solid line of the next color that you're doing. You just want to kind of blend it in to your lighter color. What you doing? I come to learn. I'm about to like try to go to this next color that I want okay. to blend in here. Okay. So that. I don't like what I did where I put the line because I can see the line. It started to dry a little bit on the edges. So my new technique is going to be just a little bit of paint on the brush, and then start inward, kind of spread that paint out, and then get to where you're blending that in so real light. So super under paint, like less than you think. Yes, you can way, always add more. It looks like way less than you think. Yeah, that technique worked a little bit better, I think. You know, Brittany says, still looking so many photos. Yeah, it was years ago, guys. Uh, Mel says, OMG, you guys, so random story. Some dingbat egged my front door earlier this week. People still do that? Who said that? Mouse. Oh my gosh. That's like retro. Kids still go outside and play? <laughs> that must have been an adult who remembered egging things from back in the day. Bunch of savages. I'm saying.
Yeah, I think I like that technique a little bit better than what I did here. So I'm going to try to kind of fix this because I do still see a little bit of that line and I want to cover that up a bit. They threw a raw egg, raw egg at my door and I only saw it when I got home from work. That's awful. I'm going to cut it and make cookies. Catch it for cookies. Hannah says, how dare they let me at them? And Megan <laughs> says, I'm here. I'm here. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I love your Megan Hi, accent. Meg yeah. <laughs> She's always smiley and everything's gonna be okay. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? How's your house? No, I don't want to lock my card. I want to. I want the the card information. Do you know what you're doing? Bam! I do now. Trinity still hasn't found it yet. In just a minute, I will go and get the photo and show you guys, and you can all laugh at my uh, awkward family photo. I didn't think it was that bad. Not, I didn't think it was awkward family photo website worthy, but apparently somebody out there Dude, did. Your parents are like your parents are like stereotypical of that time. Oh, with absolutely. The, with the hairstyle and the glasses size. Oh, for sure. But outfits. I grew up with it, so like They're it didn't seem that weird gingers. to me. It's not like like mom's a ginger. No, you guys are just all like the, okay. The punchlines. It's for the pun record, it's a we're picture. not all gingers. I'm a ginger. My brother was blonde as a yes. kid. He's kind of gingery these days. Look, the photo's oh. a punchline. Everybody, <laughs> everybody in the photo has is is a, is a punchline, right? I, I would say so. I'm digging that. Like I had bangs I, from I'm like here back, <laughs> like bad. I had lots and lots of bangs. Yeah, I mean, you know, I was, and they were feathered. I was every kid in the '90s too. With the I had a flat top. I had a fanny pack with MC Hammer style pants on and a Bart Simpson shirt, lots of purples and yellow. My fanny pack was purple and neon yellow. Oh jeez. Um, oh yeah, it was like, I had that. I asked for my initials to be carved in the back of my head. No! Yep, I had DM, like Danger Mouse, carved in the back like of my Danger shaved Mouse. head. The only thing that I didn't do is grow the achy breaky rear <laughs> at all. I there didn't. was no party in the rear? No, but I was just as, I was just as bad. Yeah, but you're not on awkward family photos. What's your claim to fame, Dan? I, I don't have a. Cl I don't. I, <laughs> I don't. I know this color was darker. It's that much darker than this. A little bit. Brittany says, on that site, there are so many of those photos. Yes. <laughs> Dang. Well, you know what? We got a light, so, you know, we'll search for it for a while. And when you find it, let me know if there's a comment section and if, any, and if anybody's able to leave comments. Yeah, I haven't been onto the site Did anytime you? recently. Yeah, it hasn't been anytime soon. Yours looks all blendy and mine looks like not. Well, maybe you should work on your blending. <laughs> What's going on? Um, there's not much difference between your two colors. That's a lot of your problem. Do you want a different blue? What is your other blue? I'm wondering if I should just go darker and then brush it through all of this. Um, I have those two blues and I have this third blue that's way darker, but I should have gone just to the third blue. Um, I think you have a cerulean in there too. That might help. I don't know. Uh, so Mouse says would have only helped if I'd have started with that. I didn't go light enough. Oh, is it lighter than that? Uh, Mouse says hmm, my claim to fame: fifteen wins on an as yet humble YouTube show. He, he I talk about y'all show whenever I have the chance. By the way, that is awesome. You should be proud of that. Sorry, I have hiccups. Uh, my last week of adventure says hello, fam, and pretty paintings. We are getting there. <laughs> right? Brittany said, Dan wearing colors, I need proof. I, was, I just thought it was always on. I was like, man, does this thing ever turn off? Every time I look at it, it's on. Like at nighttime. It's fantastic. I love it. Are we talking about your rave toilet? Yeah. 
Oh my god. The, the sensor board is so far, it could, I, all the way in the back of my room, I can kick my foot up and it'll, it'll sense it. It'll sense what? Me. Like, it, it's, a sense, it's, a, it's a motion sensor on it. I and got then this, it turns on? Yeah, it's a motion, yeah. yeah. So you walk so, in there and the toilet bowl lights up and like it changes colors every eight like seconds. Always, it's like always on when I go in there. So I'm like, man, like, is this thing always just on at nighttime? Or at night yep. Is it it's, always on at nighttime? great. Nope, it's just because it's, the sensor range is so far that like by the time you're looking at it, it's already on no matter where you are. Huh. You should use this standing up. It's great. You can stand there and you're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's all changing colors. Just don't dance while you're oh peeing. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I eat wiggle worm for sure. <laughs> Like, oh, that's weird. And you left. <laughs> it's unamused by your antics. Uh, Kelly's 420 Cult says, you guys started early tonight. We did. We started at 4 p.m. to kind of help out you uh, East Coasters so you didn't have to stay up so late. And we're kind of playing around with different things as, as we go along with the show, just kind of seeing what works for people kind of want to be able to include everybody because I know a lot of you when we start at 6 p.m. and do something like the painting that goes for a long time a lot of y'all got to dip out and go to bed Blake did you want to paint a flower no painting is boring like all painting like you'll never paint with us probably not yeah hey Blake you seen that simulator that was a uh, lawnmower simulator right People in the chats were telling me to check out Pressure Washer Simulator. No. Oh my gosh. You know there's a whole sub subreddit for pressure washing? You know you can just go outside and do it, right? Right? <laughs> we literally have one in here somewhere. You don't have to simulate it, Dan. You could do it in real life. I could do it. Oh, I got paint on my finger. I'm <laughs> like, shut his door. <laughs> <laughs> Done with us. He is so good. Uh, Mouse has also been in the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade at least twice. Wicked cold, but no lots way. of fun. Let's see. Do you have the? Let's. I want to see. Is it? Show me the link. <laughs> show me the link. Unamused by Dan's antics. His dantics. You mean? Yeah. Blake's not. Um, Blake's not amused ever. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Were you when amused by that, much that your parents did? When I say that, that we have like we have a great time. Like we have we have a great time. He laughs with us a lot, but like. Yeah, he's just not really... He's not into this. He's just being Blake. He doesn't want to be part of the RFS fam. <laughs> I don't even know if he subscribes to you on YouTube. <laughs> he does like my cat pictures, though. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's go darker. Hey, Mo. Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to bring his little bed over there. So you he might can... need to, because he's... Uh... Could hang out. Over here seeing what's up. Hi, buddy. Can you come sit in my lap? Hi. This spit up everywhere. I gotta go wash my hands real quick. Oh. You just come to see what's going on? proud of me. I almost wiped off my blue hands on the good kitchen towel that was white. Thanks for not. And then I went and got an old scruffy one. <laughs> good looking out. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm really happy with this petal here. Uh, you know what? Yours looks really good. It's got like that pink lemonade flavor to it. <laughs> the flavor? Yeah. Stop eating it. Ow. <laughs> Steve says RFS fam is like Super Nintendo graphics to Blake. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Yeah, don't ever save all your game stuff for your children and enjoy when you're older, because then he'll just be like, dude, this is stupid. Yes, technology like, moves way too fast was, for your kids yeah, to care. I'm so stoked. He's like, These, I can't even tell what's going on. I'm like, oh, man. It's because it sucks. Come here, Blake. <laughs> it's because, are, wait, are you talking about video games or like what we do? What you, so like, so oh. like I was trying to explain to Steve that like he was playing like Super Nintendo and stuff, and like it's, even PlayStation Two is hard for you to like watch. I play PlayStation Two, but like why? What's what's the what's the problem with old retro games? Because I hate like the, Atari's the worst. Suck. Whoever likes Atari or ColecoVision is like just lying. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like lying. yeah. If you still like Atari in twenty twenty one, you're a liar. So, 
Yeah, Kelly says show Blake an Atari 2600. You're right. I've seen, I've played the old console. It's the 2600 from Atari. What's wrong? It's Dice, just says not that, Dice says that you're the OG RFS fam. I'm what? The OG original <laughs> RFS fam. I guess so. Well, Hannah says her kitty came to sit in her lap too. And she also says, uh, get you someone who loves you the way Mooch loves Crystal. I'm saying, this cat is needy. Do you want his bed over there for in a minute? Probably. He, uh, he wants to be held right now. He's all about this life. How you liking your picture? I'm liking it so far. I'm not mad at it. I put too much in this one spot. How do I go back? Control Z. Uh, go. Oh, hey, Dan, hmm. stop. Go from the middle outward, because you're. Happening? The from, from the middle of the flower outward because as you touch your paintbrush down it's going to be darker and as you move outward it's going to get lighter as the paint comes off of your brush so you're putting darker bits towards the outside of your flower you should be going the other direction it's beautiful okay then you do you I'm, I'm trying to give you tips but you do you a mouse queen says if you scroll back a bit I share my Macy's parade story why I got to take part I, oh, can't, I, missed it. I can't scroll Crystal you might be able to with your finger <laughs> I cannot Beer on Bug says, I wasn't going to say anything, but I feel like I'm going a little insane. I thought y'all said you were going on at two, which would be at four here. Then the preloader thing said eight. Um, yeah, when Dan first set it up, apparently it said uh, we were going at six. And then I think you changed it, right? You corrected that? Yes. Um, but yeah, yeah four just... o'clock our time. So sorry if you came early or late, but we're still here. You can still hang out. Mouse says, my aunt worked for a dance choreography company and her boss at the time had a clause in the company that stated employee families could come to NYC and be in the parade float. That is awesome. Okay. Oh, hey, you mashing. Oh, you need your ear itched? This is not what I want it to be so far, but I don't, I'm, I'm okay though. It's paint. You can play with it, cover it up, do what you gotta do. I'm gonna check the Domino's tracker to see who's making our pizza. I love that it tells you who's making it. Do you ever check the name tag to see if the person delivering it is actually the person they said no, was delivering it? No, I should though. Uh, Serena began quality checking my order at 525. How do I start over? Can I just paint this canvas white and then start over? You could if you really wanted to. I have more canvases if you want to start over. I bought like a 10 pack of this size. I need this to dry for a minute. Uh, Ursula says, wow, I was offline while Crystal got her new color. Yeah, I'm, I will show you in a minute the, the picture I'm using as my inspiration for my color scheme here. I just Googled hibiscus flower and scrolled until I found a color scheme that I liked because I didn't really want to do an all pink flower. I'm not really the hugest fan of pink, to the point where I do not even have pink paint, apparently, and had to create pink. I want to make that background on this canvas real quick while that part dries. So okay. Do I need a big brush to make that? How do I, how do I blend do it colors? With a big I want brush. Because I need to know how to blend this color so I can fix okay. this flower, because I'm not doing it right. Yours looks really good, Crystal. Thanks. You have to um, move kind of quickly because you don't want your paint to dry. So you have to like have your game plan ready to go with your colors. Um, if you hold on just a moment for me to finish this last petal, the pink on this last petal, then I will pull up the tutorial again for you. Mouse Queen said, LOL, the last year we went in 2002, we visited the wax museum. He <laughs> he, and yes, Reach was there. His wax <laughs> figure, and you're like, wait a minute. Regis's wax figure is at my wax museum. Oh my gosh, there can't be two wait, Regis mouse. wax figures. Somebody, it's shenanigans shenanigans I've oh. never actually been to the wax museum out here have don't you? Go to, yeah 
Yeah, is uh-huh. it bad? Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. It don't. It smells like formaldehyde. Remember when we went to that museum? So what you're telling me is they're not really wax figures if it smells like formaldehyde. It doesn't. It smell. You know what? You know what Hollywood. You know what Hollywood Boulevard smells like, right? Uh, yeah. Like, cause you can you kind of just kind of smell that like that smell. Mm-hmm. That's the whole inside captures that air. No. Gross. Mm-hmm. Tis really gross. So yeah. Okay, so I need like a big brush. <laughs> Oh, I have a big brush. You do. Oh. You have a whole set of brushes. Look at Dan. this. Ah. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so big. Well, this one's kind of tapered weird though, huh? This one's not really. This one's. You could do it. It'll be fine. This, this one's, one's really big. Is that bigger than this flat one? Should I go with this flat one? Either one would work. Look, I'm not really sure of the purpose of each shape of paintbrush. I just know what I like to use for different things. Okay, I, you know, I'm okay so with that. play with it and see what you like. Do I go from light, lighter to darker on this? You're going to start with oh. the orange at the top. I have to use the little streamers one first. <laughs> okay. Uh, Beer on Beck says, by the way, I don't think I ever had any awkward family photos, but I've got a high school photo from when I was growing my hair out that I hope hasn't found the light of day online. Oh, I feel you. Um, my fifth grade photo was pretty bad. Um... We had a family friend living with us who was 16, and I just, like, idolized her style and her wardrobe, and she decided to start doing my hair for me, and I had bangs, and I don't know what possessed her to do this. She split my bangs in half, this way, curled half of them upward, and half of them downward, so then it was, like, flat in the front, with, like, two sets of curls. Oh, it was so bad. I don't know why I thought it was cute at all, but I rocked it. Braces, goofy looking smile, just all with my bad bangs. Oh, it was bad. It was so bad. What do you need, Mooch? You want to go lay in your bed yet? No, you do not. Um, so Ursula, I mentioned I would show you my flower that I'm using for inspiration. It looks much darker on the camera, like the colors are more vibrant and dark and less pastel-y, but this is pretty much kind of what I'm going for. So we're gonna get some, some like blues and purples and stuff going on in here next. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Mouse says, fake wax reed, be acting sus, I smell an impasta. Mm, yeah, which one? They should have a wax off. And s- they should like both reed wax fake. Oh, I'm in trouble. I can't go back now. <laughs> On fire and whoever melts last is the true reed. Oh, jeez. So, and then they can take the melted wax and reforge it back to oh, reed. She says, LOL, though y'all are in California and he's just as big in LA as he is in New York oh, City. In New so Yorker. there's that. Yeah, but he's in New York. We only watched him because he was syndicated. So what do I do? Do, All I, right. do I do the whole thing? Do I do the whole thing? <laughs> no, hang on a sec. Uh, Trinity has given up on finding uh, the awkward family photo. Uh, I need to stand yeah. and move around for a bit, so I will Look, grab the awkward family photo. Yeah, please photo. do, because Trinity's got a lot of comic books to read. If you're a comic book fan, you should follow Second Street Marvel. That is my friend Trinity. I actually know him at IRL. Where's the camera? He's unapologetic and gives his opinions about things. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't swallow his opinions, which I like, so... What's that? And so uh, check him out. Really though, check him out. He goes live all the time. He talks about the comic books every week. He even go live. He even goes live in our comic book store. And if I owned the comic book store, I would be promoting the heck out of that. I think that is so fantastic. I would be like derby flyers and everything of like, dude, come like our comic book store is live. I think that's fantastic. So uh, check it out. Uh, Steve says he's still looking. All right, I will see if you guys in trouble. And I will bring it to you. Crystal's finding it. Crystal's finding it right now. Hey, PJ, what's up, dude? Oh, Trinity said, I hit by a car on Wednesday. Fractured my lumbar spine. Not sure if y'all if y'all seen the pics. I haven't. Dude, where'd you get hit by a car at? Were you out at, like, Godi? Like, where were you at that you got hit by a car? And you see how, like, Trinity's talking about how, because like, he's a cyclist, like a like a real cyclist, like he'll do 100 miles. You see how I'm not, like, uh, a shocked, really, by it? Like, it sucks, dude. I hope you're okay, but, like, I'm not shocked. It's because this happens all the time. Like, it's, like, being, you know, from working at the bike shop, you're like, of course you did. It's only a matter of time before it, some idiot did something stupid, and now you and your 10 grand bike paid the price. So, of course, I hope you're good. G in 80th West. Dude, a few times I went biking out here. I hated it, man. I hated it. It was, it was, it was out of control. Oh man. Give Second Street Marvel some love. Well, I hope you're doing well. You won't be able to like 
Give it all you got if you're uh, all uh, jacked up. Dang, that sucks. It sucks, but not su not surprising. Did you read the super chat? Oh my gosh, mess with the super chat. Don't make me come over there, loads up car with torch and pitchfork. The same torch that we're gonna light the wicks <laughs> on the Regis candles <laughs> Why with. Why don't you lay in your bed? Oh, feel better, Trinity. Bunch of savages. Gonna, All right, if you guys missed it, I'm painting for. Tr I'm painting. For <laughs> as soon as we're done with this bit, I will help you with your. Ow. Okay. Um. Okay. If you guys okay. missed it or you're just joining us, we were talking about how my family is on the website. Awkward family photos. If you don't know what it is, it's exactly what it says it is. People post. I'm assuming other people's awkward family photos because nobody in my family posted this. My mom worked in a photography studio. We um just had like some photos taken. We didn't order any of them. We got like, I think just one proof of it. I, I think there is one copy of this in my family that exists. We never like handed them out to the family or anything. There was no, this was not in the rotation. I don't know why this is on the internet, but uh, one of my friends discovered that it does exist on awkward family photos and in I think it's called Face in the Hole app, where you can put your face in my brother's face and become a part of my family. So here is the photo. <laughs> I love it. This is my family photo that is on Awkward Family Photos. All right, so let's start with your dad. Uh, um, okay, well, let's start with, I was probably about 10 years old here. So this was about 1990 or uh, so. What shirt is that? Is that is that a gem shirt? Or no. It, it's just the shirt of the time. Okay, it was not a shirt, Dan, it was a dress. No. This was a dress. Is it that mean a long it was shirt? A, it was a t-shirt on top, and then uh -huh. when it hit the waist, it was like this pattern, like something in the stars. Um, but like quilting fabric, not t-shirt material, like more like rougher, like what I make things out of. Right. Um, like, yeah, it was a dress. I, I wore a dress. Absolutely. Um. Um, but, but those colors and that designs were just of the times. Oh, yeah. This like was just 1990. Generic, just generic of I times. might have been nine, but I was probably like 10 -ish. Oh, man. So what yeah. was going on with the hair in the front there? Is that Was that a swirl? Were they bangs? This was bangs. This was bangs that were feathered off to the side because and shellacked. Right. Very clearly shellacked. The, they are not going anywhere in this windy town. Uh, Steve says, oh my God, in three separate posts. Hannah says, I love it, <laughs> in three separate uh, posts. Jason, who had pretty much my hair, like, I, that's... Yeah, that's, this was uh, what boys rocked back then, yeah. before it became popular a little later to uh, grow your hair out and part it in the middle. Polo shirt, but boys boy, had flat tops. boys, you look bad. You're, you like, bad like you're in trouble. Oh, absolutely. He was probably about six here. Well, was there misbehaving happening on this very set? Oh, I'm absolutely sure. Jason was always misbehaving. Right. Literally all the time. Uh, right. Um, My dad always looked like this, by the way. And everybody, this, like my dad, two sweaters. I don't remember my dad ever not looking pretty much like this. My dad had, like, dark brown hair, but he used sun-in. He didn't bleach his hair. My dad used sun-in to get it blonde. And then just, like, fried sun the hell out of it. was popular like Banaka. Yeah, and we live in California, so you put that... And it, it had to have... What was sun in it? It had to have bleach in it, because my dad's hair looked fried as hell. Like, if I blow dry my hair, it has this texture to it, which is why I curl my hair, to kind of settle that down a little bit. I for sure have my dad's hair. <laughs> he said, your dad's rocking that hair. He oh, is. my God. These glasses, my dad wore them forever. My dad swore that women loved his glasses, that women would come up to him and tell him how much they loved his glasses. He had a white pair, actually, too. By the way, of course, a, you, a white framed pair of seeing glasses. Uh, your mom kind of looks like maybe a um, traditional diner waitress. My mom was never a waitress. No, but like she was the, a cocktail waitress for a short the, while. That's the look. Of but like, yeah, maybe she'd come and uh, refill your coffee. Yeah. So my dad is very clearly and always did rock a mullet. Right. My dad forever had a mullet. He did not grow his hair long. <laughs> he had a mullet. It was always short on top, kind of feathery down into long in the back. Um, at this time, I do not remember my mom ever having a mullet, but apparently my mom did have a mullet. It looks like not only were her, was her eye vision bad and needed glasses, uh, her cheeks couldn't see for shit either. <laughs> right? And they got glasses Hey, these, as well. these are back in fashion now. I look, yeah. <laughs> Your and cheeks have I'll glasses. I'll tell you what, they tried to put those Sally Jessies on me, but they weren't red. Um, <laughs> and your dad and your mom, just one beard away from being pretty similar. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah I don't know go, go what was going on so, here. The one photo had this face on each one of them. I will pull that up so that you guys can on, see that. That was on. It looked like a record. It was somebody's like Duhashme 
a record, I right? Will, I will show you guys. So, yes, absolutely. But look uh, how beautifully this represents that time. So it should yes, be... Yes, this is 1990 in right. all of its glory. But man, we had such a cool time when it came up on the internet. Oh, I literally laughed my freaking ass off. It was hilarious. I do not remember my mom wearing an outfit like this. I don't know what this is that she's wearing. My mom wore a lot of those sweatshirts that had cats on them. Um, with like repeating patterns and stuff like that. My dad, when he dressed up, absolutely always wore sweaters like this. Like my dad was not a dressing up kind of guy. My dad was like a cut off jeans, tie dye t-shirt kind of guy. So this was how my dad dressed up. He didn't own a lot of button up shirts. If he did, they were probably like Hawaiian print or something. Um, but yeah, this, this was my dad dressing up. This was them trying to play like happy little family. And this is what it was. This was what it was. You know, parents always had goofy stuff. Like parents weren't hip at all. They always had like goofy stuff. Yeah. I got to see what people had to oh, say about it. Like, uh, Sally says that's sweet. Your mom says it's a great picture. <laughs> Only a mom could say that? that. Your mom. Oh, did she? Yeah. Uh, Lady Cat says that is gold. My mom's Mexican, so she was Mexican, Patty. She had big glasses on. She worked at DMV, but she had a Monchichi perm. <laughs> she did. And it came down the back. So just, just, and, and then, you So know, sort of mullet. And then she's like five foot. Right, at best. Right. On a so good day on her the time. And like I said, I had Jason hair. I had, I had, I had Jason hair. Yep. Uh, Trinity says that isn't awkward. See, I didn't think it was awkward either, but apparently the internet did. Um, it's very much of the time. A lot of the comments. And it's a clean photo. A it's, lot of the comments a, were about the mullet. It's a clean photo. Mom and dad on both sides. Um, you can tell the kids belong to the parents. It's super of the, of the times. What's up? Rich? Absolutely. Um, it's a mini flock do. Your dad rocking that hair. Absolutely. Uh, Mouse of the Super Chat says, in case you guys missed it, Dan just put his size 10 shoe in his size 12 mouth. LOL, I'm gonna get you, Dano. A size 12 mouth? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you said, but I'm sure she's right. Dang, size 12 mouth. Uh, Steve says he's still gonna find it so everyone can share it. Oh my god. Mouse says, y'all got some luscious locks. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Uh, business in the front, party in the back. Yes. Oh my god. Dawn says her mom had the best mullet all of the 80s and 90s. Trinity says your dad sounded like my kind of dude. Oh man, you have no idea. Did you have a purple motorcycle? He did. And and oh the the mud brown uh, seventy two Chevelle Concourse station wagon. Oh okay, I'm gosh. trying to find the version of the photo. Okay, oh so oh, oh, is this the old? Is this the real photo? This is the real. This is yeah, like, keep this. Safe. So when we, we go to court, back. when you go to court to sue, <laughs> uh, you own photo. the actual photo. Um, there's nothing identifying here so that you guys can locate it. There's no like title or anything. But this is it actually on Awkward Family Photos. This is my proof that it is on Awkward Family Photos. And very horrible quality, but Face in Whole is the app where you can see they removed my brother's face so you can be part of the mullet family with the flat top. And let me see, I, I have to find the version with my mom as everybody's face. Oh, that was Just so you know, the pizza's still being quality checked. Oh, jeez. Well, um, you know, Mel says you know, her that... super chat was in reference to burning the wax figures. Such sacrilege, <laughs> lol. Okay, I'm done, promise. But, but, well, tell me that wouldn't be the greatest thing. <laughs> it would be pretty funny. Oh, uh, that would, can we, we should make, never mind. No. I don't want to do, no, no, no. Oh, is it oh, not that's right. My... I'm so glad that, that that topic came up. Yeah, I don't I know forgot. why this came up, but. I forgot about that. <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. Here we go, guys. The band is Impazination. I am P A Z Z I N A T I O N. Okay. In 2012, they released a single, Office de Mompt. Don't know what the heck that means. And they put my mom's face, and it's really bad quality. So you zoom back a little bit, just a little bit. I don't know. Uh, can I have it? Here, how about this? Let me take it over. Let me let me take it over here to the to the big camp. Okay. So there is a band out there who found my awkward family photo and apparently loved my mom so much. Uh, there you go. Loved my mom so much that they replaced all of our faces with her face for their album cover. But why though? Did we ever hear? I don't know. If, did we ever hear the music? Um, yeah, it's on uh, Spotify, I believe. I I can't really pull it up and play it here, but if you guys want to go to Spotify and check out uh, Impazination. Oh, I'm, in, I'm busted. Don't want to do what, Dano? You're in the hot seat now. I wanted to make wax molds of, like, my head and Regis's head and see which one burnt first. <laughs> <laughs> but then I thought that might have been too mean. 
So I stopped talking. Um, apparently, according to my post back in 2019, it is on Spotify and Apple Music. Hashtag, okay. Hashtag my mom is famous. <laughs> <laughs> kind of love it. So yeah, that's uh, my claim to fame, I guess. I don't even have one. No? Like, no, that's great. I don't even have a claim to fame, and you do. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, Doris, that looks amazing. Okay, let me approve that. I'm going to approve everything. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this the easy way now, Steve says. Google image search, LOL. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so Doris says I finished my painting. Kind of don't hate it. Okay, I'm approving everybody's I, paintings. I hate it. I hate mine. Hannah, I see your post. I will approve that probably after the show. I hate what I hate it because I don't know. I don't understand blending yet. So I'm going to blend a canvas. Okay, so Brittany uh, posted an example of sponge blending. My saw hasn't left the place yet, uh, Mouse Queen, and it's been a half an hour since they checked it. What, what's up? Yeah, Cyber oh, yes. wants to know how they quality um, check Brit your pizza. Do they take tiny bites out of each slice? Brittany sent it, and I was like, oh, that was cool. Then I didn't show nobody. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Hannah's flower, I like the coloring that you use. She's not 100% happy with it. It doesn't look as purple on the camera as it does in real life. Um, get Snapseed, friends. If you want to be able to adjust your um, photos easily, there's an app called Snapseed, and you open up your photo from your, your photos in your phone and click Tune Image, and you can adjust the coloring. That's what I use for any time I take a picture of something that the colors don't look true to life or you want to make something pop a little bit more, Snapseed is the app to use. But I think it looks really good. I like your color scheme. I wish I could see it in real life to see it more purpley. Uh, Charlotte did the hibiscus on a black canvas. I love that. It really pops out oh, on the black. I like black canvas. What I the have heck? black canvases somewhere over here. What the heck am I doing? I like it. That pops yeah, really well. I like that too. Good it's job. like your background's already done. Uh, Emily posted, um, I don't know how, I can only show one picture at a time here. I can't see the camera. <laughs> what did she, I don't think she commented anything. She posted, um, a little truck with a happy Halloween pumpkin in the back that she painted. That looks great. Good job, Emily. Mm -hmm. I like that. And Doris's looks amazing. Yeah, Since look at that. My flower turned out better than previous attempts. Kind of happy about it. You should be, friend. Did, that looks really did good. Did you start from the indigo out? Because those brush marks all still look like it was darker. And then, but you can't because go light you, over dark. you go from the middle. All your brush strokes should always go from the middle outward. But you did from the tip in. For the yellow only. Oh. Everything else right. needs to go this way because when you set your brush down, it's going to be dark because it has the paint on it. This painting frustrates me. I want to Bob Ross on this can. How do I? How okay, do I, Dan. I just want to. Let's go this. back to the tutorial. Look at that. Oh shit. There's Calm no, down, there's Dan. No paint on there. Okay, you need to pick your colors first. I have all these blues that I want. So you're not gonna do the. Okay, you're gonna do blues. I was I don't know. I think you might need a paper plate for this to blend your colors because you need right. a little bit more room because you want to lighten case, the actual colors. If that's the case, load me up with some. Load me up with the three good colors to make what it looks like. On okay, the you want to do like this? Sure. Okay. I so. need a win. <laughs> I need a win. Okay, so what we're going to do here, it's a gradient blending from orange to yellow to a light yellow slash white. But you could do it with any color. So you have a dark, a mid and a light, right? Okay. So you can pick any dark, mid, and light that you want. You don't necessarily have to have three different paints. You can use the same but color and just I add more white to it. all light and then... No. Then. You work your way down from the dark to the light. So what she does here is puts the, the cadmium orange down, the cadmium yellow, and the white on the, the all right, palette. Give me, give me the Cadbury colors. <laughs> Hang on. And then you're going to mix a little bit of white into the orange to lighten the orange up. So she doesn't use the standard orange. She lightens it up right from the beginning. And then uh, mixes a little white into the yellow to make the yellow a little bit lighter. And you just blend it. So it's, it's going to be wet. You're wet blending. Oh. Right? You're not going to sit and let one color dry seems... and then move on to the next okay, one. Okay, okay. I have cadmium orange. Is that the one she wanted? Cadmium orange hue? Yes, and cadmium yellow medium hue. I don't know if I have that. I do, Dan, I do. Perfect. And titanium white. I have the exact colors that she used. Okay. So you can't go wrong here. Oh, 
I don't know what Blake's doing in there, but he sounds like Dude Perfect. I hear a bunch of what's up and what's goes. <laughs> uh, Mouse of the Super Chat says, Experts do not grow overnight, young grasshopper. Sincerely, another budding artist. You have to be a subscriber. You do? Yeah. You have to be a subscriber. Or you have to go to Facebook or Twitch. Okay. But, but those... Uh, Chris is here. Hello, Chris. Thank you for joining us. You may have missed gold. It's not been going through. Yeah. See, but finally something went through. But he did like three messages and then that all went through. Right. Pizza should be here in a second. We should look out for it. Are you playing right now? Let's the person who entered our neighborhood. Okay. Okay, so the first thing they have you do is to add a little bit of white to the orange. Hang on, I want to go through the instructions so you know what to do. And then you're just going to go horizontal with that, okay? Then you're going to add a little bit of white, the same brush. Um, you can rinse it off. But um, add a little bit of white into the yellow to make the yellow lighter. And then same thing and move it so up into I'm the orange. Go blob, swish, 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 go, 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 go. Yeah, and you're going to, so you're going to paint like here. And then you're going to do your yellow and then pull it up into the orange. So when I dip, I'm, I'm going to like go across. Yeah. And you're going to go down like, let's say a like, third like of a the third. canvas. Right. Yeah. And I just whoosh, 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 whoosh. Yes. Right. Blake, you want to, you want to make a sunset? No. You sure? What are you painting now? He's learning how to blend. Oh. You still seem hesitant. Okay, so blob that into here, mix it a around. A little bit of white into the orange, just because see how it's such a, a it's harsh orange right now? Okay. You want to lighten the orange a little bit. All right, so I'm going to lighten the orange. And you want to blend that so it's not streaky. Okay, I'll get it I'll get it nice blended in there. <laughs> Chris says, oh, so I'm going to have to rewatch some stream. Uh, we may revisit it. Hannah says just go back about 10 minutes. Yeah, there was some storytelling that was pretty darn good. Yeah, that was a good one. I forgot. Uh, bruh, it's Alex. Says we love Blake. <laughs> is this true? Yeah, I know. It's is, my friend. Is this one of your friends? I can hear him, I can hear him, <laughs> him talking to me right now. Leading the Blake fan club. Uh, don't worry, bruh, it's Alex. Everybody here loves Blake. You bring him back. <laughs> um, where's the power cord for this? It's not plugged into it. Yeah, like, like oh, it's wrapped around there. It's wrapped around it, the neck of it. Oh. Okay, so you work on that. I am going to pull in some more colors here onto mine. I think we're going to go a little bit. Here's purpley. the thing. This isn't orange now. This is peach. Okay, so get it's okay. some I just want to blend. Okay. I just, I'm just trying to blend. I'm just trying to blend. I don't know how to, like... Pizza's here. All right. Go fetch. Can you go grab it? Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes. Everything's good. Just grab it. You tip too? Yeah. In the app. Nice. Oh, hello. I'm on my couch peeking over, like standing up like a prairie dog. <laughs> she, okay, so I got the. Was... That's about a third. No, it's not. A that's like more? maybe a quarter. Oh, my light purple's a little clumpy. I'm gonna have to add some water to it. <laughs> Are you loving Kamiko's uh, pot sleeping? Yeah. The Pizza Hut person. Okay, so yeah, there you go. They so said it was the cutest thing they'd ever seen in their life. There's that, that better. <laughs> uh, Chris with the super chat. Thank you so much, friend. Says I was gonna wear my Egghead Dan shirt today. Uh, his family went on a little excursion today. Some adventures. Him and uh, AJ looked like they went bowling and, and did a couple other I fun things together. But AJ said. Not that one, Daddy. You have to put Mr. Dan back in the closet where he belongs. <laughs> Yay, I'm trapped. In the closet. Because I'm trapped in the closet. Uh, Sam says your flower's looking great, Crystal. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Mouse with the super chat says patience, daniel -san. Amanda is here as well. Hello, Amanda. Thank you for joining What's us. What's up, Amanda? Make sure you guys go back and watch about 10 minutes um, back. Yeah, I you should go check that. that. You should check that out. Okay, so... Wax on, wax off. Now mix some white into your yellow. And then do the same thing. And do the same thing and go upward a little bit into your orange. Where do I start? Do I start a third of the way down and go up into the orange? Is you can't cut, yeah, or like midway because you're going to work your way up into the orange. I'm going to get more water and grab some pizza because I need to add some water to my uh, light purple because it's kind of clumpy. Okay. All right. I want to mix this in here. 
<laughs> Dan said, I need a win. That's me every day. Every day. Yes. And then you can make a win. I'm about to make a win right now. The difficulty level on the flower was too high? <laughs> Forget conquering it. Just, like, turn the difficulty level down. I, knew, I want more white in this. Bloop. So I'll put more white in this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back down to my, to my level, and see if I can just like blend some colors and have fun with that. What'd you get? Yum. I know. I smell the, I smell the pizza. Yeah, you want me to grab you a slice? Oh uh, yes, please. A little more white should do it. Bet on whether there's pineapple on it. No pineapple. No, I think I got pepperoni and huh? onion for Blake and I. Yeah, you did. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna give you this one that has like half an onion on it. Okay. Did you order marinara sauce to go with it? No, I got you. It was uh, it wasn't marinara sauces. It was uh, they gave us two it marinaras. was supposed to be garlic sauces. They probably There's did garlic it. too. The marinara's probably came with the breadsticks. So as you're blending, you want to go kind of light. You don't want a lot of paint on your brush or you're going to cover the orange. So work your way up into it lightly, like with light paint on your brush, not heavy paint. Okay. Uh oh. And you can always go back with the orange and blend more orange down into the yellow. Oh, okay. I'm about to blend a piece of pizza. It's so greasy. I'm about to blend a, blend a piece of pizza in my mouth. <laughs> This is the most screwed up cut pizza. Is it? I have to show you. <laughs> Two of the slices oh. don't even have points. I can't help. So they cut it here. Can we see this? They cut it here and then they cut it here. So like there's two tiny little, look how tiny that piece is. Are they is. from the same pizza or is it like? No, um, it's the same pizza. <laughs> but like this cut should have been over more and that cut should have been over more. So this one and this one and this one don't really have points. <laughs> and then there's two little baby tiny pieces. Dang, what happened? <laughs> uh, someone didn't know how to cut a pizza? I guess not. What's up? Are you gonna eye race or the? Oh, what? Uh, not eye race, but I wasn't gonna eye racing game. Oh my gosh. Are you getting pizza? You look like, uh, you, I feel like a punchline's coming, Blake. No, I'm just, I'm just monitoring what the, my friends are saying. We are they judging your parents? No, well, my one friend wants to say something really cringy in chat, and I said I'll ban them if they do. No. Is that why you're by the ban button? I mean, I had the ban button on my computer, too. Are you a mod? Yeah. yeah. What? You have Blake's a mod? Yeah, Dad made me a mod, like, forever ago, and I'm still a mod, so I have power. Nice. I have power. <laughs> I am powerful. You better get food while it's fresh and hot. I'm oh, oh can you grab Mooch? Uh, never mind. Ooh, he, made it he made it by Blake. Amanda says, Blake, what are you doing, Dan? Just kind of blending stuff, eating pizza, trying to learn how to paint. Honestly, I've gotten away with it for a few weeks that we painted stuff. Dude, I have no paint skills. I've never painted before, so I'm just trying to honestly, like, just figure this out. You know, did I put too much yellow on there? I dip a little bit of orange. Did that make it blend better? Or, like, what am I doing? There's this, like, big blobby streak here. Like, what did I do to make that? Like, I just want some data. Oh my God. Just go <laughs> light with the paint. Don't put it on super heavy. Hold on. I gotta go. Oh, wait. You're coming back, right? I'll wait, I'll wait till you come back. Okay. I'll wait till you come back, and then I need, I need to hear the... Where'd you come at? Dan, not gonna lie, your gradient between the orange and yellow is pretty good. I don't, I want it to be more, I think I need to bring the orange down. I, like I said, I'm just gonna m mess with this, uh, mess with this canvas. Blake, there's root beer if you want some root beer with the pizza. Okay. Blake's up to no good for a minute. Maybe I'm up to no good. I don't know. Plenty of good. So don't block. Yeah, watch out. So Steve's like, so don't block anyone by accident. <laughs> What's going on? I don't even know. I, I yeah, I don't watch you. I don't live with you. <laughs> Do you I, ever watch this when you're at mom's? I, you called into the antics before. You yeah, did that for your request. <laughs> but I mean, I live with with the antics. The antics. I don't. That's fair. It's my off time. 
<laughs> the time when we don't bother you is when we're live streaming. <laughs> Mooch is getting so antsy about pizza. Who is? Mooch. Hmm. How's well, that going, Dan? Um. Well, I can't see from over here. it's not doing what I want it to do, I'm but it doesn't matter because I'm just gonna keep messing with it. Oh my god, do you want a TV tray? <laughs> Are you making fun of me? No, you're good. Oh my gosh. Do you really want a TV tray? Look at the painting. Look at how 3D that is. <laughs> yeah, can we get off of that? Do we have a different uh, image to view? Yeah, here, I can make one real quick. Hold on. Uh, Doris says, I like what you're doing now. It's getting blendier. Uh, yeah, I just want to figure out how to get, how to, how to get blendier. Uncle Yukon says mods can't ban other mods. <laughs> I don't, does that how that works? Mm-hmm. Oh, Mooch is coming back. He realized the pizza's over here. I hear a power struggle happening in the bedroom. Yeah? Yeah, but look, I notice if I just keep doing this, then the yellow that was up here yes, starts to go a power struggle happening. A little, away a little bit. Should I read your friend's comment? Sure. Do not read it. <laughs> we can paint it. Oh, Blake's in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're here to spite me. No, do not pin the message. <laughs> no, how do I unpin? Unpin message. No. <laughs> uh, Doris with the tip. The trick is to not let the paint dry. You might want to put a little orange oh, and white and move that side. into the yellow where they meet. Hannah says hi, Blake. Hello, Hannah. He says hello, Hannah. I'm sorry, could, can, I, can I have the instructions again, please? Yeah, hold I on. was given shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> the trick is to not let the paint dry. You might want to put a little orange and white and move that into the yellow where they meet. I like what you're doing here, though. Yeah, like I said, I just want to feel, figure out. I can go back. I just want to figure out how. Generally, I would say, like, keep going horizontal and not vertical, but I like what you're doing. It's working. I just want to know how much I can touch it until it goes until it goes away. But I don't... Yeah, so that's all. That's all. I'm just going to learn on this canvas. Uh, bro, it's Alex who's in love with your son. <laughs> it happens. It happens, you know. It's He's a pretty cool guy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dawn snitching herself out. Haven't done much painting. I'm reading and baked muffins. No worries. Those sound like great things to do as well. Nancy says she watches, watches a group on YouTube that watches freighters on the Great Lakes. And if you use more than three emojis in the chat, you get a 10 minute timeout. Oh, that doesn't happen here. Mm. Uh, wait, if you're totally spamming emojis and not talking... But it's not like an automated thing that, that so, we set up or anything. I moderate Jess's channel. And like, see how like right now, like Hannah threw a bunch of uh, emojis up there. Look how much color is in the chat. We got some color, right? I would never stop that. But like if 10 people hopped on Spartacus's brigade and started just spamming them, you know, stop. But like, you know, I love the color on the screen. So like when I mod the stuff, you know, it just depends. If nobody's throwing up any emojis, if I see a bunch of hearts in a dog, I'll approve the hearts in a dog. But if everybody's hearts and dogs and doing stuff and all caps in and stuff, then no. So it just is like the feel of what's on the screen at a time. I still want some emojis every now and then of like hearts and stuff. Like it's colorful, it's fun. So, but some of these like chat rooms, when you get like hundreds of hundreds of people, you know, Steve knows he has to do it too with us. Uh, um, it gets a little out of control and you have to have like rules. You know, but sometimes I like us, you know, like look what Hannah threw up, like color. I love it. Like here's all the color. See, like, look at all smiley faces and stuff, but we don't have, a, a, like, an abusive community as far as, like, that goes. That's the thing. We have more of a community, like, where everybody knows each other, and we kind of, like, I don't know, like, everybody's chill? Yeah, it, it, as soon as Jess stopped promoting us to the dog's channel, 
um, that helped. That helped a lot too. It eliminated a lot of the spammy it, stuff. It eliminated a lot of a lot, a lot of a lot of kids that were here just to like go crazy. Yeah, I just reject to move on. Right? Yeah, it's no big deal. It's just kids being kids. Um, the biggest problem I have is kids putting their age in the chat, and I really have to like scold them on that. But the last two live streams I've done, honestly, the audience has done extremely well. I'm really lenient though. Throw your stuff. Be excited. But if you constantly, if, if you have two or three of the same messages on the screen before it scrolls off my screen, then you're getting a timeout. <laughs> but otherwise, it's easy. It's, it's, it's easy. People are just excited. If it was a concert, imagine getting put in timeout for yelling and screaming at a concert. <laughs> I would get put in timeout. Woo! For sure. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. And then timeout. Like, what the heck? No, <laughs> you can't talk for five minutes. Yeah, so it's kind of like a concert. You know, it's kind of like a concert. And a lot of people get upset sometimes. Um, like, I think you dropped onion. Can you grab it? Because Topo's trying to eat it. There's one over here, too. A lot of people get upset, and they're like, I can't deal with the chat. Well, like, watch the concert. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Watch the concert. But most of the, most of the part, people are good. <laughs> Sam wants to know if she gets put in timeout. <laughs> No, because I still want to know where the other sticker pack is. The one that disappeared and never showed up? Will it show back up like in 10 years from now? Yeah, I saw something on Reddit where somebody received a package from like, oh, it was like 40 years ago or something that finally just got delivered randomly. Uh, Mouse says, I've got a really cute pick idea. Oh, wait, hang on, it left. I finally got on paper. One of the characters in my story, a German Shepherd pup, has an older brother who he wants to be just like when he grows up, and I'm drawing them together. That is awesome. Totally cool. And Steve says, it takes me and Dan focus 100% to properly mod a Gone to the Snow Dogs live. Oh, uh, man, I go cross-eyed. I'm like, Crystal, I'm cross-eyed! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have pizza and stuff, Blake? Not yet. Not uh, bro, it's Alex wants to know if it's okay if he no. makes an Instagram of Blake. No, <laughs> I don't no, know what that okay. means. Blake has an Instagram. I don't, yeah, I don't use it. But he wants to make a he wants to make a Blake appreciation <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> I bet it'd have more followers than me. I'll send some baby pictures to you. <laughs> no, do not give my friends baby pictures of me. Go back and watch some of the older live streams. Because we pulled out, like, the old scrapbooks. Oh, no. And we showed all your old pictures. Except for Blake's got rad old pictures. Like, Blake's mm -hmm. Blake's old pictures are all good. Like, he was all cute oh. and photogenic and had good hair. You like, just empowered their, them now. Uh, empower? Uh-oh. What's the right answer? <laughs> <laughs> what was the right Do answer? not acknowledge his friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> existence. Uh-oh. Uh, Chris is a Blake fan club account? <laughs> Chris, yeah, maybe. Sam says the male monsters ate the first sticker pack. The male monsters? Here's the thing. That first sticker pack, I re-put in an envelope. And yeah, I think it came the all whole, the way back. I think the whole first sticker pack, I think I just shoved it in another thing. So I think the first sticker pack is inside the re the reshipment of the first sticker pack. <laughs> and then I sent that whole second, second pack. So the first sticker pack, when we do find it, I think is encapsulated. Maybe that's why. Maybe you did something wrong. Maybe it was too heavy. Well, the first time it came back because I didn't write Canada on it. Because I didn't, you know, because, you know, America. <laughs> so, yeah. Hyro must be another one of uh, Blake's friends wants to know which videos. <laughs> Couldn't even tell you. Uh, some of the baking ones, I think. Oh, well, Can you read the super chats, though? Oh, that well, had uh, us showing Blake's old scrapbook photos. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I think that's probably on my old accounts. Um, no, we did it here in an after show one time. Mouse Queen Super Chat Blake. So long as you don't have fanfic written about you, then you're good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now they've done it. <laughs> now now your friends are going to go write fanfic about you. Yep. Blake and Sonic the Hedgehog. There's another one above that. Blake and Sonic the Hedgehog fanfic. It's coming. <laughs> Mouse Queen the Super Chat. The older brother is a cop dog. And yes, I'm modeling the pup a lot on Chase, the police pup from Paw Patrol. I like Paw Patrol, but you know what I would love for you to model on after? Is that new dog that looks like a box. Have you seen that dog and it stands there and just looks like a box? It's like Dogsby or something like that? Somebody help me in the chat. I have no idea what you're it's talking about. It's just like square Hanna-Barbera looking box dog. I would love it if it was that. 
But the Paw Patrols, I like the paw sizes and the Paw Patrol. I like, I think that's, I think that's, uh, I think that's good too. Gosh, what was it? Digsby, Dogsby? Oh my gosh. Someone will know. Yes. Uh, Brandon Zimmerman is already contacting my publisher about <laughs> fanfic no. for Blake. Well, there you go. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm really amused. Oh my gosh. What does it become? What if your parents were live on the internet and like torturing you oh as a teenager? Gosh. Well, I guess it's not a teenager anymore. But I was listening to like radio <laughs> programs and watching spaghetti westerns. <laughs> I think his idol was Curly from City Slickers. What's a spaghetti western? Like, like, uh, they were made in Italy, I guess. Like, is where they were all filmed <laughs> at. So that's why they're called spaghetti westerns. But like, you know, like, bang, bang, you fall off the thing. And I don't think that's true. <laughs> So I'm getting like disclaimers from Blake in the background. He's already evicted um, us. <laughs> now we're but it's threatening like the traditional, to like, the traditional ones that you would think of. Or, I gotta throw these onions away. You know, uh, of, of like a western. What makes it a spaghetti western? I thought because they were filmed in Italy. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. It's all third-hand information. I don't know what it is, but I'm pretty sure that's not it. Spain. So where's the spaghetti come into play? I'm not sure. Me I either. I cannot tell you that. He says the director was Italian. So is that why they're spaghettis? Maybe so? Charlotte wants to know if anybody watched uh, Black Widow. Her brother and her are watching it. I did not watch Black Widow. I heard it was a fun time. And I hope if you're watching it, please enjoy it. Enjoy it and report back. Give us our, give us the, give us the, uh, Siskel Niebu review on it. Italian Westerns. I thought so too, Trinity. I thought it was Italian Westerns. I thought so. Yeah, Mouse says, she says Dan has it right, but actually Steve, he was just reading Steve's comment. The director was Italian, and thus they are called Spaghetti Westerns. So there's no actually actual spaghetti in the Western, is what you're telling me. Uh, Miss Christy says she posted pics. I will approve it, and I will show it in a moment. You all right? What's going on over there? What's up? Okay, Dobo? Um, I don't know. I heard a thump, and then, like, I walked over there, and the big cat pillow was on top of Topo, and it was moving <laughs> around, and he was underneath it. Were you sleeping on that thing when it fell? Crazy cat. Hmm, it was Sergio L, but then it wasn't Sergio P. <laughs> okay, so I used up all my paint, and now I need more paint. That's the problem, is I ran out of the paint, but I mixed the color. Hey, here, why don't you give me all your napkins and I'll bring you back a new fresh... Oh, I have to wash my hands. Okay, that's fine. You can go wash your hands. Um, thanks. All right, and I'll mix a little bit. Much more than a little bit. You do not need that much of anything. Okay. That was the paint. All right. I'm going to mix a little bit more of this white with this orange. Yeah, okay, so it was, it, like, I was mostly right. Like, yeah, I got the gist of it, right? Like, hmm. oh my god, Sergio P, maybe they're cousins. Maybe they are. <laughs> maybe they're our cousins. Go Sergio P. Uh, what happened to Dan's flower? Oh, I'm mad at my flower. It's over there. I'm trying to learn how to blend colors real quick. I don't know how to blend colors, so it's, like, making me mad. And my flower is, I'm about to, like, mow it down. <laughs> are you? A uh, movie's about the American Old Western made cheaply in Europe, uh, typically by an Italian producer and director. I love it. Okay. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Let me read more of your stuff here in a second. Hold on. That made too much pain. I told you. You weren't supposed to hear that. <laughs> you weren't supposed to hear that I told you. Oh my gosh. 
Can you guys go into Blake's room and say hi? No, because both of us can't leave the camera at the same time. That's like streaming. Like, you can't. I can't. I can't. So you'll have to wait for uh, Crystal to come back. Okay, so I got more of this orange stuff, but there's too much on there now. Oh, I still feel like there's too much orange on here. Shit, now it's on my face. Oh, it looks like a creamsicle. Don't eat the paint. Don't eat the paint. All right. Brushing more down? Dang, is that your ride? Yeah, I gotta go. Hmm. That ain't really blending. That's just making the color go lower. Even if film fans know the answer to what is a spaghetti western, they might still ask why are they called spaghetti western? It's because the films were pretty much all made in, in Italy by filmmakers and spaghetti is a worldwide Italian cultural export. Yeah, see, see, see. Uh, they call me Trinity. Trinity is still my name. Boot Hill, all starring uh, Terrence Hill. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. Spaghetti Westerns, this blending sucks. I'm not sure what I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I think I'm mimicking what I think I see on TV. And it's not working out for me. What would Dan do? This is dumb. What would what would I do? I wouldn't be painting this bull crap. Like, I need I need something I need something else. Or you know what? I'm gonna draw a picture of this background. I'm gonna keep on this. I'm gonna keep on this background. I'm gonna learn to blend it all the way down with other colors. I'll put some more yellow on there, and then and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna draw a picture over it. And I don't care about this flower. <laughs> Okay, so I got some more yellow and white. Topo's over there being crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and... My, my brush paint looks like chocolate milk, like my brush water. Dan, get yellow and start about an inch below... Dan, now Dan, get yellow and start about an inch below the yellow and go up into it. Okay. Let me make my, let me make my yellow. Mm -mm. Oh, it's like cream color now. Oh, that's what it is. Practice, this is the practice, this is practice. Okay. I go into the orange a little bit. Let me put this down off of this. I'm gonna be out of town and, oh, there's some white on there. That's okay. I'm gonna be out of town in a couple weeks. I don't know how I feel about going out of town. The world's all crazy right now and I'm gonna have a good time, but Nothing seems fun. What the heck am I doing? This is not right. Even with all my teasing and reggae, oh, and, and reach fits. <laughs> I know you can do this. Yeah, I'm just still learning. I'm, I don't, I don't get this. Hmm. Hmm. What's wrong? You want me louder? Is that is that better? You guys like, need some more Dan volume? Woo! I'll give me some Dan volume. Oh my gosh! Any wrestling fans watch the plane ride from hell? That was. That was crazy. No, too much yellow. Oh no! Oh no! Go back over it! Cuss like words. It. Cuss more words. paint is fine. The more paint you add, the more you can blend. It's six inches thick here, and I need That's orange. That's totally fine. How do I get this out of here? You don't get it out of there. You go back with, with a little bit of paint. If you put too much paint on it, you're gonna cover the other color. I did. Well, then go back with more. And I can see where you went vertical, so you wanna go more horizontal. The orange now? Yeah. 
If, if you want more orange, whatever you want. No, now it's that stupid orange stripe there. You know what it needs? It needs more yellow. <laughs> You're the name of it. It needs more, it needs more yellow. Well, I like it sideways. Crystal, is it vodka time? No, 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 I'm getting some root beer. Oh, you're getting some root beer? Some on sale root beer? Yeah, my 20 cent, two liter. Yeah, no, I'll be fine. Like, I, it's, I'll be fine going out. It's just weird. I just, I like wear this mask all day and I'm not used to wearing masks all day. And you know, it's for the greater good, but like, it just, it just sucks. Crystal has to wear it all day at work and like, I don't have to, so. So you can't complain? So like, I'm not used to it yet. But it'll be fun. Like, it'll be nice to get out. It'll be cool to hang out with Jess. Uh, Brandy with the super chat. Thank you so much. Um, I posted my finished painting. Crystal will come and uh, do that in just a second. Yes. Also. A mouse queen says, and don't be afraid of mistakes. In fact, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. Well, as long as they're on the canvas and not my pants. <laughs> what? Yeah. I want more yellow. What do you need? What cat is that? Mooch? I think he wants snuggles, but I'm not ready yet. No? I want this yarn. Okay, so I want to start going down here because I want to get this painted so I can draw on top of it. I'll come back and I'll blend some more of that in a minute. I'm going to go get liquor. All right. I tried to look for a Four loco at the store today, but I didn't see one. I was going to have one for you, but it might not be good for me. Oh. I had like the paint plug on there. All right. I'm going to finish painting the bottom of this here because I want at least this to at least be done before tonight's over. We've only been going like a couple hours. So I can't complain because it was only 20 cents, but mug root beer is not my favorite. No? It's not very root beer -y flavored. You want to taste it and tell me what you think? Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't taste like root beer. It's almost flat. And I just opened it. Yeah, it just doesn't have any kick. What's your guys' favorite root beer? I like Barks. Barks has bite. Hi, buddy. Or just traditional a is fine, too. Yeah, I like a and Clearly. I didn't realize that I cared that much, but apparently I Yeah, did. now we do. Uh, what was the what was the other one? Dr. Cola? Dr. Mr. Pibb? Mr. Pibb. No, Mr. Pibb's Dr. Pepper. Uh, okay, let's see. No, no, no. You can't go on the table. So where are you at? Now you're fed. Are you re are you inspired? Can I bring your camera back yet? You can. Yeah, please do, because I'm going to show off everybody's stuff. Uh, Nancy just finished coloring a mandala, mandala. I never know how to pronounce that. Where's the emphasis? Mandala? 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 Uh-uh. <laughs> mandala? Uh-huh. Uh, hey, Topo's trying to get pizza. Um, she used markers instead of pencil. I love this. I absolutely love mandalas, however you pronounce it. Um... I want to see that when I come over there. I love them. I love the, the repetitive and symmetrical patterns. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's beautiful, Nancy. Great job. Mm -hmm. uh, Brittany, finish your painting before work. I love it. Did you put glitter in it? Oh, glitter. That's great. Oh, the colors don't show up quite as bright. Make sure you guys go... Well, they're there like... You, you they're, can see the glitter. They're deeper on camera, but it looks different on camera than it does on your phone. But go over to the RFS family Facebook group to see. Uh, Christy says, here's our paintings. We're going to finish the Kawaii Sweets tomorrow. So this is the one that Christy did. Ooh, I like that. Love it. And this one is Hunter's. I think that says Hunter. Is it raining? It looks like it. I like it. I like the That's white. Great. I like the color in the raindrops. I was yeah, little, the little I was white for yeah, the highlights. Yeah, I'm never able to really do that with my bubble letters or anything, so good job. I like and that. And this one is Oliver's. He's going to finish it tomorrow. I like that. I, like I the, love it. I really love I the Kawaii like Sweets. I like the blue on the top of that one. It looks like a blue slushy. Yes. I love the variation in the uh, Kawaii Sweets. You proved that. Why are you still giving me notifications? Good oh. job, everybody. 
Thanks for creating. Uh, Mouse is going to post her work, work in progress now. Brittany says it was metallic paint. Uh, I wanted to see what people said about root beer. <laughs> well, I think they don't care about your root beer. <laughs> uh, Chris says it's better with vodka. <laughs> we haven't had vodka and root beer. I don't Ooh, know if that would work. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds like... Uh, Mal says a and is awesome. So is IBC. I don't know if we have IBC out here. I don't know either. I see them in the bottles. Oh, you know what? I see them in the bottles. I don't know if I see them in the two liters, but I see them in the bottles. Uh, Nancy says Fago. Fago. We still have some Fago. We do. Chris says Culver's has really good root beer. I'll have to try that next time I am where there is a Culver's. Hannah doesn't like root beer. What? Miss Chrissy says Barks for the win. Barks has bite. I do like Barks. Koru agrees that Culver's has good root beer. I do not know that. I'm going to have to try that next time uh, I'm in Arizona or uh, Michigan because those are the only places I've been that have Culver's. We don't have them out here. Brittany says rum and root beer. I don't think I have rum. And Nancy says, thanks. Crayola has a lot of coloring book mand mandalas, but she doesn't know how to pronounce it either. <laughs> I always feel dumb when I don't know how to pronounce a word. Let's, let's figure this out. All right, let's, let's listen to what this says mandala 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 she almost says min though mandala okay so the, the emphasis is on the second syllable let's see what this video says oh, come on crushed ice for the win amanda says root beer's gross too oh my gosh Come on, I don't need your... We are looking at how to pronounce this word. Shush! No. He's trolling. Now it's bringing up YouTube videos. We are looking I, at how you to already pronounce said that. this word. Designating... A la mandala. Mandala. Okay. Emphasis on the second syllable, Nancy. Now you know. The more you know. Okay, one more here to approve. Let me go back to the group and find it because I've now figured this out. Uh, Mouse Queen says, here's, Queen. here's my work in progress so far. This is Jax the German Shepherd pup with his big brother, Apollo. Oh, I love that face. Just the ears I like it. Face. She knows how to draw. I see like the circles for the, I like the the shapings of the bodies. I like the tip of the bottom of the ear to the tip of the, like the lines are, the lines are good. Yes. Good job. Good job. I love that. <laughs> she sent a super chat and said, I just posted my art. Just the line oh, yeah. art so far. Can't wait for you to see it. It looks really good. I can't yeah, wait to see cool. it done. Dawn has not had a root beer she doesn't like. I would agree. But you know how root beer has that extra little kick of flavor? Like, I don't know how to describe it. You're doing well there, Dan. You're getting the hang of it. Um, also, you're just yellow at the bottom. Are you going to go in with lighter? Are you going to have three shades? Uh, you know, I it's 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 doing what it wants to do, and I'm okay. following its lead. So it's just doing what it wants to do, and I'm just trying to figure That's out. kind of how you paint. I'm just trying to figure you're out learning how already. To, I'm just trying to figure out how to paint. Something will go on here, but it ain't, I'm done with the flower. Sally says, I am far from done. You and me both, friend. You're done with the flower? You're not going back to it? Uh, you, I, you know what? Right now I'm feeling this more. So That's I'm fair. Just pay, I'm just going to have fun. And you're it. just doing a base, so that can have something over the top of it. Yeah, it so, might be a big old middle finger. Here's the thing, guys. So I squirted out some of this paint, and it's not very liquidy. It's a little bit clumpy. And I see a lot of stuff where people are like, oh, it's just done. Throw it away. I have found a way around that. And I just add some water. Make sure it's clear water. That's why I went and changed out my water. And I just get water on my paintbrush and kind of drip it on there. And then you mix it into it. And it'll get back to a liquidy consistency. If it's too far gone, then you're just out of luck. But if it's just a little bit thick and clumpy, you should be able to mash some water into it and get it back to liquidy here. Is this on camera at all? No, now we are. Sorry. Hang on, I got cornmeal, because I know that it's cornmeal now, no, all over here. Not uh, salt. <laughs> it is certainly not salt. So it does take a little bit. You have to just kind of keep at it. I need to add a little bit more paint here. Dawn is living for everyone's art. I'm glad. I'm glad everybody likes it. 
Don says caffeinated root beer does have a punch. Yeah, I, I love it. I, I don't really drink a lot of soda, but when I do, it's almost always root beer. AAM says, how are you? We are good. We are working on painting. Mm -hmm. um, most of us are painting a hibiscus flower, but Dan has given up on that and is working on learning how to blend colors. Don is in heaven eating muffins and painting. That sounds like a good life to be living. You still have a... Some of that uh, zucchini bread, or do you take that to work and finish it? Uh, zucchini bread is gone, but I do have two more zucchini in the fridge. Is the plural of zucchini zucchini or zucchini? That's a good one. I don't know. It feels weird to say zucchinis. Not so. zucchini. Zucchini. <laughs> if you're afraid of zucchinis, are you a zucchini zucchini zucchinophobic? Zucchinophobic? Yes. Zucchinophobic? Is probably not. Right? There's probably some weird Latin-based word for, for it. Zucchinophobic. Okay, so if you guys can see that, it has now gotten more liquidy and less clumpy just from adding some water just to to liquefy it again. So you can save your paint if it's a little bit old. And some of my paints are several years old. And until we started doing this, I hadn't painted for quite a while. Um, if you have like chunks in there, you're going to need to get rid of those, kind of just scoop them out. But if they're real bad, then, then your paint is done. But if it's just a little bit thick, you can add water and make it back to paint again. Uh, Doris says Mouse Queen's art looks fantastic. It does. She's mm -hmm. definitely got some talent. Yeah, I do like She's that. not screwing around like we are. Holly says fresh root beer from A&W is so good. We used to have an A&W root beer restaurant out here, and it shut down decades yeah, ago. That's a Louis burger. Yes. But I do remember going and getting, like, the frosted glass with the root beer float in it. It was good stuff. We didn't live in Lancaster, so it was a treat to come out to Lancaster to get it. Okay, so now I'm going to pull up my flower again and see where we're going. We're going to get some purple just along the edges of this pink. Ooh, I might need to lighten this up a little bit. You got white? Wait, do you need just a tiny bit of white? Yeah, do you have... Do you want to suck off the top of that thing right there? No, because it's it's going to have some orange. Okay, okay. I just want to make sure, because it's like there was like a little fresh blob, but I didn't want you to... No, oh, Amanda doesn't have the energy to paint right now. It says, I think a big glass of water and migraine meds are in no. my very near future. Oh, friend, I'm sorry. I did see, so very often Facebook likes to recommend to me like lists of like the greatest things on Amazon. And I'm always flipping through it. Like, what you got? What's, what do you think is the greatest thing? Um, one thing I found that I think I'm actually going to get because it was like under $10 is this little rolly stick. And it's got like uh, a natural stone at the end of it, but it's like a rolly stick, like a roll on. Like we have that icy hot that's a roll on. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like the, the contraption I'm talking about, but it absorbs the oil in your face. I have really oily skin. So like I'll start out the day just fine, but about halfway through I'm oily and I have to go get like, um, in, in the bathroom at work, we have those like public bathroom paper towel texture towels. And those work really well to absorb the oil, but apparently you just roll this thing on your face and it gets rid of the oil. And then you rain it out. No, like it absorbs it. And then you, I mean, you wash it off because it's got your oils and stuff on it, but you can wash it, you know, you pop it open, wash it and reuse it. So I think I might try that out. But anyway, I legit, legit saw, remember, head on, apply directly to the forehead. Yeah. Um, apparently there is a non-gimmicky version of that that people swear by. And look, I don't get migraines. I, I've had headaches where like, I feel Man like I'm like, going to puke and <laughs> what? Because you said you don't get migraines. Oh. Man is like, Joe. But so I don't know how legit it is, but according to this BuzzFeed article, people swear by it and it's a roll it on your head, a uh, migraine reliever. Hmm. I don't know if that's an actual thing. I mean, I imagine if you get a migraine bad enough, gimmicky stuff is not going to work and you absolutely need meds. But I was curious to know, you know, if it made the list, did it actually work? Like roll on deodorant. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, it's just got a stone in it. That's odd. Yeah, but I think it was like six ninety nine. So I'm curious. like, I'm gonna it's on try. Its way? It. No, I didn't order it yet, but I did add it to my cart. Oh, okay. Drea is here. Hello, Drea. Up, Drea? How you been? How's things going? You watching that night race at Bristol? Brittany says peppermint essential oil to the temple helps migraines. I'm sure people who get migraines are like, shut up! I've tried everything.
I think Blake's friend's tired of torturing him. Well, yeah. <laughs> Him and they're driving yeah. race cars. Do his friends play driving games too? Uh, or does he play know, that by himself? So. Um, Mouse with the Super Chat says Hydrocephalus laughs in the face of those gimmicky remedies, I'm sure. I just thought it was funny because it's usually stuff like that you could you believe could work, like the roll on oil on your face remover. And every time like I see something like that, I'm like, dude, people with migraines are pissed. But I would think, like, a lot of people had to have said that it worked for it to have made that list, right? But who knows? I need a little more pink going on in here. Do I have pink that's not dried out? Did I do too much since I pinked? Drea says, hello, hello. What's I hope up, everyone is doing all right. I've been very, very busy with school. I decided that photography isn't for me and chose to be an elementary school teacher. Awesome. I love no it. No worries. Fail fast. Aw, that, that is fail. not a fail. No, fail fast. That Run is a discovery thing. that yes. that is not the thing yes. that you want to do with your life. Don't no worries. It. And you know what? Life's short, but life's long. You have plenty of time to change your mind a hundred more times. Yeah, look, I'm a live streamer and I'm in my 40s. Right? But yes, I don't mean fa fa that's, that's the save. But like, yes, as soon as you figure out a name for you, move on. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't let somebody else that doesn't do it convince you. So good. On to the next thing. Maybe you'll love that or not. And then on to the next thing. Keep photography as a hobby. Yeah, if, done, if you're still like into that, I've it can be a hobby. Of, it doesn't yeah. have to be your job. I've worn many hats in my life. Ooh, Mouse's pizza is about to pull yeah. up. Yeah, what'd you get on your pizza, Mouse? Mouse Queen? Let me know. And I always just call her Mouse. It's Mouse uh, Queen. Think, yeah. yeah. I don't know what you said now, but uh, Mouse says, quit putting your shoe in your mouth, bruh. Oh, well, fairly fast. <laughs> oh, yes. That's what you do. That's, that's, what, you, that's what you learn at the... At the conventions. Oh, yeah. Like it you don't have to go to VidSummit now. You, you've you learned everything you need to know. How's your color blending going? Are you yeah, happy you know, with it? No. I don't like the texture. Like, I can see the lines where it's jumping over, so I need to go slower or something. I'm going to put a little bit more yellow on there and go up a little bit. Or, you know what? I think I'm done. I'm going to let it dry for a minute. I'm going to start drawing over it. Are you? What are you going to draw? Um... I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna. I'm gonna draw on it. Are you gonna let it tell you what to draw? I'm gonna let it tell me what to draw. Koro says your painting looks like a sunset. Thanks. Uh, it's sort of, sort of, or like it's a. Well, let it just dry here for a second, I guess. Okay. But I'm gonna paint on this thing here in a second. Yeah, flower will never be finished. Uh, I don't know. We'll put I, it up next to my elephants and my kawaii sweets. Of your other finished stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Hannah with the super chat. Thank Hannah. you, friend. Um, unfortunately, is already regretting her choice of liquor. Crown and some cheap watermelon flavored liquor that doesn't taste like watermelon at all. Ew. Um, can we apply fail fast to that and just dump it out and start over? Yeah. I, yeah. Uh-huh. Do you have black on you or no? I'm sorry, like like in your in your dippers or no? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no problem. I can get you black. Do you want metallic or regular? Uh, which one's the most opaque? That's gonna be the regular. If I can find it. Mars black. Thanks. Ooh. <laughs> Anna says no, never dump liquor. Okay. I think I bumped you. Yeah, you're too young to dump liquor. <laughs> You'll be fine. Just suck it up. So, at the risk of repeating myself for those who already heard it, <laughs> Brittany says, or spit it in the sink while coughing. <laughs> Come on, it was better than actually dying from it, which I might have done if I oh, had held right. it in. Oh, that's right. Oh, you were like, oh. I was embarrassed. Oh, I was a little embarrassed. Oh, <laughs> it was pretty bad. Um, so, 
next paint night is going to be on October 1st, just to give you guys a heads up. And we will make a post about that tomorrow on the uh, RFS family group. The calendar will not go up yet, but we will make a post about what we're painting. So you guys are prepared on the 1st. It's working, sort of. I need to get some blue into there, though. Oh, Beer and Bug ordered two small pizzas for me and Dad 45 minutes ago, and they just said it'll be another 30 because Damn. they're slammed and it's just two guys there tonight. Aww. Oh, on a Saturday? They should have planned better. Koru says, uh, no way, when it's bad enough, you dump it out. <laughs> Damn, sorry, BRM bug. That's the worst when you've already decided, like, okay, it's time for pizza, and then you're just waiting forever. Right. Remember when I was in Santa Barbara and I ordered pizza and I had to call you because I accidentally kept it with your information and didn't update it to mine? And then I was waiting forever, and it said they were on the street, and I was waiting outside, and it took forever for them to come. I was mad. Yeah, I'm going to need to blend some more pink down into this. Kind of soften it a little bit. Super chat there for you. Um, I'll go to the super chat. Dan, in case you're curious, I got my usual Alfredo with hamburger, bacon, and pineapple. I am so Alfredo sauce with hamburger, bacon, and pineapple in it. That sounds like a like that sounds like whack. But <laughs> but check it out. Dude. I am I am down to try it. Like if you handed that to me, I'm like heck yeah, I want that. But you know what it is? Okay, I've never thought about my, that in my life. Like, and when when we have Alfredo pizza, it's always just Alfredo and spinach. Right. But uh, no, I'm I I'm definitely down to try that for sure. Chris says, no offense, Mouse, but if you're talking pizza, that sounds terrible. Right, right. And that's what I was saying, too, before I'm getting my size 12 and my size 10 mouth or whatever it was. <laughs> nope, the other way around. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a shock, but I am down. I am, I am, you know, serve it up. I am down. You'll eat anything, though. Pretty much. Hannah says she had a place completely forget about her pizza. Two hours of waiting later, oh, I called, there. and they said we tried to deliver it, but no one answered. Took some arguing, but then they admitted to forgetting. <laughs> Hell, that's awful. We ordered through the Grubhub app once. We ordered some KFC. Over at my mom's house, there was like four of us there starving. We're like, let's just order food. That point at which you're like, we can't cook anything. We just need food here now. And we figured like, you're not waiting for them to like make a pizza and cook it. Let's just get some KFC and you know, you know me, I'm just gonna eat some sides and stuff. We waited forever and you're watching the app and you're watching to see like what the update is and is somebody picking it up and what the hell is going on. And so then finally, after the driver changed like three times, finally somebody texts us and they're like, hey, so they don't have your order. And apparently KFC doesn't work with Grubhub, even though they're listed on Grubhub and you can place like, the order. On the map, they let, they went to the build. We used, the dot was at the KFC. The dot left the KFC. Then it said it switched drivers. And then another dot went to the KFC. Like our order kept getting passed around. Yeah, like I felt bad that people kept going to try to pick up this order when right. apparently the case was that uh, KFC did not give even orders to Grubhub. Even though they were Grubhub. like tracked at the KFC. It was so crazy. Yeah, it was, it was so really crazy. weird. <laughs> Mouse with the super chat. Call my saw whack one more time. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, that's just a really uncommon combination. Like I would never think of those combinations. Okay. I'm going to finish. I'm not done with this little damn thing right here, but cause I, I wanted to paint some white behind the eyes before I made something pop over it, but let's give this away before everybody leaves or like, so like before everybody, uh, like you don't have to hang on the end for the giveaway so let's do it so everybody in the chat right now put a number between one and a hundred don't spam and the winner will get this little painting um which will have different colored uh like eyes and mouth and when i'm done yes space uh, out your chat. guesses so they show up if you do too many at a time yep. yes sorry mouse queen 
that I uh, uh, beer and bug got sausage, olives, off. mushrooms, and bell pepper on one. Alfredo chicken, bacon, tomatoes, and spinach on the other. <laughs> that is so many toppings. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that's like a hundred dollar pizza. That's a heavy pizza. No wonder they hate your pizza. <laughs> yeah, they're just trying to figure it out. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, we're going fast. Uh, Nancy wow, got it. Nancy got it. 96. That was quick, good job, Nancy. Nancy. Nancy, good job. Nancy, please send me your uh, address. Everybody go. Let's see if anybody else gets it <laughs> before they see it. Uh, good job. Yes, it was 96. I wrote it on my little, my little plate right here. Wink. Um, so send me your address and you will get this little Dan guy. In a few weeks when Dan actually mails it. No, I got, yeah, I got sent stuff this week. Did you mail, uh, oh, the nobody, nobody nothing, stuff nothing, nothing in the last week. week or so? You even left the house. I know. I know. So I'll finish this up. This is drying. Congratulations. Well, I don't know if that's a congratulatory thing, you know, like marriage, reproduction, you know, <laughs> college, but not, you know, guessing the right number. No, congratulations. congratulations. Forget that. That's a win. Congratulations. Good job, uh, yay. Yeah, well, yay, cool, snail mail is fine, awesome. Well, yeah, I can't digitally send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mel says, I already got one. I'm thinking about adding a baby magnet to the back I, so I so it can show on my fridge. I would highly recommend that. So I really wanted to put magnets on the back when I send these, um, except for on the Tell Em Steve Dave podcast, they're having issues and they think it's because there was a tiny little magnet in their packaging and it's sticking to stuff and like that's why like it's like ripped open in the mail and like being like sent back and stuff like so i don't want to send any magnets through the through the through the mail you know you can buy magnets through the mail i'm just n- not but that would be awesome that, that, would, that would be awesome okay so i'm gonna keep drawing on here but i'm gonna go wash off my hands real quick i'm having a better time with this than the flower but It'll all tie in. Yeah. Um, Hannah, I will ask Dan when he gets back. I don't know. Why would you not be able to enter? Because you already won a thing? I don't know. You have to ask Dan. Dan makes the rules for giveaways. I don't know what his rules are. I mean, obviously, we don't want one person to win all the things. But, like, a postcard is not the same as winning a painting. Did you already win a painting? Hannah wants to know if she's allowed to enter yet. Yeah, yeah, just don't win, like, back-to-back. <laughs> she says, because I won so much. Oh, you are you can, yeah, no, you're good again. You're good. You're good, and uh, anybody should be able to win at any time. I don't know. Amanda and Mouse Queen both say your gradient is, uh... Amanda says it's looking really good. Mouse Queen says it's fire. Thanks, you guys are so nice to me. It's not, it's like, like, skipping, but I've learned, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. too much paint on here. Well, these new brushes have like different features to them. Yeah. Yeah, your brushes are way different than what I have. Hannah said your flower was looking good. I I was not mad at it. I don't know why you gave up. I don't have the skills yet to to have it look like I want it to do in in my line. I'm not frustrated. I just know when to like the stop, <laughs> just stop for a minute and do something else. It's fair. Yeah, I'll just stop and mess with something else. <laughs> do your brushes come with Wi-Fi? If so, <laughs> if so, I'd let you log in. You could help me paint. Now what are you doing? I'm drawing on this napkin here to see, or like, just to see if like, if it, if this thing wants to do what I want it to, to do. Like if the brush is gonna give you the strokes you want? Yeah. 
And the answer is no. Pick a different one. Never mind. The answer is yes again. <laughs> is it? I'm sorry, I'm quiet for a second. I've just been painting. <laughs> Christine likes your sunset. Thanks. And now I'm going to paint over it the likes of the hieroglyphics that were being painted in uh, Encino Man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nugs. Uh, Steve said you should attach some plutonium to the magnet. It should separate from the rest of the mail so no sorting issues arrive. The freaking fun facts. Arise. <laughs> don't you know? Don't you know you can just put plutonium on the magnet and it demagnetizes? Duh. Get, get your plutonium Duh. out, Dan. Duh. Oh my gosh. Let me. Where did you put? What drawer is the plutonium? Crystal. Crystal, where is the plutonium? <laughs> the the how the um. Which one are you looking for? Uh, just the basic everyday plutonium. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we bought a. I thought we bought a six pack of it. At the store last time. You know, plutonium. Everybody's got it laying plutonium. around. Plutonium. Come on. Come on. Uh, Hannah totally made some pizza rolls out of crescent rolls due to all the talk last night of cooking with crescent rolls. That's awesome. How did it turn out? We've not done pizza with it, but after that was suggested last night, we're definitely going to have to. <laughs> My middle finger is the only one that's clean. So I'm trying not to give like a subtle <laughs> thing to anybody. Oh. Just go to Doc Brown and ask to borrow a cup of plutonium. <laughs> Two thirty-eight would work fine. <laughs> oh, we watched that jacked up documentary where everybody was playing with the indiglo stuff, and they were Radium. brushing their they were brushing their teeth with it and putting it on their Halloween costumes and. Oh man, I don't want it to be like that. I have this stupid song stuck in my head. Lipstick and peppermint, do 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 do. You know, like that, like weird, like seventies, like yeah. Vibe. Why? Where would you have heard that? It, it had like they had to have been on a commercial or something dumb like that. My black just tried to turn the goo in front of my eyes. Right in front of your eyes? Yeah. Uh, Liz is here and says, I like your painting, Crystal. Thank you so much. Hi, Liz. Getting there. I'm trying to work some more different colors into here. Kind of realizing I don't have enough colors to add before I get to the end back down to the middle where I started. So I'm pulling the purple down a little bit more and I think I'm gonna go back in with some more uh, yellow and uh, pink and kind of blend them in downward. We'll see how that goes. Trying not to overthink it because that's what I always do. Don says All Star by Smash Mouth is constantly in my head. Oh, that is unfortunate. She oh, says that uh, Wonder, time out. Wonderwall my... last night didn't help. Wonderwall? <laughs> Wonderwall, no. You know my high school boyfriend discovered the Oasis album when it came Didn't out? Did you tell, tell yeah. What, and what he you... blared that thing. So anytime I hear that album, I don't even know what it was called. Wait, but what did he drive? Like, what did he... Oh, he drove a dirt brown Volkswagen Rabbit with burgundy interior. Convertible? No. No, his his grandma's friend was too old to drive anymore. And was like, you can have my car, and gave it to him. So like, who's gonna turn down a car at sixteen? So that was his car that he drove all through high school. Um, thought he was a gangster. Would listen to pretty much exclusively um, gangster, Snoop Dogg like, and Oasis. Are you talking like Pretty Fly for a White Guy gangster? Yes. Or like that style? Yes. Um, like 
he drove like this. Oh, yeah. Um, and one time Snoop Dogg came out with these yellow glasses. No, like, Snoop Dogg, a picture of Snoop Dogg came out and he was wearing these all yellow black fly glasses. Like, the whole frame was clear plastic yellow and the lenses were clear plastic yellow. And he thought he had to have those so he could look like Snoop Dogg. And he got those and he rocked the hell out of those for years. Forever. So yeah, point being, uh, the entire Oasis, Oasis album just makes me think of riding around in his dirt brown Volkswagen Rabbit. <coughs> Pulling up to the corner with the Wonder Wall. Yep. Oh, it was embarrassing. His music was always full hey, blast. Hey, don't look back in anger. Is this a quote? Oh, geez, you don't know? No. <laughs> So my light blue is a little clumpy too, so I'm doing my uh, add a little bit of water to it trick again. Yeah? Yep. I'm gonna add some white to it too, because I want it to be a little bit lighter. White and nerdy gangster. Yes, absolutely. But that was a style. That was like Malibu's Most Wanted. That was Pretty Fly for a White. I was making fun of that style. Yes, that that was a thing. I don't know if that... Did that happen like all across the country? Did everybody have to yeah, deal with that? Yeah, because like even in the movie Clueless and stuff, there was the one guy that was doing that. That was just a style. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> he was not a gangster. Like my paint, like got, like like it like dried out or something. Well, then you need more paint. Now I have Oasis in my head. <laughs> Drea says DM drawings are the best. Thanks, Drea. I don't know what you're even making. Hannah usually has something by Elton John on her mind. Interesting. I would not have guessed that. <laughs> Big Elton John fan, huh? <laughs> Elton John's good. I like the Elton John. Do ya? B -b -b Betty and the Jets. Yeah. I saw the, close, a tidy dance. I saw the Elton John impersonator at the... Uh, oh, man. Come on. That's some good stuff. Uh, the place in Palmdale one time. The Palmdale Amphitheater. Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. I mean, spot on. He nailed it. I think his name was Elton Non. No way. And he was Indian. <laughs> Um, Hannah says, it's a Dan, painting a Dan, painting. <laughs> <laughs> Steve is claiming that, uh, hold on, it went off the screen. Claiming, oh my gosh. Claiming are you just denouncing his... That the Goo Goo Dolls are better than Oasis. Oh, no, they're not. See why I said claiming? No, they're I not. I would rather listen to Oasis. I would rather listen to New Found Glory cover an Oasis song than a Goo Goo Dolls song. <laughs> You've seen them both in concert? Who? Uh, the, uh... Goo Goo Dolls and Oasis? Yeah. I've seen neither in concert. Um, Chris wants to know if that's an inter If that's a picture of you checking the internet for more knockers. Some fresh knock-knock jokes would be fun. Right, I can just paint a door on there. You would paint <laughs> a little handle there. It's, it's... And Dawn, who started the whole thing, says, Sorry, not sorry. Thank you for suffering with her. With the songs. <laughs> <laughs> I regret nothing! <laughs> All right, hold on guys. I will get to your super chats. I've just, this blue is starting to dry out on my brush here. Um, Al says, what's going on in my brain? I mean, you sure you don't know already? <laughs> <laughs> Dan certainly does not know what's going on in his brain. No, I do. I, mean, I know, but at least I got it figured out what I'm doing here. <laughs> she says, LOL, I posted a non-super chat earlier. Oh, friend, you don't have to super chat yeah, everything, but we, we absolutely do appreciate yes, the support. But, yeah, but did we not read the things? No, she said a non-super chat. Yes. I don't know. On, I, we try to read everything, but it's hard when we're painting. Um, 
So the super chats definitely get more attention because they show up in color. But it, when we're painting, we look away for so long, it's hard to read everything. At the same time, stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hannah says, yes, I'm a big Elton John fan. What of it? I like I, I just wouldn't have guessed. I li- yeah. Some of the songs you're like, whoa, that's an Elton John song? Right. Come on. I don't know what I would have thought you would have listened to, but I don't think Elton John would have been on the list. That's all. It's weird, like, once you leave high school and, you know, people are no longer who they are based on how they dress and what they're into, like, the kids who dress like Marilyn Manson, yeah, they like Marilyn Manson, duh. But once you leave high school, uh, it, it's really hard to guess, like, who people are by how they look. Or, like, I guess it's not who they are, but, like, what they're into. Like, I couldn't guess somebody's music taste outside of high school. So I've basically just taken a little bit of light blue, blended it into the purple, and now I'm going back with purple and kind of filling in. I still have some white bits, so I'm trying to fill that in and kind of blend that to soften the blue a little bit. It's just giving some depth to that layer of color. Uh, Beer and Bug, just remember there used to be an Oasis cover band here in Dallas called Blowasis. (laughs) (laughs) terrible and hilarious Uh, Christine with the super chat thank you so much for the support friend no message or anything but thank you I appreciate that welcome to our paint night our paint night I think she's been here a while boogaloo Uh, I've been hearing promises promises by naked eye circa 1983's why can't I remember the lyrics? Please, and then, and then stop horn, and then, singing. And then jazz song. Oh, 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 promises, promises. Oh, Hannah says, I wanted to dress like a punk slash goth in, in high, I think you mean high school, but she said gosh school, which is kind of funny. But my parents wouldn't let me, so I wore sweats and a t-shirt every day. What's my music taste? Aw, your parents don't love you enough to let you express yourself. Yeah, so I vote my chemical um, romance. <laughs> yes, definitely something about how angry you are at your parents. Um, My mom hated the way I dressed in high school. Absolutely freaking hated it. Wouldn't let you go to it. Hot Topic. Would not let me go to Hot Topic. So I had ways to get around that. Like, one day she wouldn't let me go to school. Like, legit would not let me go to school because she did not like what I was wearing. I was wearing tie-dye tights. Before they were cool, by the way. Before the dance team started wearing them and did a whole routine. you were so mad about that. I was because they made fun of me for wearing tie-dye tights. And then the next year they all wore tie-dye tights in a routine. Come on now. Um, Tie-dye tights with black fishnets over them plaid boxer shorts as shorts a band t-shirt and like whatever went with that whatever sweater from a what that's too much outfit for an outfit yeah well you're a t-shirt and jeans kind of guy blake um yeah my mom was not having it and would not let me go to school your picture looks really good thanks i'm i'm not quite happy with the blending but i'm working on it yes koru back when hot topic had good stuff now it's it's very pop culture-y and not so like um outside the mainstream as it used to be no, that's free. I got one for each. Of yeah, you. go ahead. Okay. Uh, Hannah says totally didn't listen to grunge, metal, punk music. Just like the clothing slash style. Yeah, high school's a weird time when you're trying to figure out like what you're into and how you want to look. And honestly, I feel like the rest of your life is going to be like that. That always happens. I feel like my style is constantly changing. I'm always in my head thinking about like the style that I want to have versus the t-shirt and jeans that I want to wear. Like t-shirts and jeans are so comfortable. They are so comfortable. So comfortable. You're not beige. Uh, Christine says, you sound like my so-called life with that outfit. Um, I was totally uh, my so-called life. Yeah. It's totally my so-called life. I yes. wanted to be Rayanne. Oh, and yeah, not even Claire Danes? Mm-mm. Nope, I wanted to be Rayanne. Not Jared Leto? I was very my so-called life, like freshman and sophomore year. Uh, Hannah, forgot to mention, it was always a black shirt and black sweats. Oh, yeah, that's, that's total golf look. All right, I'm going to let that set for a minute. I'm going to get more drink. Do I have any more Facebook posts to approve? How did you, like, wear all that outfit for, like, 
I got so much stuff you have on. Oh, when you're like 14, 15, it doesn't matter. That's that's not important. When I was 14 or 15, it mattered. Like, I would get up in the morning and like, instead of bangs, before I cut myself bangs, I would part out the same amount of hair as my bangs would be, brush it all forward, split it into three chunks, braid each of those chunks. This was before school in the morning. And then like put a ponytail holder and a barrette at the end of those chunks. And then like put my hair actually in pretty much this exact same style. Then I would put a bunch of makeup on. Then I would put that outfit on. Gross. Sometimes I don't even comb my hair in the morning. I am aware. Yeah, you're you're a very different animal than I am. My hair very gets combed before I have to do something, not like in the morning. Uh, Steve is wearing a 1987 Metallica European replica t-shirt right school? now. Oh. Right now. Koru still has some shirts and stuff from when he was in middle school from Hot Topic that will never, ever fit again. Oh, oh don't you have one dude, too? Mine fit until a few years ago and then, then, you know. Don't you have your Pearl Jam 10 shirt from like... I have my Pearl Jam 10 shirt. I have my You know there's Nirvana literally shirts. been a million of those pressed since you got that one. Right. Um, but see, I wore the heck out of mine so it got all nice and soft. If you want to buy a new one, it's a Gildan. It's stiff, and I don't want a new one. I have my old Porno for Pyros shirt with the the uh, devil head on it that my mom really hated. Um, they don't even print those anymore. Let's say, yeah, I have all my old shirts. I can't get rid of them. I just can't. That's like, who, make out that's of who I am, huh? Make pillows out of them. Oh, everybody always says I should make a quilt out of them. Hannah says, my parents wouldn't let me stretch my ears at all either, which is why I did once I moved out. Um, yeah, much like dyeing my hair, I would just go to other people's houses and do it. And then by the time I was like 16, almost 17 and graduated high school, wasn't nobody telling me what to do anymore anyway. Mouse remembers her parents turning down the idea of her even getting a Spice Girls CD. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm doing the girls who were singing in an elevator for a commercial or something. Oh, I don't even know. Hannah's dad still doesn't like her stretched ears, but doesn't hate it either. Oh, my mom told me when I got my eyebrow pierced that she was disappointed and wish I had gotten a tattoo instead. Why? I don't know. You can, you can take out a piercing. That's the less permanent option there. Right. Yeah, now, like, I've asked her and she's like, it's just part of your face now. Like, I don't even see it anymore. I don't know. I'm, actually, until you said something about your piercing right now, I forgot you even have one. Yeah, I forget. Um, I do, I fidget with it a lot and kind of like tug on it. I'm sad that the other one closed up because it had a hoop and I would tug on that one and play with the captive bead all the time. But yeah, I, I play with it and fidget with it a lot. But other than that, I forget it's even there. <laughs> Steve says, actually, the Spice Girls had some spicy lyrics. Okay, I need to get uh, more drink. Okay. Are you painting happy little clouds? Hmm. <laughs> Dang, Blake came in like a wrecking ball. He left every pizza box open, the cupboard open. Did he really? Yeah, what the heck are you doing, child? Blake came in like a party? Yeah. Leaving all the pizza boxes open? Did you just shove a whole piece of pizza in your mouth? No, I grabbed one of the cheesy breadsticks. I don't like those. The white off of it. Well, nobody asked. Nobody asked, dang. <laughs> Dang. I just sewed my daughter's deaf leopard on the back of her blue jean jacket. Oh my gosh, I thought you were gonna be like, I sewed the left sleeve shut <laughs> on her deaf leopard drummer's jacket. <laughs> one time in high school, there was a note left on the uh, windshield of my car and one of my friends had written three pages front and back and all she wrote was the drummer from deaf leopard's only got one arm. Oh man. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Did your friend stop harassing you in my chat? Hmm? Did your friend stop harassing you in my chat? Yeah. Didn't get the reaction they were hoping for? No. <laughs> they, 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 I didn't go call me a sussy baka, so. No, I pinned it. That's even the whole, no, I pinned it worse. for the word. Yes, yeah, so that was worse. But, it gives me validation and then. What does that even mean? It's just like a meme. Baka's like stupid. I never, yeah. Right, but I never rebelled against my scene? parents. Me too. I was always good. I was good. Cake. So you should tell him that he's Baka. It was good. Huh? He should play Sudoku. I saw it. 
What does it mean? And it's just like, it's not a thing, and it's, it's cringe. It's dumb. Yes. I guess I should read some chat here. Hold on. Yeah, Dan, read the chat here. Well, I got some fresh paint going on here. All right. Oh, my daughter's 50. She grew up with Def Leppard, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Pour some, pour some salt on that wound. Pour some salt on that wound. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Oh, uh, Chris said, oh, OMG, I'm already working on Blake fan fiction. No. Balake. No. Uh, Baka is Japanese for fool or idiot. Mm-hmm. True that. My dad is currently growing broccoli sprouts in our house. The smell has me thinking about rebelling. What the heck is that? I need to see broccoli sprouts. What's your problem? It's like a buck for like, it's like a buck for a bush. Not even like for like a real bush of broccoli. What's going on? Can you keep, can you talk them into like, look, look pops, could you do something a little less fragrant like salad? Why don't you just grow some like salad? You know, get a nice Caesar. Get a nice Caesar salad seeds and, and, and grow some Caesar salad, you know? Should stick to that so it doesn't, you know, it doesn't smell. All right, gonna paint this a little bit more brown just so it pops off. Okay, so far so good. I hate the smell of broccoli, even the taste. I don't like steamed vegetables, but when you steam broccoli, that's kind of gross. But I do, uh, I do like uh, raw broccoli. Uh, does broccoli grow on a bush? I think so, because it looks like, it looks like a bush, and then they cut the arm off the bush. Um, I hate broccoli taste, smell, and the smell of taste of anyone eating it with an earshot of me. That's interesting. It never bothered me. I just don't like that when they're steamed. I don't like mushy vegetables. Uh, broccoli tastes okay with the rice seasoning, yes, or sauce. Um, I like all the vegetables when they're put in the oven with the uh, with the spices and the oils on them. Then they're kind of like fried a little bit. I I do like that. I am I am a fan of that. Brittany, I don't know, Brittany. Brittany, are you here? I do like this little handy thing. It is nice to have this in my hand. Oh, Steve, it says AKA French fries, LOL. I didn't see what that, I didn't see anything. I can't scroll up. I can't scroll. I have broccoli crunch salad. What is that? Is that like broccoli leaves? Broccoli bush, Dan's horticulture is almost as good as geography. What's horti what's horticulture? Is that like some Rob Zombie thing? <laughs> Christy with the super chat. Chopping broccoli with music notes. I don't know. Yeah, like you wouldn't need an axe, but like I would be whacking the broccoli off of the like the broccoli bush and then it like then like two broccoli would grow out of there and then you cut that bush too. Right? Paint palette. Yeah, I like the, the, the paint palettes. Oh, you said you like vegetables fried in the oven with seasoning. Basically french fries. Okay, yes, you're right, Steve. It, it, basically that, french fries. Yeah, you heard that. Yeah, basically french fries. Yeah, my favorite vegetable in the oven with seasoning is potatoes. Yeah, right. I think I may have missed one because I don't remember uh, sharing this one with everybody, but Valerie posted in the group, this is the first time she painted the same picture the group was doing. Ooh, that looks good. That looks really good. I like the leaves. I like the colors. Yeah, the leaves of the colors yeah, are great. I like how it fades out on the little, like, like leaf veins. What do you call those? Leaf, leaf veins. Leaf veins? Veins. <laughs> veins. Chopping broccoli is a Dana Carvey song, I think. Is it? From, like... Old Saturday Night Is that Live? why Christina's, or, sorry, Christine's super chat has chopping broccoli with I don't music know, notes? I don't know that one. But I liked when Dana Carvey did Injured Head with Harry. That was a good one. What you need, Mooch? Attention. 
mostly. Come on, buddy. Come here. Hi. Come here. Okay, what do you need? Uh, Fox and Koala will post your hedgehog when it's done. I would love to see it. Please do. Crystal, how are you feeling about I'm, your picture? Because it looks great. I'm feeling pretty good about it. There's some spots I'm not happy with, but I'm ready to go back in with a little more pink, I think. Oh, wait. I was doing blue. I'm so all over the place with this. I think I have a couple uh, petals that still need some blue through them. Uh, Christine says, yes, it is a, an SNL skit. Dana sings a whole song about chopping broccoli. I don't think I know that one. I have not. I should, I will see it though. We watched some documentary, like on like, kind of like on the rise and fall of the Dana Carvey show. That was really interesting too. Yeah. Yeah, you and I watched that a few years ago. Sounds vaguely familiar. Oh, can we talk about something I've been wanting to talk about? So one of my friends texted me last week, actually while I was driving down to the concert. So I wasn't able to respond until the next day and had like 30 messages to go through because it's a group chat. Apparently my friend Nanda cannot visualize. She thought that visualizing meant to think really hard about something. She cannot conjure up mental images. And apparently this is a thing that happens to something like 1% of the population. So B is how we have a, a captive audience here. There's 50 of you here. I need some input. I need to know if you guys, if I tell you to imagine a star, do you get a visual picture of a star? Like, can you remember or think like, I, Look, this conversation went on for days. <laughs> to the I'm point. sorry. I'm sorry. I read the turd Ferguson and I got... Okay, sorry. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Uh, real sorry, quick. Sorry. Super Screw chat you, from Steve. Hannah. Screw you. Dan, Hannah says, horticulture is gardening. You know, the thing I did to get you salsa. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, <laughs> the thing I did to get you salsa, which was good. We tore that up. We did. Absolutely. Um... Yeah, so apparently a bunch of people cannot visually imagine things. So at some point she, out of nowhere, was like, <laughs> she said, I bet that's why you're really good at remembering names of plants. Um, she asked me, so wait, like, you can remember what a sunset looks like? And I'm like, yeah, not only that, I can remember, like, um, I used to go, there's a park out here called Apollo Park, which is just beautiful and doesn't look like the rest of the town. And I used to go out there to watch sunsets and stuff. And look I remember showing off your memories. I remember what those look like. I remember like visually what I saw when I would climb on my roof as a teenager to watch the sun rise. I remember what the sunset looked like when we were out at Greg's place, like out in the flat middle of nowhere. Like, yes, mouse that exactly. I visualized uh, both a realistic star and the typical five point star in art. Yes. What same did your thing. mom say with the star? Oh, I asked my mom. <laughs> I love her answer. <laughs> this was good. I asked my mom and she's like, no, I can't do that either. And I'm like, you can't picture a star in your head. And she said, well, like I see the Carl's Jr. Yeah, star in my head. Like, yeah, uh, that's the best star. Then she had Carl's Jr. for lunch that day. Like that's what she decided to have for lunch because we were talking about Carl's Jr. And apparently she uh, not only visualized, but manifested. <laughs> So yeah, I want to know if there's anybody else out there who cannot visualize things, who cannot like close their eyes and have a visual memory. She asked me because I'd gone to the concert. So wait, like with concerts, you close your eyes and you see like psychedelics. And I'm like, what? No, for me, I have a really good visual memory. So for me, I can close my eyes and imagine like the entire show, like what it looked like everywhere I went. Maybe not super detailed, but I can remember the things and apparently she can't and I'm just baffled and like you, I have been friends with this girl for 20 years. 
You might be friends with somebody for 20 years and not no have wonder any she's idea that she's that's... friends with you for so long because she don't remember all the stuff. So right? She don't that's... remember anything. But How she, do you live? She might not even know it's you. She probably thinks it's another friend. <laughs> uh, Angela says, hey, that's totally a star, too. Oh, yeah, it is. Absolutely. Uh, Steve says most people can. Yes, only like 1% of people cannot do this. Hannah legit didn't realize people couldn't visualize. I, she thought, she literally said the word, and mind you, this woman has a master's degree in teaching and has been a teacher for well over a decade. Like, she teaches students, and, and very well, I'm sure. I've never been in her classroom, but I'm sure she's a very good teacher. Susie, present. Billy, present. Timmy. What's, 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 t who's Timmy? Is that how it is the next day? Like, is that Timmy? <laughs> right? I, is that Timmy? Dude, I asked her, like, how do you get through life? How do you know which bread you like when you go to the store? Like, how do you remember how the you packaging? Know <laughs> yeah, how do you know the things? Like, I don't understand at all. And, and had no idea that my friend suffered from this. Who knew? Uncle Yukon's got the same thing. I can't visualize going out with a girl. It's been too long. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see what you did there. Uh, Brittany says my visual memory is too good. Hence, no horror movies. Aww. Steve says the better question is if you self-narrate. Lots of people can't do that. What does that mean? Like I can have inside. Like I do. Can... You hear your thoughts. Like, do you hear a voice? It's not going to necessarily be your same voice. Yeah. It's me. But you hear your thoughts, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Well, I have conversations with my thoughts before I open my mouth. Yeah, apparently lots of people do not. Like Gary Busey. <laughs> well, he just well, opens he his mouth his and it comes out. Um, no, I, I, I have all that. Like, I, I, and I sound like me in there. Or the Arby's guy. We have the meat! Uh, Chris says that Uncle Yukon needs to try only grands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Uncle Yukon responded that they kicked him out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mouse says the brain is a funky thing It absolutely is Mouse uh, Super Chat says I've been told that I have a photographic memory Jackson, Apollo, the dogs in my drawing Are completely from a mental idea That's so cool That's cool I, I even have a mirror over there to see what I look like The paint stick figure me <laughs> So that is, way, that is way cool Yeah I would not say I have a photographic memory But it's very visual And like if Dan loses something and I've seen it I can kind of like close my eyes and be like Okay it was in the kitchen, on the left side of the stove, behind the one jar of hot sauce or something. Like, I can but the visualize like that. But the New York guy. Oh, yeah. The one guy that flew over New York one time and then drew the entire skyline. That was amazing. That's a different type of brain. Absolutely. Uh, Dawn has her own theme music, too. I would love to hear that. Me too. It looks like everybody hears their own thoughts. Is it glasses breaking and then da 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 <laughs> What are you doing? Okay, hold on, hold on. I can't help. I'm, Come I'm on. smashing my stuff. I need a pop and color to go on. I need a pop and color for those eyes on that bottom painting because I painted them white so I could paint a color over it. Um, yellow will pop over the. Uh, oh, you should have painted the titanium, the unbleached titanium. It would have worked better. Uh, Drea says I can hear my thoughts loud and clear. It's always my voice, and that can be scary sometimes. Yeah, my me, my me talks to me. Uncle Yukon says, sometimes I hear my thoughts, but never thought of it. Thought they were just voices from my past multiple lives. <laughs> Steve says that he has non-selective photographic memory. It's not very often, but certain things I remember perfectly. What are you looking for? I don't know. Just some pop and color. Oh, okay. Hannah says the voice in her head isn't her voice at all. Interesting. Who Whose voice is it? I'm telling you, Arby's. <laughs> I want crinkle fries. Mouse isn't sure if she has an inner voice, but OMG, I do talk to myself, especially when I'm at home alone. Is this like the most poppin' of the yellows? That wasn't yellow. I mean, yeah, it's primary yellow, but I have one that's open already. Uh, Hannah says it's actually the voice of a guy. Has no idea who. That's Interesting. Cool. So your your inner Hannah is oh, male? Her IMDB <laughs> is, is voice narrated by uncredited. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to call your inner voice Mana. You know what? I'm th <laughs> I it's think like I Hannah, but it's a man. <laughs> I, but here's the thing. Now all of a sudden, like, I want a different inner voice. Are you going to work on changing can, that? Can I? I mean, it's only going to affect I hear you. Him. Dan, we have the meat. <laughs> I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> Steve says that would be very confusing to me. I agree. That's interesting. 
Uh, I feel like mine is like what I think I sound like. I honestly don't know if I paid attention to mine. Can you hand me the white? Because I have a mooch. Do you need, like, That's oh, not white. Oh, it's beige. It's unbleached titanium. Which is better for the base? Yes. Yeah, and I saw uh, Amanda did actually go out and get some. It works as a good base. If you're using a paint that is not very opaque, like some of the Artist Loft brand, these ones, I love the colors they have, but a lot of their paints are not very opaque. They're really, like, thin and kind of watery. Uh, so the yeah, unbleached... Spend the, spend the extra bucks unless you need it for a character, like a crazy funky color, right? Otherwise, um, get the other stuff because it's just... Yeah, but I really like some of their colors. They have some good neons and some good metallic colors. But you will so be doing double coats. I just, I just get the unbleached titanium and do a coat of that first, and then somehow it seems to work better. Don't ask me why. I, I don't know the logistics behind these things. Uh, Die wants the movie phone guy's voice. Oh, Mr. Movie Phone? <laughs> yeah. Which I bet half the people watching right now have no idea what that is. Steve wants Nixon's voice to be his inner monologue. <laughs> I mean, theoretically, you can make it whatever you want, right? Christine says you need another point on your mohawk picture. It's an M for Mosley. Oh, like for like all, Homer. All my all my mohawks are M's. Like Homer's ear, that's a G. I agree that it would need another one out the back, like a smaller one. But my mohawks are M's. That's how I know they're me. Is that how? Yep. M for me. M for Mosley for my for me. <laughs> that's that's me. There you go, Crystal. I drew a picture of me painting the flower. Oh, okay. So instead of painting a flower, it's a picture of you painting the flower. Yeah. What are you doing, Mooch? I'm watching, watching you. Me. Hi. Do a little lighter. Mouse says, wouldn't hurt to have Reed for an inner monologue, or Mr. Feeny, depending on the situation. Oh, Mr. Feeney. Well, they would never steer you wrong. Uh, Tristan is here. Says, how's everything going so far, my dudes? Hi, Tristan. We were painting, and then I got frustrated with my painting. Like, I just didn't like this, so I threw it away, and then I painted me a happier version of me. Like, painting the painting that I wanted it to be in my painting. <laughs> but it's so small, you can't tell the details of what you me. actually wanted it to It looks way better. Be. So, yeah. So, I just painted me a painting a picture since I couldn't do it in real life. I drew a picture of me succeeding at it. And it's the same thing. <laughs> I find that very amusing. Do you? <laughs> it's the same thing. Uh, this one's actually Brittany's picture. This one's actually going to Brittany. I'll show oh, that Yeah. Because she sent you the paint on the canvas? Because she sent me all the paint. Yeah, because Brittany sent me this big old painting kit. Thank you so much. Um, I will clear coat it and this will be, I will send this to you, Brittany. Thank you uh, for sending me. It came with like three, uh, like thin canvases and a paint set and, uh, the sauce, the sauce cup. And your booby sponges. And my booby sponges. Yes. So thank you so much. So, yeah, no, I'm, I'll send you uh, I told you to paint you a picture. So I'll send you, uh, me painting a, a picture on paint night. Look at that. Like I look, I look great in that photo. Big old smile. Good posture. No dad bod. <laughs> Or maybe a little bit of dad bot on there. Yeah, look at that. What do you think? Is that better? Uh, Foxy Koala said I posted mine to the group. Okay, we'll get to that here in just a second. Yeah, give me just a minute. Oh, man. Yeah. So, I wanted to do a slightly different pink, but I mixed the pink and made pretty much the exact same pink as I made before. So, the purple went up a little too high, so I'm just going back in with pink now. And, uh feathering that into it which is actually it's not covering the purple completely so it's kind of giving some depth to the coloring here again with the uh, acrylic paints you can just kind of layer them over each other even after it's dry and 
Um, depending on the paint color, it'll either completely cover it or it'll blend together, kind of give you a different oh, yours effects. Yours is reminding me of colored pencils. Nancy says, when I sewed, I easily could find a pattern in fabric and could visualize what it would look like. I tried to sew for my mom and she couldn't pick out fabric, could not imagine how it would look. You know what? It's just different for different people. Yeah, that was another thing Nanda told me. She said, no wonder you and my mom are so good at rearranging furniture. And I thought about it for a minute. It was like, oh... You can't visualize what it's going to look like when it's done, huh? You have to move everything around and kind of see how it fits. And she said, absolutely. She can't form a mental image of, like, things that don't exist either. To imagine something. It's so weird to me. It's so, like, it's not a sign of intelligence, but it's so weird to me that, like, you are very well educated and a teacher to well educate other people and you cannot visualize... I just don't get it. Mouse with a super duper chat. I'd probably get in arguments, bickering matches, with the rage voice most often. Hee hee, if that was the voice in her head. <laughs> and then Feeny would bust in, in, in uh oh, imploring us to get our act together, lol, <laughs> in his Knight Rider voice. Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. I, he does have a very unique voice. The fact voice. that you like champion Feeny and Reed just makes me so happy. <laughs> Like, I don't know why, but I just love it. I love it. Like, it's not something that's very common. Right. And I think it's great. I think it's great. Oh, I have this thing. I didn't like the colors on this thing. So let's give this, what is thing, this thing, this other little thing here. So let's uh, put this over here first. Oh, second. This yellow is still drying. I think I want to do one more yellow on the eyes before that's done. Okay, this pink is drying a little bit darker, so it is giving me a little bit more depth to this coloring here. It looks really good. Like I said, it looks like color pencils. Thanks. Uh, I like Jess's Memphis low voice. I don't need specific names. I like Jess's Kira voice. I think Jess could have just been such a great voice. You've always said that. Just, yes. Voice actress. Totally, yes. Yes. Uh, Dan, where is your where is your other arm, Dan? On the paintings. Like, never mind, like, I don't have an ear. <laughs> it's or, like, straight down in his that, side, completely in line with his that, body. That neck can't hold up. That neck can't hold up that head, nor do I have clothes on. <laughs> but yeah, I was looking at that. I was like, yeah, I guess where is my other arm? No, it's just sideways pose. There's no arm. And I stopped before the ears. I can't draw ears. Even though I have two, I can't see them, so... You know, I can't. Uh, maybe it's hinting at Dan's insecurity of the pen's lack of goalie for the season. Man, we're in trouble this year. We're in trouble. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not happy, but it's okay. And we got fantasy hockey coming up soon. Uh, I think the week, the first week of October on Saturday at like 9 in the morning, West Coast time. I think we're going to have a live draft if that works for everybody. Marco, what's up, fam? What's up, dude? Hello, uh, we've Marco. been painting today. It's been a lot of fun. We've been painting. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, Mooch is actually you know completely falling what asleep I here. need to do. I will log in, and it'll be like a draft. It'll like show all your players you get to select and stuff. It'll be so cool. Are you getting Jason in on it? Did he say he was going to play? Uh, Jason did say he would play. Yes. Yes, he did. All right. So I need to, like, paint this whole... This whole shebang. Need that super chat? A mouse queen with the super... Mouse queen with the super chat. Hey, Mr. Philman! Mouse queen. Enough. I don't have it, though. Oh, what was it? Matthews. It was Matthews, and I don't remember what the other guy's name was. Hunter. Hunter? Was it in my office, in my bedroom? Oh, he was an extra neighbor, so... Over the fence now. Over the fence. Over the really short fence now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Steve, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be fun. Uh, PJ with the super chat. Hold Thanks, on, PJ. Ken with the sour. Dude, Steve, check this out. Ken says, let's go Sabres. I'm only giving you a hard time, but I'm so thankful that you like hockey, so hooray. But, <laughs> oosh, unpopular opinion. Uh, PJ with the Super Chat. So Crystal said, picture a star. I pictured a star. What made me... Uh, oh, excuse me. I pictured a star that made me think of a trip to the moon that led to Star Wars, that led to real wars, <laughs> that led to World War One, that led to... And now he's having flashbacks. Romanov, the led to Romanov mystery. What is Romanov mystery? <laughs> I'm not sure. But I what love that. I love the train of thought. Trains of thought are so weird. How it what just like you rabbit hole within your own brain. 
I'm from Buffalo. Well, keep at your team. And if you want in on the fantasy hockey, if you're a hockey dude, you'd have to stay up on it, though. Uh, we're I'm collecting only people that actually know what's going on. Phil Brooks is here. Oh, my gosh. How do you make time during your pay-per-view to come say hi? I'm excited for Blackhawks to play with our new goalie from Las Vegas. Look, that goalie was from Pittsburgh. We <laughs> drafted him number one. He's our goalie. And the fact – you should be mad, too. The fact that our ex is in that red garb. We should we should boycott we should be it, it makes me sick, it it just makes me sick and cross my arms. Okay, can I put you in your bed? It's ridiculous. Can... <laughs> but I am excited for hockey to start. OMG, Phil Brooks. Uh, Mouse with the super chat. Reed shoots. Reed shoots spit wads at my head from behind. I could see him doing that. <laughs> I could see him being in a mischief. Mischievous Reege. Oh, I'm just loving your colors. Thanks. It's, it kind of looks like tie-dye to me. Does it? Yeah, do you see it? Am I crazy? It looks like color pencils. I'm digging it. Are you having a good time? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Are you happy? It. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm going to go back in with some yellow now. I'm going to mix more, some more yellow and do what I just did with the pink, but with the yellow. I'm not really sure what's going to happen here in the middle. Ooh, Phil says I'm at Riot Fest. Oh Very my gosh. envious. Look, man. Wait, oh that, wait, that was Fire Fest. <laughs> Very different. Riot Fest is, uh, Riot Fest is uh, a really awesome concert that is, I believe, going on all weekend. Chicago? I think it's a, uh, I think it usually happens in Chicago. Yeah. I could is be that, wrong, but yeah, I think are so. There, are you there right now? Me or him? No. Uh... <laughs> um, I know that Alkaline Trio was playing this weekend. I think they played yesterday, maybe last night though. I could be wrong on that, but I thought I saw them post about that. Is there not a grain when it comes to... Oh, that didn't do anything. No, you just pick a direction. It's, it's like textured. There's not a grain. Uh, Phil says my friend Lars is playing. Lars from Metallica? The Napster famous Lars? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Steve. That was the guy playing Metallica on the horns. Like a circus seal. On the horns like a circus seal. Like a circus seal. seal. Yeah. He was nailing it. I don't even know what He was nailing it. It's Lars. Steve, if you don't know who Phil Brooks is, you gotta Google Phil Brooks. Dude. Like Mussolini and Kennedy. I don't know who Mussolini is. It's not the thing with the worms for the head. <laughs> That's Medusa. Yeah? Eh. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's worms. I think it's snakes. All right. Okay. So I got some painting on that one. Tristan says Riot Fest is in Kentucky. Is that a fact? So she would know. Her lipstick's redder than anybody else's lipsticks. So she'd know. All right, Foxy. Uh, I oh saw my your, God! I saw your picture of your family come up again over there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Foxy Koala's hedgehog. Is that a painting or is that for real? That is amazing. Is that a painting? That's a painting. No way. Do one day Girl. She, she posted a zebra and I asked her if it was real or not. Wow. Girl. You win. Wow. Did everybody put your paintbrushes down. Uh, We're done. I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> wow. That's legit amazing. I am super impressed. Good job. Good job. Oh, I was looking at uh, Riot Fest. Brittany says, thank you for the super chat, friend. Uh, I don't know if Dan told you, but I mailed a care package for you, Dan, for you, Dan and the kitties. There's some surprises for you in there. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yay. I'm excited. And I did check the mail t today. Well, actually, we'll go after this and check it. Okay, so this is done. I just got to find my... Uh, Riot on. Fest is a three-day festival in Douglas Park in Chicago. Let's see what the lineup is. Oh hey, what about what about your band and Good Charlotte and the tour? You guys. So on Thursday, I went and met Roger. Right, talked with him. He hugged me. I say that because I didn't go in for the hug. He went in for the hug. He hugged me. I'm not really a hugger. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. 
They posted that they will not be doing a stretch of the tour because somebody in their entourage uh, came up positive. Like, five days after I hugged the dude. Uh, Six was days? It, was it the COVID ginger strain? <laughs> All I could think was, God, I hope it wasn't him. So, yeah, yay. Be careful out there, guys. Does paint come off the shirt? Yeah, go get... No, no, stop picking at it. Go get a uh, wet paper towel and get it really wet. Let's see. Yes, okay, so Alkaline Trio is Thursday night. You like them, yeah? I love Alkaline Trio. Did not like seeing them in concert at Warp Tour because it was a very girly audience that just wanted to, like, touch the lead singer. Like, they were all about, like... And so they were in front of you. <sighs> yes. Yes. And I lost an earring. Uh, one of my plugs fell out during Alkaline Trio. And I went back to try to find it, and everybody's like, you're not going to find an earring here, because nobody, nobody disperses. Uh, at Warp Tour, it would go one stage, the other stage, like side by side for the two main stages. So everybody's standing there waiting for the next band, and I'm trying to find my earring, and they're like, you're not going to find it. I'm like, it's a half an inch thick. I think I can find it. And uh, I think I did find it, actually. So today we've got uh, Dropkick Murphy's Rancid, Taking Back Sunday, Rise Against... Run the Jewels? I don't even know who that is. Hmm. I feel so old when I look at festival lineups and I'm you like, like oh, the Flaming stuff. Lips. Oh <laughs> like, I know them. Devo. I know Devo. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I for sure know Rancid and Dropkick. I've heard of Rise Against and Taking Back Sunday. Don't know anything about them. Uh, no Effects played last night and Smashing Pumpkins. Sublime with Rome. Bunch of people I've never even heard of at all. Oh, Fishbone. I saw Fishbone. Do you remember YPIA out here, the Young People's Institute of Art? Mm. That was like a, an art high school uh -oh. that was out here. It was like next to the Pizza Hut in Lancaster. Like there was a building behind the Pizza Hut. Uh -oh. um, That's cool. I only knew about it because I dated a guy who went there, but it was like a private school for artsy kids, I guess. And one time my friend Lauren rented it out. Like, her mom rented it out for her for her birthday, and she had bands play, and her cousin is in Fishbone. So I got to see Fishbone at, like, some small little oh, birthday party, I guess. Oh, Newfound Glory was there. Not less than Jake, though. And Simple Plan, oh my gosh, from back in the day. I'm going to try one of these times, and we'll see. Audio is back, Steve said. Small picture. Okay, so they can see and hear us now? Yeah. Oh, yay. Hi, guys. Sorry. Um, I think my extension cord that I use to, like, with the lawnmower, it's done. It, as soon as I wiggled it a little bit, it shut everything off. Sorry. But it completely shut off the computer. It's currently being used for the computer. It's, well, the, the computer there's no powers. lawnmower in no, the picture. No, yeah. I used it, yeah. So it completely powers off, like, everything to the hub. Sorry. <laughs> Hannah with a super chat. Oh, as we say in the Midwest. Hey, yeah. I say that too. Um, apparently, I figured out my mom says that, so that's part of my vocabulary, apparently. Is it? Yeah. 
Yeah, like if I bump into somebody, I say, oh. Audio good, right small picture, big left picture, not there. Okay, yeah, Dan's working on that one. Oh, well, in real life, hello, uh, says, you're still going? Wow, we're sitting in Mackinac City waiting for the traffic after the semi-truck parade to let up so we can go home. But hi, hello, thanks for joining us right in the middle of a, a little bit more technical difficulties because it wouldn't be an RFS fam stream without it. Ooh, it is none of these, it is like not happy. No. Nothing's happy at all. It did not want to lose power. It did not, it did not want to just shut itself down. And I thought maybe she just needed some more liquor. Uh, Walton says, I'll replay this tomorrow or the next day and paint my hibiscus. Awesome. Yes, when you do, please post it. Start 20 minutes in. Yeah, start 20 minutes in because we did have some technical difficulties. But I would say about an hour, hour and 20 minutes in. I don't know. What time did Chris get here? 10 minutes after, before Chris got here, there was some uh, pretty good conversation going on you might want to catch up on because there was some entertaining storytelling. Can I help with anything? No, I'm good. Just keep it. Okay. <laughs> Mouse says Dan's computer needs more liquor. <laughs> Yeah, I won't argue with that. I think Dan might need some liquor after this. Oh, no, I'm good. This one particular leaf or petal I am not happy with at all. I'm trying to make it work, but I'm just not feeling it. Thank you guys for hanging around during that uh, technical difficulty. Mm -hmm. I was trying to type in the chat what was happening, but Dan has me set up on this little netbook to see the chat and the spacing on the keyboard is wrong. So I home row type and use the spacing of a normal keyboard and it's not. So I just kept mashing all kinds of wrong letters and it took me about five Dang. tries. No home row, bro. <laughs> oh geez, Dan. No, Steve, the router is not plugged into that extension cord. <laughs> I don't know what's what's plugged in there. Is the whole computer everything powered? The barge is. But the whole no, barge? The Uh, Mouse says, did you catch my updated art that I posted? I did not. Give me just a moment here to get to a stopping point and I will go and check that out. I'm trying to get this yellow done because this paint is starting to dry out.
I wish you guys could see what I'm doing right now because I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling it. <laughs> it's it's going well. I wasn't too sure about how the colors were blending at first, but I think they're coming together, although it still just reminds me of tie-dye. The computer just can't handle all this stuff. Yeah. I don't, I think, I don't know. Sometimes it does. We are asking a lot of it. We've got three different cameras running and... Still, like, you know, sometimes it does great and sometimes it just doesn't want to try. Same can be said about me. Uh, well, in real life says the parade was an hour and 21 minutes long. Longest I've ever seen with this parade. I was so nervous my phone would die or my memory would fill up, but I made it. I film it every year. That's awesome. What's the parade for? Like, it's not a holiday. Is it just celebrating Michigan? Because y'all just do that out there all the time. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure what this means. I'm sure it's directed at you. Time for that NVME from Steve. I want more, at this point, at this point, I don't even want a hard drive anymore, a faster hard drive. At this point, I want more juice. I just want more power, like, I want more slots because it doesn't like, all these all these USB things start conflicting and then I have to start like unplugging them and plugging them into different slots. Morrissey was playing at Riot Fest on Thursday night. Oh Do you think gosh. he had band-aids over get, his nipples? Yeah, get your get your electrical tape out. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Sweet. Oh, that was brutal to try to get back. There you go. I got it. I got it now. Thanks for your patience. I'm sorry. Good grief. There we go. There we go. Uh, Steve says there's got to be a conflict in the USB controller. Um, uh, you are Chris's hero, by the way. No, oh, thanks. <laughs> Uh, Christine posted the chopping broccoli skit. I added that, approved that on the RFS family page. And PJ posted the video about the Romanov mystery. We'll have to watch that later. I hope that it is not that Bailey Sorian chick, because everybody was talking about how great she was. Who? The the monotone chick that tells her stories oh, like that. She's got a great look. I think visually. you wanted to like fight her. Um, can't stand listening to her tell a story. I just can't. Uh, Mouse Queen wrapping up the line art on this one. Two of the goodest boys. Here is her art. So good. That's good. awesome. That's so Great good. job, friend. Good job. Uh, Hannah wants to know if she should go for more liquor or, liquor or no. Who yeah. are you asking? Yes. If the alternative <laughs> is that you're going to go to bed, then yes, get more liquor. <laughs> uh, t uh, Wilton in real life says it's for the rich. The parade is for the Richard Crane Memorial Truck Show in St. Ignis. Did I say that right? Yeah. The trucks have glowing lights all over them. Interesting. Don't even know what a Richard Crane is or why he has a memorial truck show. The guy from Seinfeld? No, that's Kramer. Uh, Amanda, not not Amanda Gingrich. I don't know if I should say people's full names just because it's on Facebook. If you're in the group, you're going to see it. If you're here, um, you're probably in the there group. Are but full names on uh, YouTube. This Amanda is not. Okay. It's not Amanda, Chris and Amanda, Amanda. I, you know, it's just, just, just... That's what, yeah, I never know. So, an Amanda that is not Chris and Amanda, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda number two says, uh, I, I painted fake pumpkin. Don't, please don't call her Amanda number two. Like, <laughs> we, that's... No, I am only because we had conversations about how I'm Crystal and then Crystal the animal lover is Crystal number two. No. Wait, I'll, if there's another Dan, I'll gladly be Dan number two. <laughs> you can, You'll always be Dan number two and, in my book. And y'all, you, uh, you can be the first Dan. Uh, well, in real life says, all I know is a, who's a guy who died. <laughs> I would have assumed so. So, cool. I, I guessed correctly. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to leave this for a sec. I have to use the restroom and get more drink. Entertain the masses. I'm trying to, I've been trying to paint, I've been trying to paint coats on this purple thing here. 
Dan, I got my GoPro updated the other day. It seemed to work fine Thursday. I called GoPro and they had to help me. Might get a Hero 9 Black. They any good? Um, I can't vouch for the 9s. The 8s are pretty good. Like, I like the 8s. I like my 7. The 9s are a little bit bigger, so I'm just kind of like, whatever. So you'll like it. The 10s just came out. Just ordered a 10, which they kept the same form factor, which is good. So the new 10 has most of the stuff in the 9. Uh, so definitely if the 9's going to be on sale right now, pick up a 9. Yeah, so they're all solid right now. I love me Look at it. It's like, it's doing really well. And I have it zoomed in too. It is doing really well. You know, uh, I didn't need anything else to uh, use it for a webcam. So I'm enjoying its versatility. I love it for vlogging. You're not going to be able to do anything that's further than how far you can cast. Not even that. Maybe even three quarters of your cast. That's it. It's just in this little bubble. No focus or nothing. But it's always there. And it's always, it's, it's good. It's good. I love it. So the nine's fine. Uh, the nine, you know, the, the nine's fine. Jess loves her nine. She didn't complain about it at all. This is Jess's eight. I have the Jess because my seven was broke. So this is the eight. And I love it. I think, I don't even think I'm going to buy the ten. I think I'm just going to throw Jess a couple bucks and just take her eight off of her hands. Because the ten, like I said, came out three days ago, which Jess already ordered. And uh, it's the same as the nine. So, or not, the, uh, there's a little difference, but it's the same form factor and stuff, same accessory. So, yeah, get a nine because you're going to get it at the least expensive price you can get it at right now. I have an eight and I love my eight. I love it. I love it. I mean, unless you have a high end computer that's going to be able to render like 4K video at 60 frames per second, then it doesn't matter. Steve said, luckily that there's only one Steve. That's because you right click and ban all the other Steves. Mm -hmm. No homers. That's, that's part of the right as a mod, right? Is banning, the part of the right as a mod is banning other people with your name? Yeah. Huh. I didn't know it's that. Written rule. Okay, so this one's all done. Yay. This one's all done too. Come on, I love it. I love it. I'll write my name on it. And then uh, now back to I'll your mess flower? with the purple. Thing. No, the flower, like that's, I'm gonna paint over that thing and start over or something. I painted, a, I painted something even cooler. I painted a picture of me happily painting the flower and I nailed it in this photo. You know? Fair enough, I cannot argue with mm -hmm. that. Yeah, so I nailed it. I think I, I think I nailed this one. Crystals is looking, Crystals is looking really sharp over here. I'm liking, I'm liking this. Looks good, Dan, thanks, thank you. Thank you. Hey, we've been going for four. We've been going for four straight hours. Oh my gosh! But crystals, look at her go. This looks really good. But I'm not gonna paint that other painting. That was fr that was fr where's the camera? That was fr frustrating. I don't want to paint paint flowers. But instead of just like taking my ball and going home, like I did something else that made sense to me and it was fun. And I get to send it to Brittany because she sent me that awesome kit. So I'm gonna send her back that. Uh, I'm gonna send her back that painting, and then she can remember the time that I like I gave up on painting the flower, but I didn't give up on painting the painting um, with the flower. Also, look how much better the background looks when you paint something on top of it, so you don't care about the background. Like you're not staring at it. I like that. I like that. Yeah, the nine should be on sale anyways. Yeah, the ten is three ninety nine. I think so. Yes, just I think that's what it is. So if you can get the nine for less than three hundred, it's good. I would imagine towards the end of the year they're either going to be three forty nine with a like a memory card, a year subscription to something service. But if you can get them down to two ninety nine, it's fine. Uh, it's hard to find like when I was selling GoPros you make nothing so when I was selling the GoPro the top of the line GoPro I was making about 30 bucks on it so even when I would be able to get stuff from GoPro itself it still was like there was no like cost break so that's why you, for a lot of GoPro products you'll see like at Target you'll see like GoPro $2.99 plus $50 Target gift card because they can give you a gift card but they can't reduce the price so Target's gonna eat that money um, but they want you to go to them to buy it. So like, I couldn't sell GoPros at the bike shop because I couldn't give a $50 gift card to the bike shop while you buy a GoPro, that's ridiculous. So it's, you know, you might as well just buy it from the dot .com. Time to put AJ to bed, bye Chris, have a good night, say good night to Amanda for me. Wow, 10 is 650 Canadian, really? Damn. I wasn't a fan of Jess's nine um, form factor. Because it was like a little bit bigger, but it has a front, 
facing camera so you can see what you're doing in front of you uh, which is really cool. I love the A, and, and the 9s and the 10s are great. Like, they're great. But I just loved how uh, compact the 8 was. Dang, $650 Canadian. Really? That's crazy. That's crazy a lot of money. I'll probably have to go through GoPro to get the $100 discount they gave me. Yes, then yes, go through it because like I said, you're not really gonna find it cheaper anywhere else. You're just gonna find maybe a gift card or two at like a Target or a Best Buy or something like that uh, if they're trying to reduce the prices on it. I like the background of Dan's painting, thank you. I'm so not talented. Sally, me too. That's why I gave up on that other painting. I didn't want to. I'm gonna paint over that canvas like white or I'll, I'll paint, you know, and like do something else with it another time. Like I'll just use it for something else. Or I will eventually get good at blending and I will come back to that and, and clean up my painting. But I don't have the skills to make it look the way I want to. So, and like I said, you know, instead of being like, I have no skills, I just went and did something of the skills I do have, which I was learning to blend and then I drew my skill level over the top of me. So I have Sally's photo she posted to Facebook. Or her painting. There's oh, Sally's. That she looks said, great. ugh, at least I tried. I love it. Um, I it's love like, the colors. It's like spot color almost. It's Can vibrant. It, I'm not sure what you're unhappy with about yeah, it, yeah, but like, I'm gonna give you, some unsolicited what did, advice. What did you want? It looks good. Yeah. Um, my advice would be if you want to add some depth to it, if that's the part you're not happy with, go in real light. Get get some paint on your brush and then like this is what I've been doing going in here because it was too the color was too it's called spot colory like too blocky it didn't blend very well so what I do is I go in with like I got some yellow on my brush here and then wipe it all off so you have barely any on there and then go back over it and go in like this so go in where you have your your highlights around the edges and go in with a similar pink or the same pink and just kind of go in and blend it real lightly once it runs out on your brush do the same thing again don't go in like you're painting a solid line you want to go in with light little bits in there to blend the colors the yellow was real blocky in here when i first did it and then went back and did the pink so i worked my way inward and then back outward again and as long as you haven't sealed your painting, you can always add to it. That's the great thing about acrylic paints. Just go back to it and start again and add some more bits to it. You know, I want to soften this bit where the pink looks a little too, like the lines are too solid. So I just wipe the paint off your brush. That's what all these mushy bits here are where I've been wiping the paint off the brush. And just go in and soften it up a little bit around those edges. Um, those bits that come out from the center, same thing. So where you want it to be darker that's where you want to put your brush and drag it outward and the paint will come off your brush until your brush has hardly any paint off on it at all so that's what i did going out from the center um dark out to light and then when i'm going in with the yellow i'm going from where it's solid yellow down kind of wisping it in there just to soften those lines a little bit and again don't know if that's part of what you were unhappy with but that's my unsolicited advice for softening it i nodded my head for my root beer and then you didn't bring it oh i was kind of holding up like is this yours and i drank it oh I, yeah it's mine and i wanted it <laughs> uh chris is putting the kid to bed thank you all for being amazing thank you for being amazing Bye, tell night. aj we said good night and thanks amanda. for hanging out guys uh, amanda, i don't know if amanda's already passed out or what uh, Doris is really loving my flower. Thank you. Me too. I think you're doing great on that crystal. I'm trying. The fan's really drying out the paint quick. Yes. Yeah, that does not help. It's really hard here to paint in the summertime because the swamp cooler is always on. And unless you want to just be sweating the whole time, you have to have the swamp cooler blowing on you. So it's hard to paint in the summertime. You always have a fan. The swamp cooler's not on now, but the ceiling fan is, and that's not helping either. Uh, Sally says, I will work on it and I'm not giving up. Yeah, just keep playing with it till you're happy with it. Again, the more you play around with the paints, the more you get a feel for how things work and can learn to do the things that you want it to do. Uh, AJ said, good night, Miss Crystal. Marco says, I might have a cube GoPro to donate. Like an old school cube, like that old school GoPro cube. Cause I have Marco, I have the, I have the car that the RC or the um, Hot Wheel that it goes on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Remember that Hot Wheel? I have the Hot Wheel that goes on. We can get a Hot Wheel track and put it on the Hot Wheel track. Almost 
fell into everything. Oh, sorry, that that, that goes over the cable so you don't fall. Yeah, well, it is not over the cables, and I almost fell on it. it uh, it's 8.05. How you feeling? Are you finishing this tonight, or is this another unfinished project? I'm hoping to finish it. I don't know. How are long you, are we going? Are you wearing out? No, I'm good. I just had no concept oh. of what time it was. Uh, no, I don't know. Like, I'm good. I'm just painting. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like you've finished, so I'm just kind of well, th- dragging no, us out. In theory, the theory, it's never finished because... Uh, because what, Dan? Because I wasn't good at it. Oh. I think you gave up entirely too quickly. Um, I think I, I want more time painting with blends and stuff. Like you weren't ready for this. I yet. wasn't ready for this. It was way above my skill level. So I learned to blend. Look how look look how fun that blend. You is. did a really good job so on ha- that. Like I said, I made myself happy. I just did what I could do, and then I'll figure that out. And then now I'm painting stuff because I'm having fun. Well, as long as you're enjoying yourself. I'm really glad that everybody paints along with us and is enjoying this. That's you know we started doing the stuff the Dantics. And obviously there's interaction there. And we started doing the baking and Amanda suggested people baking along with us. And that's when we realized like, oh, it's really fun when people do stuff along with us. So we've been trying to come up with more things that that people can play along with. And uh, I I think this is a good one. I'm excited for the stuff we have coming up next month. Me too. Yeah, me too. That you guys don't know about. That was like a teaser trailer. (laughs) Do you have fresh white? Uh, yeah, right here. No, I'll get my own white. Why? You don't like my white? It's fine. Can you use my white? <laughs> no! What'd you do? I splooged the. Okay, go get it. I splooged the block. No, no, stop. Take this. Go get it wet. Go get it wet. You can always correct it. If you blob paint on there, just get it wet. You've seen us do it before. When Dan smashed his hand into the painting, you can always save it. Acrylic paints are great and very forgiving. What do I do to do it on here? Just wipe it off. Yeah. There you go. You guys can see uh, how forgiving this is going to be. give it a second to like let it breathe uh doris says the interaction has been great awesome i'm glad you're enjoying it dawn says she'll be painting all night it's been a good year like we've had a good year it's been fun you know what's funny so again facebook just tells me like hey you should click on this and then i do and i'm reading things and one of them was like ideas for date night i'm like oh what kind of fun things did they have like did they think of something i've never thought of before and you know what kind of things they suggested for date night Hmm. uh paint night Watching the like antics. painting together, um, trivia, hmm. cooking together, <laughs> like literally all the things that we do on our shows. Right. So this is pretty much date night that we invite like 50 to 100 of our friends to join us. I'm really curious what's going to happen on Thanksgiving this year. <laughs> Meaning? I've always, I've always talked about live streaming Thanksgiving from like sun up to like food done, like all the hours of us making the stuff. And I was trying to figure it out. It's like, well, Thanksgiving's going to be here this year. Thanksgiving's here every year, but go uh, ahead. I don't know if there's any really sports fall or anything that I really watch that's too loud. Nobody really comes over. My mom comes. Yeah, but Her friend on, Sharon might come. Yeah, but they sit on the couch and talk on the phone or play on the phone. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe this is the year where, like, we go all year. Because I know there's going to be at least some people that are, like, not going anywhere this Thanksgiving. Right. So maybe this is the... Who, who out there would be interested in that? Well, everybody's going to say, yeah. <laughs> Darn, we've been having dates and I didn't know that. I know, right? <laughs> Communal date night, right. See, you know what it's like right. to go out with a girl. Dan and you're, Crystal. you're out with all kinds of girls right now. Dan and Crystal plus eight. <laughs> e. 80. 80. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess we're all going on dates with Crystal and Dan. That's great. I really like your painting, Crystal. I Thanks. really, really, really like your painting. I really enjoy doing flowers as much as, like, I don't necessarily like to decorate my house with 
flower art. I really enjoy painting flowers. I really enjoy blending the colors. And look, this whole thing I've done with one paintbrush. I might switch to a different one for different parts, but so far I've just used this same one just sideways, just to do little bits of lines. Grumpy Mooch does not want your water. No, he's so grumpy. Dude, the other day I was eating a piece of food and he came up and tried to just straight eat it out of my hand. He does that. It was a pizza or something that we were eating and he's just like, it's mine. And he just started eating it. It was chicken. You had some sort of, uh, that, the chicken strips that my mom got you. Right? Hold on, let me just... The mouse goes to Super Chat. I'll give a small snippet of my story or a small plot bit. Jax is very attached to his big brother as before. However, something will happen to Apollo and Jax will have to learn on his pack, will have to lean on his pack for support. Hold on, Mooch just walked across everything and turned it all gone again. Oh, fun. Thanks, Mooch. I'm so sorry. Hold on a second here. There we go. Okay, I'll give a small snippet of my story or a small plot bit. Jax is very attached to his big brother as before. However, something will happen to Apollo and Jax will have to learn on his pack for Lean. support. Lean on his pack for support. Well, how about this? Can Apollo go to uh, space camp? Me and Steve <laughs> were talking about going to space camp. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh. Uh, Apollo, yeah, Apollo uh, should go to space camp. Um, um, BRM yeah. Bug wants to know what color do you plan on using for the background? I'm not quite sure yet. The original painting that we're using for a template had um, basically kind of like what Dan did here with the orange going down into the yellow, but because I changed the flower color to do a yellow, I think a good contrast will probably be a blue. So I think I might go with something like, and it looks much brighter on here, it's like a baby blue. Um, I think I might do that around the, the outside because I'm only gonna have a little bit here and here and a couple of little spots. So I'm thinking a blue. <laughs> So everybody's down to hang out for Thanksgiving. Steve's, you know, Canadians don't have it that day. But would you, you guys don't get that day off? You know, you guys don't get our Thanksgiving off? Why would they? Do we get their Thanksgiving off? No, but I'm American, so like... So everybody should be like you. <laughs> like, right. Like uh, Uncle Yukon says, what's the thing for Thanksgiving? I missed the beginning of that discussion. Just like the live stream, you know, it'd be on for, it'd be on for six hours, eight hours, 12 hours. A lot know, of cooking. That's a lot of that's a lot of no f bombing. That's a, <gasps> while I'm cooking. You can f bomb, but that's Thanks. A, you know. Thanks, Dan. But I'd have all the cameras set up around the kitchen. There's a lot of stuff that gets made. It'd honestly probably be a lot of fun. Probably. So we'll see. But I've been, I've been kicking that around for a while. We're far out from that, but I've been kicking that around for a while. Of maybe of maybe a Thanksgiving dinner. Team America, see. He's taking that day off. Yeah? Yeah. My American friend says, I gotta, says I gotta take that off. Is that still fresh white right there? Yeah. You need to read that super chat because it's okay. related to what you asked. Mouse with the super chat. Apollo is a police dog, so he's often in the line of danger dealing with street dogs who don't follow street laws. Okay, so you're heading down the pack that the dog's gonna die. <laughs> and that's Dang. fine, but at least if you're gonna make the dog die in the police force, can he at least be a lethal weapon style where it's Danny Glover's last day in the force? You know? Maybe it's his last day. I still say he should go off to space camp. You know? Oh, Dan. Okay, I'm up for that. I don't do anything for Thanksgiving. I'm in for Thanksgiving. Yeah, see? Uh, Liz says I'll probably be working most likely. I'll t I call in sick for uh, RFS Thanksgiving. You know? Okay, the problem I'm having is oh, the geez. white paint is getting dry. I'm picking this blue for a second because I want that white. So, and I just want a pen stroke. So, I, it's not sticking to the end. It's like this isn't tipping. Do you have a fine enough brush? It's fine. Is it? Is yes. it, Dan? 
uh, Steve says their Thanksgiving is October 11th. That's before Halloween. Do you guys celebrate Halloween? What's, like, look, to me, Canada, like, y'all are so similar. There's nothing where I'm like, oh my god, what do you do in Canada? Like you would with, like, you know, Australia or something. Y'all have, like, winter the same time we have winter, summer the same time we have summer. But then there's weird stuff where I'm like, do you have Halloween? Is that a, a universal thing? I don't know. Right, because freedom was on its way down from north to south, so it got to Canada before it got to us. So that's why they have their Thanksgiving before us. <laughs> Is that why? We're right because it was like it was above. freedom moved south. <laughs> freedom moved south. I like my little paintings better, so I like. Yeah, like, are, you, are you sticking to the little ones? Yeah, look, I like little pumpkin Dan. I like my little topo paintings. <laughs> Is that pumpkin Dan? Yeah, and then like a topo. Corner says, oh, uh, OMG, I have entered it again. I was in a dead zone for a bit. Ooh. No worries. We were in a dead zone for a second there, too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Steve said yes, and probably my favorite emoji that's just like, mm, meh. <laughs> <laughs> Mouse going, and yes, you've already seen Terrier Reach. He's in the story, too. Come and get me. Someone needs to go to space. <laughs> that's a different story. Oh, well, Dan, you're killing me here. <laughs> in a help in a good way. <laughs> Steve said, who doesn't have Halloween? I don't know. Again, you yeah. you saw when we discussed uh, what they do, or more importantly, do not teach us here in American schools. Like, we don't know. Oh, man. Look at the. I don't know what. This is like This is like seven or eight years old. Hi-ho, this is Current D Frog Dan. I don't know what's going <laughs> on with that. I don't know what's going on with that, but you know what? I might just work with it. Yeah. At, yeah, that's weird. And look at this other weird depiction of me. I drew this. Oh, look, that's when I had chin hair. <laughs> that's Retro Dan. Is that Retro Dan? I still have that. I still have my... I still have my robot I was working on. I have this robot. I love the robot. But I haven't touched that in like 10 years. No, maybe like 8 years. Steve says, it's just weird to me since we learned so much about the U.S. in addition to Canada. Yeah, we don't really. Yeah, not until we go to war with you. No. And, and we even to... then, we only learn our side. Like, seriously, I was not kidding when they teach us America F. Yeah. We learn about our role in things. We don't really learn a whole lot about what happens in other countries, you know, aside from the World War II stuff that's, you know, obvious, I would hope. Um, yeah, they don't, they don't teach us. Hannah says, we, my dad and I, don't have anyone to celebrate Thanksgiving or Christmas with. It's just each other. OMG. <laughs> each other. What the heck? What the heck, girl? Yeah, maybe we're going to Thanksgiving it up. There's, a lot of, there's nobody that was like, I got plans. <laughs> the more I put on here, the more I just keep thinking tie-dye. I'm loving it. I think that's great. You did go to war with us. War of 1812. Yeah, they didn't teach us that. <laughs> no, like, that's not true. Um, they for sure, like, I know there was a war in 1812. Couldn't have told you it was with Canada. We burned down your White House. Oh, and then oh we, yes, I do remember that the White House was burned down. It was probably it was probably a janky 1.0 White House. I feel like the American school system does us a real disservice in that it's um, they teach to test. Look. So it's very much memorize this information for the test. Now move on to this next information and memorize this for the test. And now move on to this and memorize this for the test. They don't teach you in a way that like they want you to retain the information any longer than to pass a test. You know, I like to bash on it. I'm sure you're right. But even if they did, I just straight up didn't pay attention. That's fair. It just didn't click with me. I just didn't connect. It just, I just needed to play video games and hockey and do my thing and like I can't even like handle my own life <laughs> and you know and they were trying to teach you about the war of 1812 it was just weird stuff from back in the like conquistador days I'm like that's cool I mean it's, it, it but now it's super fascinating all of it super fascinating but kid Dan psh, kid Dan didn't care but adult Dan I do think because it's all new to me uh, so I do think it's it's neato. It's neato. It is. It's neato. That darn war of 1812. That's neato. Right. Right. I wasn't there. I didn't do it. You don't give. I you know. I didn't do it. 
Canada was still a British colony at the time, but plenty of settlers had been here over a hundred years. And now I watch Hamilton, like all the British colony people are running around spitting. It's like <laughs> they're spitting everywhere. Like that was just the King of England. Yeah, that's from the same place, right? I don't want. I don't. I don't know. England is the same place as Canada. No, Britain. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, let's get out of Mouse Queen Swords. Jax, meanwhile, has been raised by his brother, and while he's while he's young and he hangs out with a pack that looks out for young orphan pups, lol, yes, I'm lining things up for Apollo to sacrifice himself. Why can't it be like, there's this dog, and he's great and happy all the time, and there's no strife in his life, <laughs> and he gets from A to B with no problems. Oh, Mouse Queen, did you see the movie trailer for Clifford the Big Red Dog? That looks so crazy. It was the big red dog. It did look crazy. It was, yes. Oh, Crystal, your flower is so pretty, says Koru. Thank you. Nancy says, growing up in Detroit, we learned some Canadian customs since we can see Canada across the Detroit River. Yeah, I just don't feel like they teach us to retain things. I don't recall. <laughs> oh. Well, there you have it. Oh. Are you going back to this blue, maybe? Maybe? Or, Why? Like, what are you going to do well, with it? I was going to use some of it. Oh, I absolutely. I have plenty. If not, I can. that's the second batch I mixed. I can mix more. It's just another manic dandy. Please stop singing. It was crazy. I can't believe last night I was all getting prepared in my head to like, oh, I got to like do a game show tomorrow. And then like it was paint night. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. You should check the calendar once in a while, Dan. The RFS calendar? Yeah, it's on uh, the RFS family group on Facebook. All right, so I'm going to pull up the flower that I'm using as a base, as my, my inspiration, and you guys tell me if I'm nailing it. Oh, I peeked outside uh, to see if Kamiko wanted in. You guys, it's Kumanko. Oh yeah, Kumiko is awesome. It's like double size. It's like Kumiko, but, but topo like, sized. Yeah, but Costco. It's the Costco. <laughs> Costco version. Kumiko. Costco. We version. call him Kumanko. <laughs> yeah, it's Kum it's Kumanko. Kumanko's really chill though. Kumanko likes to s sit. I I look out the the door often, and often Kumanko is either cleaning himself on top of the trash cans or on top of my car. Yes. Like making himself known. That I'm He's here. real chill. I went out there and he like did a big stretch and was chilling. Yeah. Okay, yes. so here is the photo that I'm trying to replicate. Uh huh. And here is my flower. You're getting there. Yeah. You should stop showing the photo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yours looks great, but that photo is dial a dice. It's a she, photo of an actual but flower. Die said you have to check or pick in the. Oh group. yes. Um. I'm getting there. Ooh, I love the coloring. Mouse Queen, okay, you gotta write a little book. Dude, Mouse Queen, you write books and like then you publish them on Amazon. Like you can like draw them and write the words. And then you publish them on Amazon and people buy the digital versions of them and make tons of money on it. That would be great for your story to do that, especially with your drawings. Absolutely. Let's see what Di, let's see what Di says. All right, first of all, she says she freehanded this. She did not even use the all stencil. Right. She says, four hours in and I'm done. Sigh. I love it. Um, background is blended beautifully. Nice. The flower colors are amazing. And again, it, go check out the RFS family group because the colors don't show up the same on the camera as they do in the photo. Good job, Di. But yeah, great job. Do you notice how it looks almost like my flower? Almost. Just like so close. Almost. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go in for some leaves now. Yeah? Yeah. Actually, I should probably do some background first. Let me go back to this. <laughs> oh. I started painting. I I'm started, need more I blue started soon. repurposing some of the some of my little mini canvases again. That one's already spoken for. This one, that one's this purple Gross. one's done. The purple one's done. I don't know what I'm going to do with the other ones. Dai, I think you did a great job and you should be very proud of yourself. I've been I've been standing for like all day. <laughs> you like to stand though. Oh. Don't complain. Oh. 
Oh, is Phil Brooks still here? I got to watch you last night on AEW. I didn't get to. I didn't get to watch it. We were watching. Uh, we were watching the plane ride from hell. <laughs> My light blue is done. Oh, like you're out of it? You're just about. Oh, you're so nice to let me use a smudge of your light blue. <laughs> If you want, I can, like, take the X-Acto knife and slice it open, and you can put the paintbrush inside there and take it out if you need to. Okay, thanks. No? No. No, I'm trying to, uh... Not only is it almost empty, it's also a little clumpy, so I'm just trying to make it a little creamier with a little water. Would you like new water? No, I'm good. I've changed it out twice already. I'm gonna change mine because every time I wipe it off, it's brown. Yes. Uh, Mal says, Dan Crystal, thank you so dang much for listening to my story stuff, though it seems it sometimes veers off topic from the chat. Can't wait to do more with the story. It's been fun. Um, friend, the chat veers off the chat all the time. Don't even worry about it. Feel free to bring up any and everything you guys want in the chat. I still think, well, I know you are, but you gotta package these up. You got talent and. As somebody that makes a living off of like a lot of uh, internet stuff in unconventional ways, I'm telling you, package <laughs> up a unconventional. Well, you know, like a like like a, 15 years ago, nobody you didn't like make a living doing this. Right. So still don't think unconventional is a word. Please like package that up with some like with your story and and sell it because you'll be surprised. <laughs> you'll be surprised. People will pay uh, to to have your stories. You know, and that's. And that's awesome to be in charge of like your own creativity. Today I was in charge of mine when I made a stick figure Dan being creative. Like stick figure Dan had his own creativity and he's satisfied with it. He's satisfied with it. And real Dan is satisfied with stick figures Dan's yeah, satisfaction. It, it is, it is because I didn't like my, I didn't like my version of this. Look at my wish.com flower. <laughs> so I'm gonna end up just painting this whole canvas. I'm learning too. Look at that. Bam. One coat. It's done. It was a different color a minute ago. I'm going to paint this whole canvas to something else and paint something over it something else some, some other time. Maybe one day I'll have the blend down, but I'm not too, con I'm, I honestly, I'm not too concerned. I think from now on, like when I tackle these things, I'm going to tackle them like spot color-y and then see what I can do after just to like paint. Yeah. Yeah. Next month's painting though will be a little, uh... A little more basic. A little less, in a little, a lot less intensive as far as blending this stuff goes. You know, I do dig that blue though. I know it doesn't show up really well on the GoPro zoomed in camera there, but that's a really good blue. Yeah, it's a uh, what did I use? Yeah. Light blue that's permanent a with a little bit of white added to it, <clears throat> just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. I think I, this is going to pop really well against the yellow and then with the green of the leaves. I already follow an art streamer and I'm working on typing the story to com the story slash comic and honestly, this started as a millionaire fanfic. Don't ask how. It's okay. It's uh, What do we talk about all the time? Uh, the thing that leads to the thing. The thing that leads to, to, to the thing. Yes, always do the thing because even if it's not the yes. thing that's the thing, it could be the thing uh, that leads to yep, the thing. Yep, you never get there from like just nothing. It's, you know, you see these people have weird jobs and stuff and like, oh, my job's to do this weird funky thing. It's like, well, you didn't just train to do that. Like 10 steps happen for you to be something, uh, to have a weird job. Like today there was like a election this like NASCAR thing and they had a camera inside the tech inspection and they were driving the cars in there and all these lasers were hitting it and they was doing measurements. And like, it was some guy's job to be the dude to make sure nobody's cheating in there. But like you don't just get hired for that in the newspaper. Like that was, right. that was you a didn't job. go to college for that. No, that was a job that led to the job led to the job. The guy that's in charge of player safety in hockey, where he determines how uh, if you hit the guy incorrectly, how many games you get suspended. A person who uh, liked hockey, started playing hockey, was a professional hockey player, retired, and had that job. The thing that leads to to, to the thing. That's what I am here. I mean, we started making videos and stuff because. Uh, I was trying to find Japanese friends to learn Japanese with, and now... And you uh, wanted to show gauche life in America. Yeah, and now, uh, you know, a lot of years later, this is the thing that I do. This is, this is what I do. 
Yeah, we never sat down and were like, let's make a channel where we can paint with some no. people from around the world. Right. Exactly, exactly. I need... I, well, here's my drink. I was like, did I? I thought I got myself some water. You know what? I went and took a picture of Command Co., but I didn't actually give him a scoop of food. Would you mind oh, putting yeah, a scoop course. out there of for course. him? I'm like, pose for the internet, but starve. He's been showing up lately every single night he's out there on the porch, waiting for his bits. <laughs> I see him. He's looking at me through the window. Oh, and Kumi, here comes Kumi. Yeah, she was out there too. Mooch is coming. He's running. Dan's out there baby talking to the stray cat. He's comfortable, but he's not trying to become any more comfortable. He kind of... I'm close to him. Yeah. Yeah, while, while I was out there, he came up a little bit closer. Like, he didn't want to be on the step, so he came up a little bit closer and stretched and sat down. He did the topo stretch. Yes. Yeah, where his butt was in the air. Yes. So, he, so he's not completely no, sketchy, but from, he's not comfortable. From maybe me to you, he turned around and stretched, and then I shook a little bit. He's like, you're a little too close. Yes. But he didn't leave the step, so he's a smart He's a smart cat. I hear him chowing down. Yeah, he shovels food like topo. Yeah. He's yeah. got to be one of topo's family. Similar coloring, same build. Yeah. They used to all be like Mooch family and stripey like that, like how Kitty is and everything. Oh, no. Now they're getting to be topo shaped. We need Dan audio feed of Dan baby talking the street cats. No, <laughs> no, no, no. No. I snitched on you and told him you were baby talking. I was. There. I was trying to be his friend. What else do you, what, what, what colors do you have over here that I can swoosh off? Um, those are all dried out. I've got, this purple is not. I you can't use my blue because I'm Can I use this pink? You can try if it's not dried out. Yeah, it just, I just need a little tiny bit of it to swoosh over this orange. Ooh, that pink base for that orange is nice. Yeah? Or, I'm sorry, the orange base for this pink is nice. Like, it it, it acted well, it acted as a nice base. All right. Bam. Easy, easy. All right, another canvas there for something. I don't know. I have a cat. I have a pumpkin dan. I'm tearing it up today for me. Look at you go. I got a blendy thing. A Paint a background for your painting canvas. No, I'm not touching. I am not touching any more anythings on that painting. <laughs> I, you know why? I am getting out while I'm happy with my painting. That is it. Try to have me go in there and make a micro blend. Girl, did you not watch what happened all the whole show? <laughs> all the whole show? <laughs> <laughs> nope, that thing's done. That is done. Sign, seal, deliver. Drop the base, yes. Whew, that's warm. You need me to fan you? Huh? Do you need me to fan you? No, you're good. I just need to sit for a second. Dan hates sitting. I know, I'm just human. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm just human. I feel like the battery is getting low there on that. Thing. Let me go find the plug so oh, I can plug that, here. plug that in. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday night. I know it's like quiet a little bit as we fade a little bit, but this is what we're doing. Part of me sometimes thinks of like low playing music, but I kind of hate that in movies and stuff when right when they have, have to play music in the I background. I kind of just want music for me. Play it in your head. How'd you know there was horns? Because it's always a lesson, Jake guy. <laughs> Did you tell him that you were painting the night since he can't go nowhere? <laughs> no. Why would I tell him that? I'm not trying to like really slide into his DMs. Although I did see earlier Chris wanted me to slide into his DMs and ask him uh, why Johnny Quest thinks we're sellouts.
Mooch. He's yelling at the other cats to get off his porch. Yeah, except for the other cats. The other cats completely unfazed. Oh, absolutely. But yeah, Mooch is all standing up like he's gonna do something about it. Mooch, you have like the moxie of Walter Matthau at this age. Like you're not doing anything at all. Mm -hmm. uh, Holly said, "Don't forget to sign your painting." Hannah also wants to know why Johnny Quest thinks we're sellout. Who said that? Who said that? that was... uh, Chris wanted to know, and now Hannah also wants to no, know. No, about my, uh, don't forget to sign my paper. Oh, Holly. Oh, the yes. Mushaberg? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll scribble. Because she's never told me if it's M. Schauberg or Mashaberg or... Usually I scribble, scribble. Usually I scribble, scribble on the back. No one wants to see a name on the front of the painting. Yeah, I never sign the front. I always sign on the back. Yeah, this one's. This one is. That's it. That's just, that's just my first time I ever tried to blend anything. You did well. I still have two pastel, two pastels, but I'm not inspired by the second. No. No, like I don't. Not inspired to like draw anything on there. I feel like I should just get out in my head. Like, look, I made two little things. I don't have to keep anything. Everything's being given away except for the cat. I'm keeping the cat until I, I don't know. Maybe I'll give that away next time. But. Like, yeah, nothing gets to stay here. Everything gets to go. Uh, Mouse Queen says, I love that flower. Thank you. Yeah, I think this is great. Sally's having a great time. Awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad we can entertain you guys and, and keep you company, and you guys are keeping us company. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I just have to hang out with Dan all the time. Right. I'm done painting. I'm not done painting, but I'm done painting. Oh, okay. So you're not done, but you're done? Yeah, like, I have nowhere to be, or, like, I'm not tired, or, like, anything like that, but, like, I'm... I, I'm I'm good right this second. Maybe if I figure out something to paint on these other two little canvases and I'm getting close to done. I've just got to finish up this blue. I don't have to do a second coat. It's quite opaque. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will do the leaves. But uh, I'm 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 like pleasantly satisfied. I mean, you know, four and a half hours later, so I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna like clean up my brushes here and hang out with you guys. I'll read some chats and. Good, because I'm getting uh, quite focused here. I legit hit a drawing block, and tonight was much needed. Yeah. Good. Yes. I have the block, not the block too, but like, I'm my brain is satisfied with thinking about painting. And I'm excited to try, I think next time, because I have more canvases, I'm just going to start blending canvases every time. I have, because I have a couple more of those flat ones. I'm going to start blending canvases every time, and then I'll just draw something different on, on each canvas. It's fun to and try it I'm with I'm just going to get better at blending. It's fun to try it with different colors and see how the different colors blend together. Um, you know, generally you want to use colors that kind of are on the similar side of the color wheel, like you have the orange and the yellow and stuff, but you can keep that going and, you know, at the top you could do some reds and stuff and it's, it's fun to blend colors. I agree. Uh, Charlotte says you should watch Black Widow, Dan. It was totally worth it. Is it? Okay, that's right. Yeah, um, I will totally watch that. I think, she was a half hour in, like, over an hour ago. I think I think maybe uh, you mentioned it was good, or you said it was good, or you were going to go watch it. Yeah, she was half hour into it. Yeah. I, uh, I'll, I'll definitely check it out. I want to see that. I do want to see Suicide, the new Suicide Squad. Uh, there's a couple other movies I, I wanted to see. Usually with the action movies, I wait for Blake. I mean, I used to go to the movies pretty frequently. Back when that was a thing people did. Yeah, back when that was a thing people did. Is it free yet? I think so. I think it's free this time now. On Disney Plus. You know what? I'll let you know right now. That's not actually free. You have to pay for Disney Plus. Uh, yes, but it was like the $30 extra. It was like $30 extra to watch it. Remember that thing? Yes. Yeah, but I do think I do think so. Like, here, I'll, I'll, I'll check real quick. See what happens when it turns on. If it turns on. Why wouldn't it? Uh, cause everything I touch <laughs> turns to poop. All right, here, I can do this over here on the on the camera. So I'm not leaving. I'm so like happy about your painting. Well, good. All right, opening up Disney Plus. I was pretty confident this one was gonna turn out well for me, just cause, like I said, I am. 
pretty uh, happy with paint and flowers and pretty decent at blending colors. You went to go get me a power cord and then you never came back with a power cord. Oh. Uh, I'm going to lose chat in a minute right. here. Okay. Uh, Charlotte says they picked it up on DVD today. Um, Steve says October 6th. Maybe that's for Canada. Maybe we got it first. Freedom might move south, but Disney movies move north. Oh, pump the brakes, George Washington. Uh, October 6th. No, well, Steve was right. October 6th. Wait, what? But what? she said she got Wait, it on DVD Did you today. see the American... Did you think the American given her? Steve was right. <laughs> <laughs> But she said she got it on DVD today. Yeah, you can go get it on DVD. Go buy it. Um, it okay, so it came out in the movie theaters and Disney Plus on the Don't same day. Don't bolt my arm, please. Right? And then, and, and then like, uh, uh, maybe a little bit later, it came out on DVD. But then, when I got it on Disney Plus, I had to have the $30. I had to buy it for $30, plus right. my plan. And then, eventually, it just comes a regular Disney Plus. But you can still buy it on DVD right now. Gotcha. Or, Blu or digital Blu-ray. If that's your thing. What are you doing? It's like over here. Way over further. Uh, Crystal the Animal Lover is back. It says, uh, oh, you unplugged the light. Love your paintings, guys. Awesome job. Thanks. <laughs> Brittany says, what's a DVD? <laughs> Something, some of the old people used to watch way back in the day. Holly wants to know if we saw the trailer for Matrix 4 and what our thoughts on it no, are. I, I did not. I, I don't I, think they knew that was going to be a thing. I didn't see it, and I didn't like the Matrix. The Matrix 1 was alright, but I just didn't. Matrix 2 and 3 was awful. And, like, me and, like, like when I worked at NASA, all the dudes there were, like, so into it, and it just was so dumb. The only thing cool about the Matrix was the fact that Part 2 and 3 came out three months apart from each other. And back then, that is unheard of in the movie industry. It's years in between things. All right, I got you the plug in. But Thanks. I just didn't. I didn't get it. Maybe I'm too stupid. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I was confused and... They shot it all at the same time. Right, right. It's just so, but like they released it together. They didn't wait a bunch of years in between. That stuff was cool. But I just, it just, I didn't, I didn't get it. Sorry, I like ran into like a bunch of hair or something. Oh, I almost drank some of that orange quick right here. <laughs> Gross. So, it's pink. I don't know. You know what? I'll watch the trailer. Do you want me to like watch it right now? And like tell you like what I think about it. Where's my earbuds? Let's watch this Matrix trailer. What happened at the end of the last Matrix? The computer locked up from all the bad rendering of the Agent Smiths. <laughs> all right, let me go find. Hey, Kamiko, let me go find uh, my headphones. Let's see what this is all about. Yeah, you gonna watch the Matrix trailer? So I have a bright green and a really dark green. I'm just gonna mix them together to try to get a green that I want for the leaves. <laughs> Kathy says, "Can you paint me a snowman, girl? It ain't snowman time. It ha it's not even pumpkin time yet. Paint you a <laughs> snowman. That's literally three holidays from now, or two <laughs> holidays from now, <laughs> two holidays from now, girl. <laughs> you maybe should ask for a pumpkin. <laughs> ask me again. Like you have to ask me again at like, like okay, hold on. When Frosty the ask me again during the time that Frosty the Snowman would have existed. <laughs> So between like <laughs> off, end of October, no, November-ish, uh, and before New Year's. We're all in California. Frosty yeah. would never exist yes, here. But, yes, but like not for three more months. <laughs> I'm still, it's still nice. and It's like not even cold out yet. Nope. Although we did see Christmas ornaments at the Walmart. Right. Those are out already. <laughs> you did. You were mad. You're like, those better not be Christmas ornaments. I'm like, or what? <laughs> and I'm all sad because my camera's at home. I'm like, darn. All right. Let's see. Oh my gosh. You're painting on my screen here live. I oh never mind. No. Matrix 4 trailer. Alright, here I go. 
Here we go, guys. The Matrix 4 read trailer and me. <laughs> it's a Dan reaction video. All right. You gotta watch the architect scene a few times. It's hard to follow. Yeah, see, so, like, why do I want to do that when, like, literally my favorite movie at the time is, like, Wayne's World 2. No, actually, uh, the late 90s. What was I doing in the late 90s? I had frosted tips. <laughs> I had Frosted Tips and I was into She's All That. All right, here we go. You're still into She's All That. Oh, I didn't watch He's All That yet. Because you were too busy rewatching She's <gasps> All That. Oh, wait. I got to make sure you guys can't see it. Oh, it's a cyberpunk guy. <gasps> oh. OMG. Yeah? Doogie Hauser? Yeah! Don't you love him? I kind of do. Me too. Pack it, now he's packing Hauser. <laughs> right? Now he's, now he's Doogie Hauser Big D. Check out his Instagram if you don't know what we're talking <gasps> about. That good, Dan, huh? I'm I'm already intrigued. I'm liking this. Here's the thing. I only remember part one and car crashes and part two and three, so... I, I don't think I was that into The Matrix when it came out. I think I saw the first one, but wasn't really super down for it. Oh my gosh. They got the goat scene in two. <laughs> what? Ten feet tall. What's her name? Who's the goat? <laughs> the goat scene from Horror Story. The, oh, Stevie Nicks? Uh, it might be. It ain't Janis Joplin. No, it is not. You said from Horror Story. Like, that's where you know Stevie Nicks from. Not from Fleetwood know. Mac, but from Horror Story. I know her from Jim Brewer doing impressions of her on Saturday Night Live. That was <laughs> me doing Jim Brewer doing Stevie Nicks. Even though it probably wasn't. Uh, Hannah said Doogie Hauser. Um, is that because, like, you don't know what a Doogie Hauser is? Um, uh, what was his name in How I Met Your Mother? I don't remember. How you met Jim? Barney? Yes. Stinson. Barney Stinson from How I Met Your Mother. But he was Doogie Hauser long before that. It's almost over. Wow, this December? Okay, so it's over. Thoughts? Uh, oh, I'm goosebumps. I'm in. Look at that. I am in. I don't know if they could just sell it or what. I, <laughs> I am. I am in. I am in. I. I don't know if I need to now go back and watch them all first, but I. I am, I am in. I am, I am in. That would look, Keanu, that would look great. I love the facial hair. Everybody aged well. Yeah, yes, what? yes. You here for it? Yeah, 10 out of 10. That was, that was, that was cool. I am back in. That was, that was, yeah. that was cool. I did not expect that reaction. Yeah. Also, you never watch trailers that you're interested in all the way. Because I didn't care about it. And now I'm just like, what is it? I couldn't stop. That was that was good. Wow, that was really good. That was really good. Yeah, go Keanu. Go Keanu. Looking good. Yeah. I think he might just have a crush on Keanu Reeves. No, no, no. Like, I root for him. Remember, he's sitting there all sad, and everybody's like, why is he sad? And then he go on Reddit and was like, dude, I'm not sad. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me be. No, I'm he's always just rooting. just eating a sandwich. I'm always rooting for Keanu. So, yeah, that looks, that looks, I'm going to have to rewatch it. That was good. 
That was good. They weren't like full, like, they didn't like full of themselves. They like, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm intrigued. I love the coloring in it. Just enough slow motion. Just, Just enough. enough. <laughs> Just enough slow motion. Yeah, yeah. All right, something to look forward to in December. Yeah, it's not December. Oh my gosh. The Matrix is a deeply philosophical movie wrapped around an action blockbuster. That's yeah, a good but way to you know, it. if you go back to 1999, Dan, when it came out, you know, I'm 20, still going on 16. You are not deeply philosophical. It's not <laughs> philosophical at all. Like, what am I doing at that time? I'm uh, working at the hockey rink. It's making bad decisions. I have a car with a car payment I can't afford. It wasn't even a cool car. Like, <laughs> what, what yeah, was it? It was uh, it was a Ford ZX2. What even is that? Uh, a lot uglier and not as cool looking as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is. So maybe like now that I'm a little more enlightened. The trailer was right rabbit by Jefferson Airplane. Okay. Was what? Jefferson Airplane. What really? about it? That was white rabbit by Jefferson Airplane. Okay. A Ford Escort. Yes. Yes. That's what it is, pretty much? That's what escort. it was. Uh, the Escort ZX2, that's what it was. It's trying to be, Gen like, edgy. G. Trying to keep up with the Honda Civic. Uh, so, yeah, it wasn't like I was being philosophical at all. Was that the one you blew the tranny in? Three trannies. Three trannies in that thing. In one? Yeah, no. I was hard driving on it. Okay, so I don't know. I, was I mean, hard, I've seen you drive. I was hard I, I driving it. on it with stick shift and stuff like that, so I blew the tranny, I guess. I don't know. Just It just locked up, right? So then they put another transmission on there with really no hassle. Like, they're just like, all right, sorry. And then I let Josh and Ryan take it. I was at Outback because my girlfriend at the time worked at Outback, the, the Scottish girl. Right. And... They wanted to go off, so I was being a cool guy because I had the new car and I threw my keys. And then they were like, oh, dude, like, your car is trash. So <laughs> that was transmission, too. So it's like, do I blame them for screwing around in my car? Or was that really transmission, too? And then again, it went out on that thing. So I think I went through, like, three of them, and I was so frustrated. And, and then I traded it in for a truck, and then that got repossessed. <laughs> and then I met you. <laughs> and then I took so, over paying your bills because so you weren't very the, good at that. Back to the Matrix. I wasn't really philosophical Dan back then. I was making bad decisions then. So which pill would you have chosen? You know... Well, up until recently, I would have, I, I would have chosen the pill to go back, back home. And wake up the next morning and just live in the Matrix. Like, if this is the Matrix now that I'm living in with the digital whatevers and stuff like that, I'm okay with it. I am such a sheep. I'm okay with it. But adventurous lately, Dan, maybe I would have taken the other pill. Adventurous lately, Yeah, Dan? maybe I would have taken the other, you know, the other pill. <laughs> I would have taken the other pill. So... Man, you guys just don't let it guy. Maybe you didn't put any oil in it or change the oil, Dan. That's how I blew up the engine on the other Civic. Remember that when we were driving on the freeway and it blew out the bottom of the... Remember the Honda that... We, we threw a rod right out of the engine. We threw it right out the bottom. Right out the whole bottom. The bottom plate was all uh, busted When that out. happens, by the way, your car just stops driving. It, it does. It shuts right it off. It just shuts right off on the freeway at like 70 miles an hour. Yep. So the red pill, yeah. So I would have sheepled or whatever, the blue pill. I would have not done it, but now I maybe I would have, but... Like, I saw the heap of trouble that it came in. Dude, they were, like, in burlap sacks. Like, it, like, it wasn't paradise at all. It didn't look like fun at all. So maybe I would just go back to my sheeple life. I am very much just like that. Like, you know, so... But I, like, and I know who I am. So I would probably just go back to my life. But I don't know. Now that I'm older, I'm, I'm more curious the older I get. What about you? Are you going to take the Matrix pill? And I don't know what the point of the Matrix yeah, pill is. Yeah, I don't remember the movie enough to uh, have any context for that. You can, like, bend spoons and stuff. I mean, I can bend a spoon. Give me a spoon, I'll bend it. Right. No, 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 no. You stay there. Uh, never seen Matrix 1. Waiting for the Netflix DVD to arrive. Should I skip 2 and 3? No, if you're going to take the time to watch The Matrix and you're a smart person or it's intellectual, like like Steve said, wrapped in an action movie, if you want to take a deep dive into it and you enjoyed it, then yeah, you should really go and watch all the movies and stuff like that. Because like Steve said, they, they were all filmed, well, I, I think 2 and 3 were filmed like together. They were released in the theaters a few months apart and... 
and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, you should finish it out. Yeah, you, you should you should finish it out. And I'm going to give it another try as, as well. You know. All right, I'll be right back. V for Fendetta is another good one. I didn't see that. I didn't see V for Fendetta. Crystal, I think you're almost done. Uh, Crystal only has a little bit left on that. I know everybody's fading, which is fine. You guys can oh, get to bed. That's... I just need to do another coat on the green and a little bit of highlights and then uh, yeah. that center bit and then I'm done. Uh, Finding Nemo's on for another 25 minutes and Finding Dory. I really liked those movies. I really like the uh, animation or, well, you know, like the animation that's in there. I, I really liked it. Yeah, I didn't do V for, for Vendetta. I didn't. And I was a big Natalie Portman fan. I really liked uh, Anywhere But Here. No, it was... What was the other movie? Where Where the Heart Is. That was good. I was like, oh, that was good. And like, you're good at Princess Amidala. But then I didn't follow her anymore after, after, after that. I think that's the one where she shaved off her hair. I'm here to the end. I'm at work listening. Uh, we've been going for five hours. What a what a stream. After this, I can tell my voice is dead. After this, I'll be uh, I don't know. I guess hanging out on the couch. I don't know what I'm gonna do after. I don't know what I'm gonna do after this. Not stare at a screen. Not stare at a screen anymore. Although my glasses do help me see a lot better. You know. And thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out tonight. There's still 36 of you here kicking it. Thank you. Well, I'll post some more people on Facebook. Hi, Facebook people. She's in Thor 1 or 2. I didn't like the Thor. I didn't like Thor. So I didn't watch Ragnarok, and I didn't watch Thor 2, because I didn't like Thor 1, and I didn't like the old Hulk movie. Like, so I just didn't. I just didn't watch it. There's a bug, there's a bug flying around. We'll see what Crystal says when she comes back. I like dumb movies. Me too. I like dumb movies, silly movies, cartoon, hate violent movies, zombie movies, terror movies, horror movies, and no serious movies. I'll go through a little bit of a phase of that, but every time I want to feel happy and stuff like that, it needs to be, it Water. needs to be a happy movie. Dude, check that. You could launch, you could launch SpaceX off the, you could you know launch what? the but Falcon. The ice is still cold inside. Oh my gosh. How many Raptors does it take to get that thing up off the ground? Oh my gosh. Mouse Queen with a super, super chat. You know... In Doctor Who, choosing whether or not to travel with a doctor is a lot like the red versus blue pill decision. Traveling with a doctor comes with dangers and risks and with a lot of enemies. Also an adventure. Yeah, but here's the thing, Mouse Queen. Mouse Queen, thank you so much for the chat, super chat. Mouse Queen, um, in the Matrix, it wasn't an adventure. It was just nothing but sorrow and gelatin. It wasn't anything. Blake was talking about how he wished he could live forever. And then I was trying to remind him of like, remember when we watched that uh, episode of, of Doctor Who? And the doctor was like sitting there at the edge of the world. Like, you know, uh, was it David Tennant maybe that was sitting there? Like, I get to watch the end of the world. And and uh, there was some like old lady. And I don't know if, I don't know where I heard this on, on a podcast, on a news story somewhere. And it was some story about like, oh, like, how do you feel about being like a hundred and what 23 years old or whatever 113 years old and she's like this sucks everybody i know is dead like like every and i'm like that's true like i mean you would make new friends and stuff i guess but at some point just everybody you know just is just gone but blake says he wants to live forever he might be a generation off for that you know i don't know if i'd want to live forever but like i'd love to live past my end time just to see like the next leap of technology you know Bolt comes on later tonight. I did not watch Bolt. Steve, do I need to watch Bolt also? She's going to be in Thor 4. Love for Love and Thunder. I thought something on that. Once they started making it... Okay, so I should probably watch Ragnarok because they made it, like, silly. So I like how they made Thor silly. So I would I would, I would watch for Love and Thunder. That, I love... The tagline makes me think that I'm going to have a good time. If we are in the Matrix already... Like I said, if I'm in the Matrix, I'm okay with it. I mean... You've never met me, met, me, met me before, so to me, I, you know, I could just be like leaping around in digital land. You know, I'm just a digital version, so this is the Matrix. Mouse Queen with the super chat. End of the world was actually with an actor, Christopher Eccleston. Yes, uh, Ella also famous for Thor two. Was Eccleston Thor two? He did not. He does not embrace 
he did not embrace Doctor Who at all. I didn't dislike him, but David Tennant is still David Tennant is still my doctor. I know everybody liked Matt, but I still liked I still like David Tennant. Ragnarok's top five Marvel movies. I really enjoyed the very first Guardians of the Galaxy. Two is good, but Guardians of the Galaxy one was such a big surprise for me, especially since the comic books are so dark. Mars Mission comes on sometime, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. I forget. Is it tomorrow, maybe? Oh, what time is it? Oh, it's still tonight. Never mind. If you like Guardians, you like Ragnarok. Dan is just pixels on my screen. Oh, yeah, see? I'm just digital. I'm just digital. Mouse Queen with the super chat. I love Christopher Excel, Excel, uh, Eccleston in, in Doctor Who. LOL. He played Michaelith, the villain, in Thor 2. See, I did not watch Thor 2. I did not watch it. I was late to Doctor Who. Um, Blake was the one that was really into Doctor Who. He had his little... Uh, Sonic screwdriver and his hat and he was running around. He loved it. Who doesn't love Goldblum? Jeff Goldblum's cool with me. Did I just hit a wall? Can you guys tell? I just hit a wall. I'm at five hours. Five hours and two minutes. I'm done talking. <clears throat> or my voice is done talking. Oh my gosh. Sally, I will tell Crystal. Actually, I'll have her read that when she comes. They did the marbles low-key dirty. A little bit. LOL, poor Dano. That's it. I know. I hit my wall. I, I, I hit my wall, Crystal. Yeah? I did. Are we calling it? No, you can't. No, you finish. You can finish for a minute. For a minute? <laughs> or a little, you can finish. But, uh, I, uh, <clears throat> Steve said, yeah, wrap it up, LOL. Well, Crystal, can, she wants to keep painting. Get paint, but man, I hit the I hit the wall. I didn't mean to. I lost Whew. my water. I uh, off with it and didn't bring it back. <laughs> Wait, we can't. The we can't both be off the screen at the same water time. First. <laughs> That's fine. I just want to like pull some cool water on my face. You got this, Dan. You can do this. Okay. Don't you know you live stream? No, there's not. I don't know where the conversation was while I was gone. Oh, uh, we were talking about like Doctor Who and stuff like that. Somebody said they were going to finish painting that. afterwards. Yeah, I'm almost out of painting energy. Mouse Queen came through with some super chats. Thank you, Mouse oh, Queen. Oh, nice. Thank you, Mouse Queen. All right, let me get some water and then I'll come back. I'm rallying. Ooh. I'm always kicking this camera. You set me up. Uh, Nancy says it's Sunday here. Good night. It's been an awesome night. So much fun. Awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uncle Yukon says t-shirt. You gotta have a person in the live stream. <laughs> I don't know what this is in reference to, but Brittany says there's a video with Baby Blake with the screwdriver and t-shirt. Uh, Doctor Who, the Sonic Screwdriver. Oh, yes. Yes. He was really into that for a while. <laughs> that's how I know about my doc that's how I know about Doctor Who. From Blake? Yeah. Yeah, we'd go like watch the Christmas episodes at the movie theaters and stuff. Alright. I got a cat camp <laughs> coming for you guys in a second here. <clears throat> I gotta wait for Mooch to finish drinking water out of the faucet first. Oh, look, wait, hold on. We don't cat cam that? Yeah, look at Arl. Uh, Mouse of the Super Chat posted an update to my art. Couldn't resist. Well, we are here for it. No, you can't see Mooch. He's the gray blob over there. Oh, she added another pup. Hold on, guys. I, I want a Dan pup. When, when can the pup have a little mohawk on it? She said, a friend has joined. Can you guess? Look, I just really love the way you draw. Like, I love that. I, yeah, the style is really cool. The style is so good. You've definitely got some talent, girl. 
Are you done drinking over there, Mooch? <laughs> no. Drink it faster. <laughs> <laughs> Still? Oh yeah, he's chomping on the water. Don't drink water for a minute. Oh. <laughs> oh done. He's done. You know you've promised them like three times today some snacks and you never made it happen. The cats? Yeah. Yeah, multiple times you're like, you guys want snacks? And then you never got snacks. Watch out, here he comes. Whoa, he's right by your drink. I'm stuck between like this cable and my tripod. Oh, these are all bad moves. All bad moves. There Sounds about Dan. All right, where are you going, Mooch? He's trying to get to his pillow. Let's we'll see him navigate. He can do it. Oh, right in the paint napkin. Okay. Yeah. He's got it. Back to his spot. No, now he's crazy switching. Hello, well, these dogs, I swear, are so fun to draw. Yeah. They're super cute. All right, I got some cherry Coke, the best of all the soft drinks. And uh, maybe I'm gonna rally. Yeah? A uh, rally. A little caffeine, you got this? You pushing through? Yeah, 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 because I don't want to be tired. I always never want to be tired. I'm I'm fading. Yeah, it's, I hit the wall when I sat and started painting. talking. I was like, oh, that's it, Dan. Like, I can feel like sweaty a little bit. But you're almost done, right? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah I just wanted to get another coat of this yeah. green on um, before this green dries out because I mixed it. Mooch cat prints on desk, yeah. They leave cat prints all over the place. Yeah, especially when they go over to the sink and then they start walking through. Well, the rest of the house. And Steve says, I'm off the bed. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks for hanging out yes. with us, Steve. If you guys aren't already following Steve, go check him out everywhere. You guys all know, like, at, like every, it's hard because we all know each other. But thanks, Steve. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. We're almost done here, too. And then I don't know what happens after this. I mean, I, we clean up, like, We'll clean up and I'll talk and stuff, but then like, what do we have to watch? What are we, what are we watching? There's that movie, there's that show, uh, Only Murders Inside. <laughs> Only Murders in this building. Only you were murders. trying to think of the name of it oh, earlier forever. and you went through all these I different did. variations and you did not nail it. You were close, you said Only Murders Inside this building at one point. What's it called? Only Murders in this building. Yeah, it's you got... guys, we talked about it a little bit before. You guys watching that? Yeah, it's got, uh, who's in it? it uh, Steve Martin? Oh, uh, Steve Martin, Martin Short, oh, which is the best. I love him. Uh, Selena Gomez, and, oh, uh, I don't recall if I ever, oh, uh, I saw Nathan, Nathan Lane? Nathan Lane, yes. Nathan Lane. So, you know, like, once all those guys are in it, they're going to bring all their buddies around. So, it's been so, like, charming, right? Like, yeah, fun, good-hearted, good even for mystery. It's like, just good times someone dies right in the beginning right. so you know i'm in right but it's all like good intention fun i don't know I, it, it's really enjoyable it's really enjoyable and what's that on it's on hulu um, or netflix oh shoot <laughs> oh nobody remembers oh, too many things uh i want to say it's on Pro no it's not on prime it's on hulu maybe it's on hulu it's not I, on netflix i feel like hulu right, let's go with hulu let's go with hulu What happened? I got green in the flower, but I saved it. How did you like the danishes? They were good. We ate yeah. some this morning for breakfast. They stayed crispy because I just covered it in foil. I didn't put it in a Tupperware with a lid. I just put it in a Tupperware with some foil over the top, and they stayed crispy, and they were they were good. I'm not mad at it, but I don't think I'll make that recipe again. I liked them this morning. They were crunchy and fluffy. They weren't a soggy mush like the fritters and the turnovers and stuff. Uh, where some asked me, says, so in this doggy universe, uh, Reach isn't exactly a game show tacos, but 
talk show host, but like his human counterpart, he's a philanthropist. What is that, Crystal? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Well, you have uh, to say the word correctly of first. The underdog pup. It's a philanthropist. Philanthropist. A philanthrop philanthropist. Wait, what? T H. Philanthropist. 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 Who's pissed? Philanthropist. <laughs> Philanthropist. Perfect. Um, let's see. Okay, so that's not. We're not digging up bones. We're not dusting off bones. No. We're not philosophical about things. No. Uh, we're not. His last name is Philman, so if he's a philanthropist, he could be studying his family line. No. Okay. Uh, philanthropist. I could see, like, not art per- no, uh, he wears a scarf around his neck. I mean, that might be the case, but that has nothing to do with being a philanthropist. Uh, he talks about ideals like dust in the wind. No. Okay, then, that, then that's all my guess for philanthropists. Um, it's like people that give back to the community. Like- Donating money and time. And oh, community service? Kind of. Like, like when I get a speeding ticket, I don't want to pay? Like, he's just always no, like, no, 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 no. Not like that. You sure? Uh, positive? That's, that's, that's given back. It, it's not the, no. <laughs> LOL it's not nope. court ordered. It's just LOL no. <laughs> Mr. Beast is a philanthropist. What's that? Yeah. Oh, because he gives back to the community? Yeah, so pretty much, it's, it's pretty much, uh, it's just Mr. Beast. <laughs> no, what, uh, it's pretty much, um, what's the work I said it was? Where you get that? Community, Community service. service. Yeah, that's what my yes, mom. Yes, but not court so ordered. my mom was a philanthropist, like, my mom was a philanthropist giver. So you would get a ticket, and you'd go and see the judge, and the judge would say, like, all right, we'll do 40 hours of community service. Then you'd go see my mom, and she would make you pay the fine, and sign you up to a community service place, and send you out to be a philanthropist. A f There's an a, H in there, Dan. She was a philanthropist giver. Oh my gosh. Maker of. She's like Willy Wonka. <laughs> right? I, I don't know how you came to that conclusion. Because you said. She, yeah, so my mom my mom issued out philanthropy. What did your mom do for a living? Oh, she issued philanthropy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, guys, are you with me? Everybody with me? Sure, Dan. Yeah? Uh, Brittany says Iron Man's a philanthropist. Lacey Jane. Could you send some rain to Wisconsin, please? Oh, you better get in line, because we're, we're asking for rain first. <laughs> you cheeseheads can wait. I bet you've had it more recently than we did. Yeah, right? Yeah, there's a drought. Man, I ain't gotten it in a minute. <laughs> it's dry. Um, I need to wait for this to dry, and it's quite thick, so it's going to take a little bit. I think I need to lighten up this green. I think it's too dark for the rest of the color palette. But if you lighten it up too much, will it not make the flower pop as much? Well, yeah, if I lighten it up too much, I'm not going to lighten it too much. But that green is super thick, so I can't do anything right now. I have to let it dry, and I hit my wall. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I feel like Tom Cruise, when he leaves and tries to take Renelle Zellweger with him, who's with me? And he who's says, coming with me? I can follow me? that logic. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Thank you. Uh, Brittany says a philanthropist uh, with the actual definition. Brittany, you are always on top of this. I love it. Uh, is a person who seeks to promote the welfare of others, especially by the generous donation of money to good causes. Do I have to have yeah. money? So like uh, Bill and Melinda Gates, philanthropists. But, but if I have this thing on the front here. What is this thing on the front here? Where it shows everybody's thing. Does that mean I'm a philanthropist because um, now I did that? I guess you're promoting the welfare of others. So, yeah. Did you paint a mustache on? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, Mouse Queen says, in this universe, he was once a street dog, but gives back to his doggo community by providing a place for orphaned pups in the city to call home. He was once a house pet. Not, not a street dog. He was once a house pet. Oh, Topo's getting antsy. Oh, the natives are restless. They're ready for some dinner. Okay. So, here's the deal. Another painting unfinished, but... but that's a win. That's a win. Look at I, those colors. I think I did I pretty really well. I'm proud of you, Crystal. I thought that was great. Um, still very tie dye to me. I thought I think that's great. But I, I think I nailed it pretty darn well. Mm -hmm. I'll go in a little bit later and lighten up the green and finish up yeah. this little and, bit in the middle. And maybe when we do next paint night and stuff like that, we can, you know, we, we should have them out. So, like, when you mix a color, maybe you can hit up the other. Maybe. The other uh, one painting too. doesn't work like that for me. No. I have to be in the mindset. Is it? <laughs> yeah. I'm super stoked with my painting. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah, it. This, this was, was a, a good lot, one. This was a lot of um, fun. I hope that we were able to help some of you guys with, with blending like Dan did. Just play with it. Or confidence. You can get the uh, the canvas is pretty cheap. We got, I think, a 10 or 12 pack. Oh, uh, here. I'll, I'll get it for you. 
the 12 pack of the 8x8s was $12.99 at Michael's on sale. So you can get a stack of them pretty cheap. They have them at Walmart. You probably find them at the dollar store. Maybe not all the time, but sometimes you can find them at the dollar store or just paint on whatever. Paint on construction paper, whatever. Play around with it. The more you play with paint, the better you'll get a feel for how it works, how to blend, how to shade, how to highlight, all that stuff. So if you're enjoying it, but aren't quite happy with your skill level, keep practicing. You'd never start out good at something unless you're some sort of weird, like, uh, what's the word for it when people are like... Talented? No. Oh my gosh, my brain. What's the word, you guys? The word for like... Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I'm thinking of like a five-year-old that could play piano really well or something. An idiot savant? No. Uh, that thing. <sighs> What's the freaking word I'm looking for? Help me. Not I don't know. A, not let's an pretend idiot we savant. do. Let's pretend okay. we do it. Okay, unless you're one of those people. Prodigy, thank you, Kathy. Oh. Appreciate it. Unless you're some sort of prodigy who just picks up the paintbrush and you're amazing, which good on you if you are. You have to practice if you want to be good at anything, whether it's painting, making videos, live streaming, literally any other anything oh. you could possibly oh. want to do. Can, do you see, can I talk? No, I said TED Talk. <laughs> oh, yes. Just practice. You'll get better, I promise. My first painting was not great. I still hung it up in my yeah, room. Look at me. I'm a good example of beginner, like 1.0. Right, but look at look at where you were when you started the shading and or the, the blending of the colors and look at how that turned yeah, out. Yeah, no, I had a lot it of fun. It turned out pretty yeah, darn good. I had a lot of fun. It doesn't matter what it looks like. I'm the same ha like happiness. Can you scroll up a bit? There's a super chat there and I can't see it. It's gone. I got it for I got it for you. A mouse queen with super chat says the real reach has a has donated a butt ton of money. <laughs> but ton of money. It's all high school, and even Notre Dame University uh, has a black box theater named after that. He loved Notre Dame so much. He was like their quasi. He was their quasi. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, success. Yeah. Um, look Mouse for... Queen says this was fun. Enjoyed yes, the Mouse chit Queen chat loves... and the art that came with it. Brittany loves all the paintings. Last question before we go. Who was here since the beginning? Yeah, who let, made it all, uh, me, what do we do, me, five hours? Who's been here for yeah. all five hours? Know I know Uncle Yukon was hours. for sure. Uh, I think Brittany might have been. Uh, Perfecto 39 got it right. Prodigy. Yes. Did you hear my snowman bit? Did you get Kathy you was here. Yeah, bit? Kathy says she was here the whole time. Mouse Queen raised his hand. She was here the whole time. Ooh. Props to all of you who made it for five That's hours. A long thing. Uh, That's Holly a long and Mel time. Shane and Don were all here the whole time. Uh, and Hannah. That's right. Hannah was here the whole time. And Lacey Jane. Oh, Kathy with the tear. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Don't worry. It's just, it's, that's like asking for a pumpkin spa, spice latte in July. <laughs> it's just not the right yes, time. Yes. So thank you for everybody who yeah, was here was, part of the time good. or all of the time. We enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Thanks for being here to make it uh, more entertaining for us. Don says, thank you so much fun. Thank you for so much fun. Thank you for so much being here. Any final words from you? Uh, when are we coming back next? When's, we when? will be here Tuesday. Tuesday so cool next flash. next week is our last three shows before you go to right. Vid Summit. Before you're, yeah, and you'll have a week off. Yes. Yeah, you're looking forward to that, huh? I am looking forward to just, like, are chilling. I, as much as I shoe? love being here with you guys and all that, like, it's, for me as an introvert, it's a lot of being on, so it'll be nice to just have a week to do it. Maybe I'll finish some of these paintings. Right. <laughs> Maybe. This guy was chewing on my shoe. Sounds about Topo. Oh my gosh, he's so he's so big now. So yeah, catch us Tuesday My, for yes. an episode with Quiplash. Yes. We'll be playing Quiplash yeah. on Tuesday. Yeah, have a good night, everybody. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. It was. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Yes. Kathy is learning shading. Awesome. That's what I did. That's, that's and what Don I... And Dawn posted a pick. Let's see if we can get Dawn's pick Oh, of course. Yeah, go. Let's, let's go. Um, I learned shading. Uh, well, I learned that, like, I'm going to keep... I learned that I like to keep practice shading. Because it makes any picture look good in the background. Yes, <laughs> it absolutely. It does. Even my stick figure uh, uh, looks looks good in the background. So uh, Dawn is do halfway that. done. Can we get a camera of this? Oh uh, yeah, here, just give me that one. Yeah, give me a second. Handy. Oh, there you go. Back Loving home. the colors. There you go. Kind of yeah. wish I would have gone with a deeper like burgundy-ish, purpley, pinkish. Uh, I like I'm liking that color too, scheme. But you can't go wrong with that because you painted stuff that's been dark like that and it always comes out well with the burgundy. Yes. So good job. Good and job. Um, be sure to post it when you are done. Mouse Queen says she's posting too. Hurry up, friend. Yeah, go ahead. We're good. Here. Watch. I'll move this over. Oh, wait. Uh... I'm in the group waiting for your post. 
That's all right. We're not going to turn into a pumpkin. Let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, you're good. Uh, Uncle Yukon says, Crystal and Dan, thanks for doing this. Uncle Yukon, yeah, thank you, Tom, for always joining us. We do appreciate you yeah, being you here. Yeah, you spent a lot of hours. You're, you're a pretty integral part of the community, and we appreciate your presence. Don says, thank you. It's my first painting. Well, you did great. Yeah, I was pretty happy after my first painting, too, on the first paint night. of like, oh, okay, like... It's not as intimidating fun. as people think they are. All right, she says, boom, they're all here. Oh, that looks good. Looks really good. I still think one needs a little mohawk. I love it. A little it. mohawk, please. Also, look at everybody's paintings, too. We have paintings from, from, from you guys, too. I love that. Thank you for all sending me that stuff, too. Yeah. Uh, yes, if you guys want to send stuff to the P.O. Box, uh, you know where to find it, rfstan.com. Koru with the support, with the super kawaii inu, the karate inu. Thank you so much for the support and being here all night. And Brittany says, I'm here for all things on this channel. I know. She says, my life is planned around the lives. Aw, well, oh. thank you. You are also an integral part of the community. Yes. I'm pretty much everybody is. Like, I can't say that anybody isn't because you we guys are all a, awesome. We have a great community. Yeah. We it's, do. It's, it's grown, like, pretty consistently with great people. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. impressed. So thank yeah. you all for being you, you and you for being here. You make it enjoyable to be entertainers. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, you make it enjoyable. It's nice to be able to interact with people and not just have this, like, this audience out there that we don't know anything about like right. these are our friends so thanks friends for being here five and a half hour live stream today yeah i'm done <laughs> i'm so tired <laughs> all right uh bye everybody have a good night bye uh, guys thanks again we'll see you later